Hello, it is me, the Meatball Man. How's everybody doing? I was almost, uh, last night I was tempted to take my day off today so that I could go to my locals. I still don't have all my cards yet. And I wanted to try to finish Pokemon Gold since we're so close and I would love to be able to have this bit edited and we just upload each game individually. <coughs> Excuse me. Is ho -Oh full odds? Yes, it is. Uh, except my controller, of course, is not working right now, so I gotta I gotta reset the game and get it working. So give me just a moment. How's everybody doing, though? I hope everybody's doing well. <clears throat> All right. Come on. There we go. Okay. We are back to soft resetting for ho -Oh, And I'm hoping we get it today. Let's see if we do. The Lugia Hunt. Don't worry, I have the uh, I have the nicknames uh, accounted for. And folks, you can I may not be a fran fan of nicknames, but you can bribe me to do a nickname. And your experience with shiny flyers? Ah, eh, this one I feel I feel like this one's gonna go fast. I feel like this one we will get today. I'm still mentally recovering from yes today's episode of X Men ninety seven. Today's episode of X Men ninety seven. But what? Hopefully you get the ho ho fast and you don't go over odds. I agree. My goal today is to finish this game, and when we're done, I'm gonna be ending stream. Tomorrow I'm going to probably uh, make sure the script is finalized and send this off for being edited. Hopefully. My first time watching the stream. Hello, Venu. Venu? I don't know how to completely pronounce it, but uh, welcome. I hope you enjoy the stream. We are just trying our best to hunt for our shiny ho -Oh. I feel like uh, this would be a perfect way to balance out the rest of the team. We don't have a flying or a fire type, so why not? If this is enough of a bribe, I should have mentioned I uh, <laughs> I was doing like 50 yesterday for the bribe. Uh, but I can I can at least add it to the to the timer. Thank you, Kate King, for the uh, for the tenor. You guys think that 50 is unreasonable for it. I might I might I could I could see myself decreasing it to 25. I again, I'm just not a fan of nicknames. And yes, the uh the name for uh for Ho -Oh and Graveler are already claimed. And they, they did 50 for each of them. What if people put their cumul put cumulative effort into it? If you agree on a name and you want to put cumulative effort into it, sure. Also, I don't think I would name it Gay Bird. Sorry. I don't think uh, my main audience would uh, appreciate that. Even though it is, you know, rainbowy, I get it. But I don't know if it would be taken as derogatory and I don't want that so for Trussy that would be funny just got a shiny Riolu in black 2 white 2 giving you some shiny luck for Ho-Oh thank you Maddox I appreciate it
I donated 50 yesterday, just saying. Did you? I, I would have to look back, but... If you did, feel free to just message me on Discord with it. Like, take a screenshot of the, uh, of the whatever it was, and I'll, uh, I'll add it to the, uh, nickname pool. Oh, 10 gifties? Okay. I will do that when I go back to the, uh, the name Raider following ho -Oh. Just saying, because I'm... Per it's fine, Andrea. Of course, uh, again, if you are not in a financial position to help increase the timer, don't worry. Uh, that You can help the stream by liking the video and making sure that uh, that you're subscribed to the channel. I do not... Uh, I don't want you putting yourself in a bad position just because I'm like, ooh, I want to try to do, uh, do these games, you know? But I do appreciate you, you being here. Why do you torture yourself like this? Well, I don't know. But I'm having fun. So I, I can't complain. You should eventually do an exclamation point death uh, if we ha keep on having dead mons there. Uh, it's fine. I would rather not so that people don't get spoiled because I'd rather them watch the video and find out, you know? Pretty base team here. I would agree. I think the I think the team is pretty pretty dope. I feel like we could stand to add like a grass type, but uh, because I just want to finish the game today, I feel like we could we could go for it with five. Sixty nine likes. My uh, my counter says sixty eight, but we could get to a uh, hundred right now because we have over a hundred people in here. Folks, if you are just popping in, make sure to like the stream. I would like to uh, hit a thousand today for the end of Pokemon Gold, if we can. Uh, assuming you know Ho Oh doesn't get, uh, try to fight to the death, tooth and nail all day, and not become shiny. Hello, Thor. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream, Kalash. Just stopped in. I was like, are you trying to reset for a shiny? Then I saw the video description. Been doing the same thing at the beginning of each route. Not each route, but, um, you know, uh, just trying to get, like, enough mem team members to make a balanced team. Yes. Did you, did you not have a golem yesterday? I did have a golem yesterday. Then, um, then it died. But thankfully, because I found an extra shiny uh, Geodude. While I was in a different area, my first one that evolved into Golem uh, uh, was in Route 46. I had used Geodude, evolved it into Graveler, uh, and then never used Graveler in battle. I immediately trade evolved it to get Golem. So I was like, okay, I can actually, um, you know, get the uh, get the spare shiny Geodude out that I got in Dark Cave because it was my first encounter in there, and then you uh, evolve it into Graveler. Because I haven't used Graveler in battle, so I was like, okay, perfect. So are you shiny hunting ho -Oh for fun, or is this an actual team member? Of course it's an actual team member. If I'm crazy enough to shiny hunt it, then it should be fair game. How can you evolve without trading? Is this not... Man, people do not know what, uh, what these things are capable of. They've been capable of, like trading with it with each other for like half a decade this is not the days of no cash gba not being able to do that what happened to golem you'll just have to watch the video and find out will you use the ho-oh in this playthrough i will if i'm again if i'm crazy enough to shiny hunt it i'm gonna use it Toad bumps. I, I'm trying not to tell people so that they watch the video if they're actually curious. You can even trade on RetroArch now, which uh, means I could trade from my PS3 to my Nintendo Switch. That's so funny. Cross, uh, you know, cross-platform Pokemon trading. Uh, nope. My bad. It's fine. 
Why not spend hours shiny hunting to not use it? Exactly. Or why spend sh uh, hours uh, shiny hunting to not use it? I it, that is what I would I would say. I was the 69th like on the stream. Hell yeah, Bobo! Thank you so much. Again, if you guys have not liked the stream, please do. Uh, just uh, you know, take the five seconds if you can to do that. Especially if you uh, if you can't contribute to help to keep the timer as high as possible. We are trying to keep that timer alive for this entire series because it does uh, take a big uh, effort on my part to be able to do this whole series without, um, you know, without doing other videos. Because I am, I am losing out on the uh, the ad revenue. I am losing out on the uh, sponsorships that I'd be taking for those. I'll probably be trying my best to find like sponsorships for these videos, but. I don't know if I can make them frequently enough to where I can reliably do it, but we'll see. What level cap are you using for Kanto? Uh, I believe it's 60 for blue. Uh, I just used the level caps provided in uh, Pokemon, uh, Yon's server uh, Pokemon challenges. You have a plan to use five, a uh, team of five here? Uh, yeah, I, I want to just use five. Uh, I was going to use six, but of course, Bayleaf died. Oh, a moveset plans? I have not looked that far into it. All I know is that it's probably going to hit hard with fire and flying attacks, and that's all I can ask for. Yeah, level 40 ho, -oh, right, it's it's gold. Well, that one axolotl guy. If you want to find out what happened, you'll just have to uh watch the final video when it comes out. This should be faster than Slowpoke, surely. Hopefully. I swear, if we get into the five digits, I'm gonna... I'm gonna poo. Alright, let me uh, adjust the size of this. There we go. When will the video come out? Hopefully this weekend. I want to do each... Uh, I, I did red, blue, yellow in one video, and I, I realized that that was probably not the way to do this specific series. I think I need to do it in individual videos, one for each game. Which might seem like a lot, but I think that it would uh it would make sense. Oh starts with Sacred Fire, Safeguard, Gust, and Recover. Damn. I have recover on a legendary. I think I win. But um, I don't know what other flying moves. I'm sure I can just give it fly. Uh, I know that f uh, I know that I can get fire blast. I don't know where it get when it gets flamethrower. But I'd rather use that. But sacred fire is pretty damn good. Now that I think about it, Gen Two has the best and worst shinies in all of Pokemon. I do like the unique shiny color colorations on these uh, sprites. You can learn Rain Dance. That's dumb. As long as you avoid rock moves on it. Well, I mean that's what fo like Fortress and Graveler are for. Shiny Ho-Oh looks like mustard. Now, I looked at it, and I thought it looked really good. Compare Ho-Oh and Umbreon to Igglybuff and Blissey. B what? Why? I have to say that the best shiny is Garchomp. I like his shiny. It's so good. You're crazy. That thing sucks. It just doesn't look different enough. So the only way for Ho-Oh to get Flamethrower in Gen 2 is in Crystal, as Ho-Oh does not learn Flamethrower via level up. Well, 
That's fine. If we have Sacred Fire and Fire Blast, that's good enough. Fave Shiny, what you've had so far? Um, probably Slow King. I think Slow King's looked really good. Garchomp is Gen 3 or 4. It's 4. I don't think I've ever caught a Legendary in Gen 2 despite completing the games like four times. Damn. Yeah, sometimes I forget that the box Legendaries are optional in this game. Don't forget to like the video, you filthy animals. Well, it, don't call them filthy. I, uh, I, but yes, if you, uh, if you are stopping in and, uh, you could spare the five seconds of going ahead and hit that like button here on the stream, I very much would appreciate it. Especially if you are, um, unable to help me with the timer. Of course, I want to make sure we try to increase that timer as much as possible every stream so that we have more than enough time to try to finish every, uh, every game in this series. Which we, you can do through Super Chats. Every dollar that you Super Chat, you can increase the timer by a minute for each. Memberships increase it by five minutes, which you can either get one for yourself, or you can gift some to other member or other uh, viewers of the stream. And then, uh, last one, of course, you can use exclamation point gamer subs in the chat, and using my affiliate link and using code chaotic meat, you can get both 10% off, and if you get any of the cups, any of the drink mix, uh, like any of the tubs, or any of the, um, the foods, like the sus snacks, yes, they're called sus snacks, they are, uh, very much shit posters at heart, and, uh, there's also instant ramen that they, uh, that they actually sell, which I've heard is pretty darn good compared to, like, regular store-bought stuff. Uh, and if you do that, you get both your 10% off, and for every dollar you purchase, you add one minute to the timer for each. So do usually uh, do people usually use one level cap for all of Kanto and GSC slash HGSS? Yes, Endo, usually. In fact, most people just skip the blue because the rest of Kanto... I mean, Kanto really isn't substantial. Like, people like the nostalgia of it, but it is it is not a substantial part of, um, you know, J uh, like jo Johto games and their, uh, their remakes. Going for Gold Burb Day? Gold Burb Day, indeed. Why not save state for static encounter? Because I'm doing it vanilla. I might. The only difference is that I'm using speed up. And that's it. Soft resetting for Chikorita on Crystal while watching today. Here's to hoping. I really in myth. I hope you have good luck with that then. I know I did. 10x speed vanilla. Hey, if you have a problem with it, fuck off. <laughs> In GSC, I get why skipping the gym leader level cap except blue, because Janine's ace there got a lower level than Price's ace, but level caps are set to all the Kanto leaders. Yeah, exactly. It's it just doesn't work. Uh, the, that's why that's why the level cap it, or the level uh, scaling in this game is broken and is also broken in HGSS because it has the same freaking problem. What about rare candies? What about rare candies? However long it took to get Chikorita is how long it's going to be for Ho-Oh. Well, if that's the case, then it's only going to take like two and a half hours. If I had a problem, I wouldn't be have been watching all uh, these all week. No need to be rude. No, it's fine. I'm just saying that if for people that do have a problem with it, they can fuck off. 
We had somebody in here yesterday that was complaining about it and uh, complaining about how I was doing my run, and I uh, I told him to suck my dick. So you know, that's just how we roll around here. You don't like it, bite it. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Duncan? How are you doing? To clarify, are you using candies to level or speed up and grinding? Uh, no, I'm just, I'm using the power of math. You'll see in the, uh, in the video itself what I mean by the power of math. I think people who moan about, uh, blank are cringe. We gotta watch out for the, uh, for Nintendo ninjas, you know. I agree. Also, like, the fact that I am trying to do these for a video instead of, uh, you know, doing them for myself, I think also I'm trying to expedite it for, like, entertainment purposes. And I don't think non-creators really necessarily always get that. Um, they're always just like, you're doing it wrong. You're, you're using th things that you shouldn't be. And I'm like, I don't give a shit what your opinion is on that. If you don't like it, then you're not going to like 99% of the the creators on this platform that do Pokemon. Because we all expedite shit to make sure that videos come out at a steady pace. Because most of us do this as a full-time job. We want to do both entertainment, but we also want to like do the actual challenging bits. Yo, Hyrulean Myth, thank you for the gifty. Uh, let me get this up to 1160 and I will add that to the timer. I think that's a bad answer, is what happened yesterday with the egg incident. You uh, you went completely insane and saying bad words. We know this shiny hunt is stressful, but that answer... What do you mean the answer is really bad? I say bad words all the time, like fucking shit and ass and cum. <laughs> oh, I went past 1160. Let me add that uh, membership to the timer. Very bad. Shouldn't uh, you? You shouldn't curse. Boo! Careful, meatball. Keep saying bad words. I'll tell my mom on you. You're you're a poopy head, Asha Waves. That's right, you're a poopy head. Damn meatball, already over a thousand for Ho-Ho. Well, we got up to 821 encounters last night because I got carried away. I I was like, okay, I'm gonna save the grind for Ho-Ho tomorrow, and then I was like, all right, just one encounter. All right, just two encounters. All right, just three encounters, and then we just ended up going until we hit the. Uh, Hit the um the vod cap, which is eleven hours fifty five minutes. Did Gol did Golem devolve? You'll just have to watch the the vid the final video to find out. I got a poop, guys. Bye bye. Take care, Kalash. Hope you enjoy your your poop. <laughs> Objection! Me poking fun of me. He's guilty. Uh, I don't buy it. Objection, your honor, I'm mad. I've seen matter. Did you get that third shiny rock? Third shiny rock? What do you mean third shiny rock? Would you prefer shaved golem? I saw the pictures that were being thrown in my Discord server last night of shaved go graveler and golem, and I'm like, you guys are just chiseling the fuck out of this rock. Do you think he's happy with this? This chat could evolve into folks that just want you to demean them and they pay you for it. I'm trying to calculate what, what what's wrong with this. Hmm. <laughs> that gavel was flawless. Thank you. It, it takes a, a skilled individual to learn how to slap their leg good for a good, uh, for a good, nice popping sound. 
Sounds like every e-girl stream ever, true. Sometimes I'll pop over to Twitch and I'll see, like, the recommended, uh, like, on the sidebar. And whenever I, I decide to peruse there and see. Alright, what cringe are we getting recommended today? It's always e-girls. It's always e-girls. They know what they're doing. They're trying to push their own policy as close as they can without, like, people getting mad at them. But also, they know where their money is. While all the peeled Pokemon were cursed, I think Geodude just being a ball is funny. I do too. I think that shit's funny. Does anybody know where the membership option is on mobile? I, um, I don't think it exists on mobile. We've had other people try, and, um, there's some just fees with, like, either the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store that, um, they're just like, no, you can't do it here. Too many fees. It would go from math time for shinies to bath time for gifties. Jesus Christ. Uh, what happened to your starter? Well, you're going to have to watch the final video to find out. Unless you want to peruse through nine VODs. <laughs> I think Alolan Golem would be alright. Since it's practically an entirely different Pokemon. <laughs> I agree. Meatball released it for three dollars, true. I subbed on mobile, there should be a join button next to the notification bell. It just Well you can sub on mobile. He's uh they're talking about uh memberships. The the ones that uh you know cost some uh, a couple dollars also increase the timer. Did you know this kind of static hunting doesn't exist in Gen 3? Why does not this not exist in, t uh, in Gen 3, Tion? Is it because of the shiny frames? My understanding of that is, is that it doesn't exist in Emerald, but Ruby and Sapphire, it works as intended. Ah. Sorry for the other night. My bro and I watch your stream together. You're our favorite lol cow. Lol cow? The hell does that mean? And he joined your server while I was at work. He said he's sorry, and he was out, out of line. Well, I... For some reason, I thought we banned you, but um, if this is true, then that's okay. Um, if that is if that was your uh, your brother on the keyboard, then my, my brother took the controller. This feels like one of those excuses, but I'm gonna buy it. Um, we did we did ban ban your account from uh, from from my Discord. <laughs> So he's insulting you? Mmm. A lol cow is a guy you willingly aggravate and annoy to laugh at them? Mmm. Tion, smite him down. Permanently. Who? Uh, the guy named Flint's Infernape. He's been annoying. And calling me a lol cow. After people, it, uh, informed me of the meaning of it. 07 worth it? Die. In Minecraft. Tion, do you not know how do you know how to use YouTube mod tools? He's been on screen for like 15 seconds. I 
know what? I'll do it. I did it. Either that or Tion want, wants the uh, wants the annoying things to happen. In which case, damn, you suck. <laughs> I couldn't find his message. You're blind. <laughs> I might be wrong, but didn't there used to be a golem in the first slot? Um, uh, 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 cancel culture. Who is Tion? You got someone in your ser server who's a CPT? Um, uh, who is a person who can help with coding? I did get somebody in my comments that mentioned that they were a CPT. Uh, after I mentioned the whole weight loss thing, and I, I told them that, uh, if they'd like to get in contact with me, feel free to join my Discord server. Folks, we dropped below 64 hours. How did this happen? Since this doesn't affect the in-game time. Hmm. Hold on, I got a few messages here. Okay. Sorry about that little distraction there. I think the goal is to finish gold today for the editor. That is correct. My uh, my editor gets back from his uh, his other you know job that he does for he shoots some stuff for some motocross company like uh like advertisements and shit um he comes back like in less than 12 hours his thursday starts at midnight for me which is technically my thursday but he's like actually you know starting his thursday rather than ending his wednesday going into detail about it in next video since a lot of people ask for my shiny only video to be longer yeah, that's that's that that definitely seems like a wise decision. I um I'm also probably going to go in a lot more detail with these runs considering I'm going to be separating the uh the games individually rather than packing 3 into 1. It seems like um uh, a lot of wasted effort for um you know, my video would only do as uh, a tenth of a uh, a tenth of how well yours did, Tion. <laughs> I was just like, "Damn." Is it just because it's Gen 1 and people are like, there's not shinies in Gen 1, and then not clicking on it, figuring out why there's shinies in Gen 1? Probably. So maybe doing the Gen 1 video as three games in one, like the first season, to like put that, uh, to remind people, oh, this is this is that, but, uh, but oh, shit. It seems wrong leading with Fortress for this. Well, we have a Master Ball, so... Uh, as soon as we find the shiny, we're using the Master Ball. People also like seeing the alternate palettes. That's true. 
Oh, okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're fine. I'll BRB meet. Got, uh, gotta make some sort of coffee. I feel that. Sacred fire. Yeah, sacred fire hurts. I agree. How many badges do you have right now? Well, uh, considering I'm hunting ho eight. I'll be honest, I, I thought the shiny only re uh, red, blue, yellow video was a an April Fool's video. Everybody thought that, even though it was uploaded on uh, March 31st, but uh, I can't help the, the time zones for Europe, Asia, and Australia. What if you skip it? What do you mean, what if I skip it? I haven't skipped a single shiny yet. I'm not going to skip a shiny. People keep asking the question, what if you skip it? It's not going to happen. The moment he uploads the gold people, uh, uh, the gold, the gold, the moment he uploads the gold people, <laughs> the, the moment, <laughs> but what if, well, it's not going to happen. So there's no point in asking what if, <laughs> no, there is no what ifs. It's only when will you get the shiny? And the answer to that question is, I don't know. <laughs> uh... With no Moltres on Victory Road, I feel like you can't really uh, you can't really skip this shiny. Uh, in this game, I mean, all of the birds are are not in Gen Two. I just got here. Why show? Uh, why shiny hunt? Hello. I thought you didn't use. I didn't use legendaries in the first season, but if I'm ballsy enough to shiny hunt legendaries. And I should be allowed to use them. Plus, I think it's gonna get more—it's gonna get more of a pop out of the shiny hunting crowd than it is out of the uh, the um, the nuzlocking crowd. Not to mention, it's deep enough into the video where if people get pissed off that I used it, they're already deep enough into the video where I already got my retention. I don't care. <laughs> Folks, it's it's all about the YouTube metrics. It's not about the the YouTube metrics, but <laughs> it, it is kind of convenient, I will say. Imagine if the video about the shiny only RBY would be the original video of that part with the, with the new script and edited in a way it looks like you actually caught shiny Pokemon. That would be funny. Funny if we just edited the the shiny symbol next to all of the Pokemon uh, from the original video and we just redid the. The script. Comedy. But at the same time, it wouldn't work because shiny Pokemon don't appear in the wild in Gen 1. So it just, as a concept, it wouldn't have worked. Doing this hunt myself. Good luck. Thank you, Karama. I hope this, uh, I hope this goes well. Golem never existed. I went back and saw how you lost your Golem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, you'll understand soon enough. You'll fo you'll understand in the final video. It'll be okay. Hello again. Good luck with this one. Thank you, uh, Sanyo. I think that's how I pronounce that. It fell and turned into a grappler. That's probably the best way we can say it. Should have done a missing no surfing ride on run in uh, RBY. Can ride on legitimately get surf in Gen One, or is this just like a joke? Because like his name is Ride on, and you can surf on it. Golem and uh, Golem got Benjamin Button syndrome. I don't know what that is, but that's. That may be true. That may be not. I don't know. Yes, via HM. Huh. At least we don't need to capture another Pokemon after this, right? No, I don't think we will. Golem got skinned by Discord. That's why it's a Graveler now. Would you consider doing a mega compilation video for your series? I asked my editor to do um, to do the, the super cut of the entire series, cutting off like all the intros and outros. 
and uh, making sure everything f uh, had uh, was able to flow together properly. Best of luck. Got a meeting during my lunch break, so can't watch long. Well, I appreciate you being here for uh, the time that you can be, James. Also, one of the things I saw above, it's better to shiny hunt the legendaries in the early games because, like, they get uh, they get shiny locked in later games, so we may as well use them while we can. And I think that is absolutely true. It's funny that you say you can't get them because there's ways to fight them with Ace, which releases them into Johto as roaming level 40 Pokemon. I'm not surprised that they're, like, that uh, people figured out how to, you know, make a thing in... Um, with, you know, uh, what, what, what is it called? I mean, I know what, I know what Ace is. Um, but I'm trying to remember what it stands for. Arbitrary code execution. There we go. I said it before anybody put it in chat. I just had to think about it for like 10 seconds. You can't get them. Lamau Ace. Yo, Ace can program Super Mario into Pokemon. That don't count. That's true. Yeah, you can you can speedrun Paper Mario and beat it faster than anybody else. All you need is a copy of Ocarina of Time. Anyone in the Discord got a spread of all the mons used in the franchise lock so far? Uh, in Season 2, there's not too many. I think we put the image at the end of the red, blue, yellow video. I did ace to get a Mew I could transfer from yellow all the way to violet. <laughs> How does that even work if it's like not legal? If it's not like the event one? Or is there a way to like ace a an encounter with it under the truck that also has all of the correct things needed for like the event? I mean, also, how does that even work? Because that's not the virtual console version. The virtual console, uh, the virtual console version is the only way that you can transfer. You just need to set the original trainer to GF for Game Freak. Oh. How young are you to? Uh, you don't know about Benjamin Button. I was literally born in 2000. I I don't know if that that helps with uh with that or I don't know. It was the virtual console version? Huh. Then I don't know. I was also born in 2000. What the heck? And I don't know. I just never ran into it. What is, so, somebody tell me what the hell this is. I don't know. My favorite example of ar uh, arbitrary code execution was an AGDQ showcase where a guy got eight SNES consoles to speak to each other to speedrun Portal. How? Bro just ages backwards. Benjamin Button is an old Prad Pitt movie where he ages backwards. That does not make any sense. But I guess somebody asked the question, what if people aged backwards? Then then that's how that got created. <laughs> Weird though. It's a film about a dude who gets biologically younger as he ages. It just came out in 08. Oh. So it's not that old. I don't know. I guess I was just not like a moviegoer when I was a kid. Then then again, my, my family was mostly poor. So, like, I think the main thing that we had 
was we we had like a pretty poopy computer at the time that thankfully you know could connect to the internet but that's about it It's not a very good movie. Then why are people talking about it so much? Oh, doobie doobie doo. We're trying to best to get the hello. Uh, where's Golem at? Uh, he fell over and became a graveler. Funny part is, uh, I. Uh, I've never seen uh, the movie either for the same reason. But I just heard it referenced so many times, I just thought it was a very general knowledge thing. Hmm. To be fair, it really wasn't targeted at 8-year-olds. I guess that would make sense. Did you get into gaming due to your friends or just something you found on accident? I got into it... Um, you know, I don't know uh, how I got into it. All I know is that I was really goddamn young. Like I was playing like I, well, what were the what were the um, what were those little edu education consoles that were of the early two thousands? Like uh, like the V Tech or the V Smile or some shit. Um, those kind of bridged into me getting a Game Boy Advance in Christmas of 2003. Oh yeah, and the Leapfrog. The Leapfrog was there too. But yeah, I had a, um, a Game Boy Advance by that point and that kind of helped me start uh, realizing that I liked video games. And then uh, when... Later and later uh, it went, I started discovering, oh, there are older video games. Uh, especially when I got a Wii and my, my dad saw the Wii Virtual Console and saw games that he played when he was a kid. Because he, um, he was like nine years old when the NES came out. So he was, uh, he was young enough to be the target audience for that. Not to mention his dad owned like a, a video rental store that also rented out consoles and games. So he kind of had access to a lot of stuff that most kids didn't. So that kind of helped with, uh, and then I realized, oh, there's a whole history to this shit. And then I, it, yeah, it kind of went from there. Chad got his GBA and instantly gained object permanence. I had object permanence before that, but it probably did help. How's the sparkle chicken hunt? Well, we haven't found it. It's a 50-50 chance of either we get it or not, so... You know, we just keep flipping the 50-50 wrong. Not gonna lie, yard sales back in the uh, late 90s, early 2000s uh, were gold mines for finding cheap old games and consoles for... Uh, for cheap or finding old games and consoles for cheap I put cheap old games and consoles for cheap because my brain's dumb uh, what do we call ho -Oh? Lugia how are you catching ho -Oh already I'm just I just got really lucky last stream <laughs> My uncle got me into video games, got PS1, N64, and an a a GBSP. That's fair. I wish my, my folks realized that those older video games were cheaper back then and got those instead of newer ones for me. Because I would have played the shit out of that. I would have enjoyed it. But And that would have been cheaper. I would have had a cool collection that eventually was worth a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I don't think I hit a space bar for that one. Nope. Nope. 
Nope. Nope. My rage at your shiny luck is immeasurable. I mean, hey, look, we did we did breeding for for Pineco. I, I I can't say that necessarily that was like the luckiest thing. We did get both that and a Paris under odds, so I can't say that it wasn't it wasn't unlucky or that it wasn't lucky. Hey yo, time to get that shiny hottie bird. I agree, Dante. How are you doing? Can't wait. Can't stay for long. It's 3 a.m. here, but hey, hello, Helga. How are you doing? I I'm glad. That, whoa. Uh, uh, I I pressed the reset button and started uh, mashing through, but it didn't work. There we go. This one I already accounted for because I pressed the space bar. There we go. Chill as fuck. Shame on me. I uh, installed Master Duel again. But Master Duel's fun. You still wanted to kill that ho, -ho once for that dopamine rush? True. The fact that you're running through the game so fast as a hardcore Nuzlocke makes me feel like a Neanderthal when I have to sweat over regular trader battles when I Nuzlocke. I feel like it's just because I have a lot of experience with it. I mean, I have been, you know, playing Pokemon on this YouTube channel for half a decade. Like, near daily. Except for, like, that time I took three months off. Not to mention, I've been playing Pokemon since 2004. So, 20 years in the bag, five years of it being professional. Guys, Yu-Gi-Oh! is fun. Combos for 30 minutes while opponent, a literal 10-year-old kid with no idea of the game, watches board. That's the thing. I, um... I tried teaching, like, people that were younger than me how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Because, uh, I, I have a half-sister. But she's... She's on my mother's side of the family, and I, I don't talk to them anymore, unfortunately. Uh, I tried teaching her and one of her friends how to play it. And they were like... Why is this game so fucking complicated? I'm like, I don't know. All I know is that I like it and it's fun. They may they might have gotten a kick out of like Edison format, but that's about it. And you Eevee train, I don't bother when do I'm doing a run. Yeah, like I min max I, I min max stuff so that I make sure I'm okay. It's the same situation, uh, wait, what? Oh. Are we making fun of Aaron for missing five Will-O-Wisps in the, in VGC Grand Finals in Gen 5? Are we really making fun of him for that again? God, it, it's just beating the deadest horse imaginable. That, that whole thing where... That was the reason they buffed the um, the accuracy of, of Will-O-Wisp from 75 to 85, by the way. Like, even the developers were like, damn, he got fucked out of that finals. Um, to make sure that doesn't happen again, let's make this 85% accurate instead of 75. Woe on me, though, I still gotta go get groceries because this frail flesh prison needs sustenance, unfortunately. But after that, I'll be able to devote much of my time to this wonderful bird viewing simulator. Flesh Prison. It's my favorite high school band name. I hope something like this happens again so it becomes 95% accurate. Uh, they'd probably buff it to like 90 and they would be like, alright, this is too much. People are just getting really goddamn unlucky. My homies in chat, raise your hand if your Flesh Prison requires sustenance. Sorry, Meatball, I just realized I had not liked this stream. Now you have 185. Well, thank you. Folks, if you have not liked this stream yet, I'm trying my best to hit 1,000 likes on one of these streams before the end of gold, and this is probably going to be the last one unless, uh, you know, uh, Ho-Oh decides to be a piece of shit. So if you, uh, if you got five seconds, feel free to give it a like. Scroll down, tab over if you're just listening in. I, I just said reset. Why won't you reset? And I would very much appreciate it. 
What mons died? Well, you'll just have to watch the final video to find out. Unless you want to watch through a couple, you know, 12 hour VODs. <laughs> Are you streaming for all the generation? I am. I'm trying to stream as much of the series as possible. Uh, and I will be streaming it until this timer goes to zero. Of course, I'm like only doing like 12 hour bursts daily because that's YouTube's VOD limit, but still, you get the point. Ash is kicking rocks seeing the amount of ho-oh you're running into. It's the same ho-oh, it's just getting re-rolled. It's like we're rolling dice, and the, the ho-oh just so happens to be the metaphorical dice. I fear falling asleep during. Uh, I feel falling asleep during. I fear falling asleep during the stream for both times Bayleaf died and Golem got canceled. <laughs> so it's your fault that Rollout decided to uh, decide both fates. Why were both of those Rollout associated? By the way, that's bullshit. Plot twist: Ho is uh, pre-generated at the start of the game. Your Honor, I claim I was tired. I seem tireder. Also, please don't stress yourself with deadlines for this series. Now nah, I'm going to stress myself with deadlines for this series. <laughs> now, nah, when they're done, they're done. But I am going to try to stream them as much as humanly possible without, like, kill uh, like burning myself out on it. Wait, who died? Again, you're going to have to watch the final video to find out. An 8,192-sided die would be fun. No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. Joe died. Who's Joe? Joe Mama. <laughs> Your Honor, I drop kicked that child in self defense. Technoplay. <laughs> the timer is for the entire series, yes. We've had a pretty good run being able to keep this uh, at a positive record for the timer. But I wouldn't be surprised if we start going a, a little bit negative. However, once we get the gold video out, I think more people are going to be watching uh, watching that and be like, oh. This is happening. Oh, he's streaming it. Oh, he has a timer for it. I see. So, yeah. <laughs> Breaking news! Local child throws self from Tin Tower due to lack of mustard bird. And in other news, Mr. Krabs has opened a third Krusty Krab. <laughs> Hello! I like money! <laughs> uh... Why the hell? What the hell? Why was that so good? I don't know. I I, I like doing the the impressions. It's very funny. The new YouTube layout is trash. Did they update it again? The breaking news fish voice was low key solid as fuck. Thank you, <laughs> bro. And the Mr. Krabs. <laughs> oh shit! Finally, Krusty Krab three. <laughs> uh. SpongeBob, I painted my bird with my pee. Arr, 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 arr. <laughs> it's too. It's terrible when I'm trying to laugh though. <laughs> Meatball's newscaster voice is the highlight of these streams. Well, thank you. I can do a really good Squidward. I can't do the Squidward. I can't seem to find it in my voice registry. Are you switching to one game per video or going to try... No, I'm going to switch to one game per video. I feel like that's probably more efficient. All channel updates got to be done with newscaster voice. Very true. I think that would be funny. And with, like, the music from uh, the Pokemon Coliseum little, uh, like, at the beginning where you run into the, the uh, outskirts stand and you get the little newscasting thing there. That would be perfect. Can you hit a... No, this is Patrick! If you guys want my, like, good Patrick voice, I, um, 
I did it in the, f the first season uh, between Sapphire and Coliseum. I tried my best to do a Man Ray, but I can't, I, I can't seem to do a Man Ray. It'll be the 20th Ho-Oh from now, Trust. All right, we'll start with, uh, with this one. We got one. Two. This is the best idea. I would have to agree. Three. I can get really low and somewhat high with my registry, uh, but my voice is hurting from the last time I went low, so I can't really get that low right now. That's fair. Uh, this is seven. Eight. Nine. I'll have a... Uh, I'm trying to find where it is. I'll have a... Uh, one crusty nut, please. I'm trying to find it. I can't find it anymore. What the hell? I have to like listen to the voice again because I can't find where the uh, where the accent is anymore, or not the accent, the uh, um, the imitation or the uh, I don't know what the word is anymore. I'm I, my brain is disappearing as it see uh, as we're uh, as I'm speaking. The impression. There we go. I forgot where we were on the uh, on the count there. I can do the they. <laughs> Oh boy, they have it. Square. <laughs> I can barely do it. Number 2143, number 6969. It would be funny if it was 6969, wouldn't it? I can do Oogie, uh, Oogie Boogie's voice from Nightmare Before Christmas pretty good. <laughs> Damn, we lost track. Time to start over. <laughs> One. Two. Three. Four. Five. You masterballing it? Six, yes. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I said reset, thank you. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, nope. Is mayonnaise an instrument? No, Patrick. Mayonnaise is not an instrument. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do a Squidward. I can't, it just doesn't work. A uh, 1776 would be funny. Uh, ho uh, you know, K Koda, uh, ho would be, would appear and just be like, I bring ye forth the constitution of the Jodo. Uh, I bring you, I bring thee the constitution of Jodo. Chaotic, I'm not too familiar with your channel. So can you tell me, do you normally shiny hunt? No. This is like the, the first time I've really been delving into it in any of the games. Because I was just like, you know what would be funny? Is if I just went into this blind with, like, zero knowledge on how this shiny hunting stuff works. And I just, you know, kind of raw dogged it. <laughs> I learned how the uh, the shiny gene works in Gen 2, though. I learned how that interacts with breeding and it, uh, it helped. Reset on shiny encounter. I, never, never gonna, never gonna happen. No, Cha, don't say raw dog. I say raw dog it all the time. Now relearn for Gen 3. Oh, I'm going to have to... That's what... The, 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 Deimos going to be very helpful for Gen 3. People are going to take it out of context. Good. Anyone know where to get berries in Scarlet and Violet? They're just little sparkles on the floor. I think that's it. Shiny 
shiny making, baby making. What is the difference? Um, eugenics? That doesn't sound good. I still have not played Scarvio yet. They're good games, Tion. Just not on actual hardware. I thought you weren't using legendaries. I didn't use legendaries in in the first uh, first season. But now I'm like, if I'm crazy enough to shiny hunt for it, I can use anything. As long as it's not a repeat. You should shiny hunt for Raikou. I, uh... I don't think I can. I'm sorry you got caught into that, Ayano. Oh, my lord. Uh, my chat can sometimes be a little bit degenerate. Mostly because I think sometimes I'm a little bit more unintentionally degenerate than I than I intend. Like, But, you know, sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles. Have you gotten any unwanted shinies? I mean, I think Paris and Rattata were the closest to unwanted, but they were kind of stepping stones to getting other shinies easier. So I can't really complain. If I were, uh, I, I don't know what a, a fake stands for. I can't, I can't remember. I always see that and I'm like, I don't remember what this stands for. Uh, in the Gen 3 games, um, as far as I know, it's as far as I know. Uh, in the Gen 3 games, there are ways to RNG manipulate the legendaries to shiny hunt easier. I have heard. You had multiple Geodude during the Zubat hunt. Hey, that somehow came in handy. Do you make your own overlays for these challenges, or do you have someone else do it? I have someone else that does it. How many eggs did it take for the shiny Paris? Uh, it was in the 80s, uh, and then how many for Pineco? 70. We were one off. We were one away from 69 eggs, and I was so mad. When Cha does co-op with VTubers, he gets unhinged. That's true. It's because I like being an idiot. Your layout guy posts Sella selfies on Twitter. Does he really? Ugh. Strange. I almost called 69 eggs meatball. I was upset. We were so close. I thought you were going to take the day off. I was, and then I was like, you know what? Let's just try to finish this game today so that tomorrow I can script and voice over this game for my editor. And we can hopefully have it up during the weekend and I can start silver. Are you going to send these shiny Pokemon to your 3DS save file or into your carts after you finish? Uh, Yeah, the 3DS for sure. Just so that they can go to, like, Pokemon Home. Uh, no hello. Nope. Nope. VTubers bring out primordial instincts that have been lost to humanity for thousands of years. Yikes. Lugia for silver? Um. I'm thinking of doing that for silver. I might save it for, for Soul Silver. Like I said, this is a Ho-Oathon. A ho -oath When did you ever say this was a Ho-Oathon? Man, rip 3DS online, though. Uh, in indeed. Thank God for Pretendo for being able to be, like, a surrogate version of the... Um, 
of the online capabilities. <laughs> and you missed it, but I said instead of a donathon, it's a hoothon. Cute. In unrelated news, it's actually uh, surprisingly easy to uh, modify your 3DS, said uh, Masahiro Sakurai. Can you believe that guy has a YouTube channel, by the way? The guy who made Smash Brothers, like the head of the head of that team. That motherfucker has a YouTube channel. And he has one for both Japanese and English speakers. It's great. Very insightful stuff on that channel. No. Mm, no. 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 The encounters are going fast, though. Like, we're, we're an hour and 16 in, and we've already encountered almost 1,300 times today. Like, my lord. Like, that's, uh, that's like uh, an average of 1,000 encounters an hour. That's crazy. On the topic of VTubers, do you intend to do any more content with some of them? Yes. Uh, me and Miwa Bell are finishing our Emerald Soul Link uh, two-player Nuzlocke. Uh, in the coming days, uh, she she just has like home construction that's going on until the fifteenth. Uh, once that's done, we're gonna hopefully finish up. That's a lot of peacocks. There are a lot of phoenixes. It's surprisingly fast to soft reset, indeed. Good luck with the burb. Thank you, Mick Wolf. And folks, if you are just coming in, or if you haven't already, be sure to make a, uh, be sure to leave a like on this stream. I don't know why I keep having strokes trying to talk today. It looks much faster than grass patch encounters. It really is. Hi, chaotic. How's it going? Bentley plays. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. It's going all right for me. You should RNG manip it. The second message of the stream. You should RNG manip it. Do you know how to do that? I don't. I have already left a like on this video. Please stop making me go go on 20 other accounts to do so. We gotta hit a thousand though. If we don't hit a thousand, what are we gonna do? Can I get the shiny ho -Oh fast? Yeah, this is crazy fast. Even if you go over odds, you should find it today. I hope so. You say that, Tion. I know your luck is just terrible. Or you're just not shiny hunting correctly in gen 3 it's okay one shiny took 35k hey that was a problem for me too this game has just been kind of nice to me it's so easy just execute a few frame perfect uh, button presses and make it shiny that's true what's good cake I want this cake. You know, every time I see the word cake, all I can think of is Eddie Kingston's I want this cake thing. Like the little gif of him saying that he wants it. I want some cake too. I haven't seen Gen 2's Shiny Holo. Uh, I'm pumped for it. Thank you, Xavier. I'm looking forward to finally seeing it in game as well. You ever reset on a Shiny on accident? Uh, no. Oddly enough. By the way, are you resetting with the button combo? I am. Uh, A, B, start, select. Well, time to change my name. Ah, never mind. That's funny. Alright, perfect. I love the, uh, the reversal of, of fortunes that goes on in that one message. <laughs> I've seen someone get a zero reset shiny ho-oh before in this game. That's that's funny. 
I've ha I had one instance where I got a zero reset shiny Groudon. But, uh... That was years ago. And I don't think I'm ever repeating that again in my life. I yeah I have I have a master ball it's fine. I haven't caught Ho -Oh Lugia in Gen two. Uh I I mean I I usually catch them when I uh, well, well at least when I was a kid doing um like casual playthroughs I'd catch them but. I don't think I've ever gotten a static encounter shiny. Uh, that one would be my only one that I've ever gotten shiny before. Uh, nope. In the games with shiny charm, are you going to use it? If I don't get it, like, handed to me before I pick my starter, then nope. Uh, nope. Uh, which version was that in? Uh, it was in Ruby. I got a crest with no resets of shiny before an Omega Ruby. Yeah, it was the uh, it was the shiny Groudon in uh, just Ruby with the with, as the box art legendary. Okay, good. If you use emulator reset, it can make it so you uh, you don't tr get truly random ho -Oh, just the same couple ho -Oh in a row because it doesn't properly go through the RNG when not using the button combo. Yeah, I had a feeling. <laughs> what was your first Pokemon game? It was uh, Pokemon Fire Red on Game Boy Advance. I have way too many characters in Pokemon Masters and Fire Emblem Heroes. Sounds like somebody's a gotcha gamer. Mine was leaf green. That's wild. Yeah, I was I was a red. Uh, I was like a red kid when I was growing up. Loved the color red. Now I'm much more like a blue, a green type of person. But that's probably because my, you know, my channel's association is with those colors. So I'm just used to it now. I remember when I was playing sword for the first time. I was do, uh, I was. I was doing some end of game training for Leon, then ran into one of the overworld Corviknight in the wild area, and it was a square shiny. I forgot about the difference between square shinies and like normal shinies. Uh, very funny. Uh, no. 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 Dang, no shiny burb. Uh, I felt like e yesterday, each time I left the stream and came back, you uh, you you had a new shiny. So hoping was m uh, so was hoping my superstition had come true. Uh, we'll get it today, Joseph. Thank you for stopping in, though. Appreciate it. Uh, no. I can't be the only person whose favorite color is brown. I'm sorry. I think most people don't want to have brown as their favorite color because it's the color of poop. The shadow. <sighs> Why am I yawning so much? The shiny Corviknight was actually worse than the one I had on my team, but it was I obviously used it anyway. That makes sense. I mean, I would too. Mm, no. No. It's also the color of your hair. My hair is like a dirty blonde. It just uh, I th I think the uh, the color correction makes it look more brown than it is. Mostly because I use like a lot of warm lighting in here. Like the the blue kind of light that you probably are seeing on me is probably just from the computer screen alone, but the the white balance on my camera has to like work overload to make sure that it does it doesn't look like I'm just on fucking Mars. <clears throat> If your poop is mahogany brown, I think something is wrong with your gut. Probably. I'm supposed to be in school right now. Folks. That's... That's what we call truancy. 
Like, don't tell me. I don't want to know that. You sound, uh, you sound so wise. I'm not. I'm just a dumbass kid still. I'm not a kid, like, I I'm, I'm 23, but, like, in comparison to most people, yes. Yeah, chocolate looks like poop, yet, and 90% of people love it. Does it, though? If it's that deep brown, then uh, that would be bad. I, for some reason, I thought that 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 ho, -ho was like a darker sh shade of red, and that was shiny. And I'm like, no, it is like a completely different color. I'm trying to adjust my footing here, but of course my uh, my contr my controller cord got caught up, and uh, it probably disconnected, didn't it? Yes, it did. Oh boy, I love when that happens. Okay. Uh, is this the the correct button combination? What's what's my select button? I don't know. Give me a second. I just need to uh to uh reconnect the controller here. Okay. For some reason, it was uh, acting wonky. Favorite animal? For me, it has to be taxes. <laughs> uh, taxes are indeed an animal of the, in and of themselves, aren't they? How is the Pikachu hunt going today? Uh, we're definitely, we're, the, the Pikachu hunt's not going so well. I'm not seeing any shiny Pikachus. I'm supposed to be working right now. Um, Morion, I hope you're not, you're not hurting, uh, yourself by watching in suspense for this, uh, this shiny. But, uh, you can listen in the background and do some work and then, uh, you know, pop over if we get it. Fuck taxes. Yeah, I don't like them either. I don't think anybody likes taxes. My favorite animal is Walmart at 11 p.m. I miss 24-hour Walmart. Sometimes I'm just up at all hours of the night and I want to go uh, go out and get something because I'm, miss I'm missing something from my house. But uh, it's closed. And I'm like, what happened to 24-hour Walmart? Everyone's bunking off to watch you play Pokemon Gold today. Uh, for some reason. I guess because I'm trying to finish it today. And we're in, like, ho -Oh's on the thumbnail. I guess it's, uh, you know. Interesting. Let's shiny hunt the government. Yeah, I wonder what how many of those are shinies. Folks, we're gonna... <laughs> well, let me see if I can do a funny, funny bit for this. Uh, I'm cooking. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to do some good old shiny hunting, but instead of doing it in Pokemon Gold, we're going to be doing it with the United States government. Today, I'm going to be going in and out of Joe Biden's presidential office, seeing whether or not he'll appear shiny. Let's do it. And then the Secret Service guns you down the first time you enter the office. <laughs> We all miss 24-7 Walmart. I, I'm glad that I'm not the only one. Haha, <laughs> funny bird on the thumbnail. <laughs> That's basically it, Cake, yeah. I feel like our parents, uh, our grandparents and parents see some benefit from paying taxes, uh, but our generation is screwed. All the loopholes in education needed to s skate through taxes with a benefit isn't common, isn't common knowledge. 
I guess not. Was Obama a shiny? I feel like that's a thinly veiled racist comment, but I'm I'm just gonna pretend like that wasn't intentional, and if it was, we'll ban you later. <laughs> You just need to soft reset before the Secret Service gets to you. True. True. The, you know, s the exit out to the menu, then respawn, then enter the door, and then, uh, you know, soft reset again before you get gunned down. Do you have your op own apartment? Uh, no, I'm, I'm renting a house. You think Ho-Oh is pro-government or anti-government? Looks like a pro-government bird to me. There are two categories of birds. You've got pro-government birds and you got anti-government birds. The ho is definitely a pro-government bird, whereas the Lugia is like an anti-government bird. Can I like reset? Like I fucking reset. Holy shit. Sometimes the buttons just don't register. No, it wasn't meant to be racist. Well, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> Why am I so goddamn tired today? Maybe I just need some gamer subs to get my energy flowing. Folks, did you know that gamer subs has, is a keto friendly caffeinated beverage? in a tub that you can get using my code chaotic meat by using exclamation point gamer subs in the chat that's right no blake morton boo that's the wrong one boo we we hate them around here they suck no i actually do uh i actually do drink this stuff though so i was i had been reaching out from uh to them for like six months trying to get like an affiliate program with them and it finally worked out thanks to knowing somebody that had a, uh, a contact in there. So, yay. <laughs> I love to drink meat. <laughs> Which Pokemon is the most likely to do hard drugs? Uh, slacking. Definitely slacking. Ever since I started keto, I needed caffeine. Yeah, that's, uh... I feel like that's how some people feel when they do that. They just don't have as much energy as they did before. Or they just have like the opposite and like the, uh, they have a ton of energy. But some people never get over like the keto, the keto flu slash like low energy bits of the diet. Like they're just so used to carbs that their, their body is like very, they're having a very difficult time trying to acclimate itself. Don't forget to buy your lean on GamerSops. That's right. One of the flavors names is lean. It's not real lean, YouTube. You Please don't kill me. Thank you. What about Vigoroth? You see how much roid rage that thing has? Yeah, but slacking has like CTE and several problems from different overdoses it's had over its life. That's what I mean. That's why it has Truant. I mean, you could do a stream where you do hard drugs and catch shiny Pokemon in real life. Ending, that sounds bad. <laughs> no. Slacking is after drug use. Toxtricity <laughs> is mid drug use. True. Slacking has seen some shit as Vigoroth, I could imagine. When I first saw this challenge, I thought you were completing a shiny Pokedex in every game. Oh, no, no, no. No, absolutely not. It's a, a Nuzlocke using only shiny Pokemon. Nose pass built for that cocaine life. Jeez. Carbs are the friends we made along the way. No, they must be eliminated. They must be destroyed. Does Durant also have a drug problem since Truant? It, why does it have Truant as its hidden ability? That's so dumb. I reckon it'd be Snorlax. Guy is constantly asleep or has the munchies. Is that what Snorlax is supposed to be based on? A consumer of marijuana?
That's not hard drugs, though. That's true. At least Toho is easily recognized as shiny. Agreed. Funny enough, the Lean Gamer Stuffs has shiny Joe Biden on the tub. Damn, we found him. We found shiny Joe Biden after two soft resets. Uh, no. Have you seen John Stone's Emerald on completing the Emerald Pokedex? Uh, yes. It was pretty good. Also, it was funny how he was just piling shit up in the middle of the floor and being like, God, this video is getting expensive. Do you have an exercise regime? Um, sometimes, well, I mean, I would just go out and do walks uh, some uh, a couple times a week. But right now, no. Uh, mostly because I'm doing like five to six 12-hour streams a week so that I can, you know, work on this series. Martin, I don't think I can answer that question because A, I've never taken them, and B, I don't think YouTube would appreciate that. Thank you. It's insane how difficult they made it to complete the Pokedex. It is a little frightening. <laughs> Folks, we went below 63 hours. What's going on? How are we letting the timer kill it, uh, like go down so quickly? Yesterday I wanted to get above 65. We barely made 64, and now we're just we're just bleeding time. Will you hunt for any barely recognizable shinies? Probably. Your favorite kind of drug is legal and prescribed by a licensed doctor. Yes, that is my favorite kind of drug. I, lo I love when my doctor gives me prescribed, prescribed amphetamines. <laughs> uh. Are you saving Dunsparce for Paldea? I like to save different Pokemon for different places on like the first season, so probably. Shiny Shup shiny Shuppet is nearly impossible to see a difference. This was my first shiny growing up, and it was pretty underwhelming. I could imagine. What the fuck, Arctic Bomb? No, um, so the type of thing that I'm talking about, because I, I go to a weight loss doctor every week to help with my, uh, you know, help with my weight loss and, like, dieting and stuff. Uh, they prescribed me Phentermine, which is a type of amphetamine. Speaking of which, I haven't taken it in the past two days, and I keep forgetting about it. Maybe I should take it. Folks, once we hit 2200 resets, I'm going to go take my Phentermine. <laughs> is that going to get me banned off of YouTube, even though I, like... It, I have a prescription for it like that that's a, it's it's not like bad it is a a weight loss thing still going a I st uh, I don't have it in me to do what you do well uh we, we I mean uh I went to bed last night but I'm back on I was gonna take today off but I decided I wanted to finish Pokemon gold today and I think we can I mean considering how many encounters we are into uh into you know, ho oh, oh, here. I think we could definitely do it. That's probably true, Moors. Are you going to nickname Ho Ho? I saw your team didn't really have names. Um, I got bribed yesterday to name it and uh, and my graveler. So yes, that's fair, Karama. Uh, 
I should lose weight too, but I really hate losing stuff. Do you mean like losing the food or just lose it? What? I don't get it. If it's supposed to be a joke or something. <laughs> Fellas, if we get 2,000 likes, I'll take my meds. The fuck, Noah? I love watching a Pokemon stream to watch chat talk about drugs. Uh... Okay, let me, uh, let me go grab that real quick. It's in another room.
I found it. I'm so tired. I really don't. I also have my water. But I'm gonna drink me some gamer subs. I actually need to top this off so I can do this. Let me grab some extra water real quick. I have my last sample, which is Dragon Fruit Punch. I've tried this one before, but it's been years since I've had it. I don't remember what it tastes like, but I'm hoping it is good. I mean, of course it's going to be good. The Gamer Sup stuff is usually pretty damn good. But I did, I did find my the stuff that I got from the doctor, so at least that, that, that's not la that's not lost. I also don't have a spoon on me. I just had a random fork on the uh, on the desk, so I'm using that to stir it. <laughs> what happened to my purple poke? We we got it. That's why Slow King's on the team. You know, pause the timer on breaks. Uh, I can't. The ti the timer just goes. It doesn't have a pause button for some reason. I also have to manually update it. It's stupid. Getting up and walking a bit will help you wake up. I, I mean, I walked around a bit. Uh, I just, I am like, I don't know why I'm like in a, just in a like sleepy state. I Maybe it's just I didn't get good sleep last night. Who knows? Ugh. Maybe I shouldn't have put this higher. I should have kept this lower. There we go. Boink. All right, back to hunting. Uh, back to hunting hoos. Maybe I some I need something a little bit more energetic than acoustic music. You know. You look like a mess, man? I look fine. What are you talking about? I think I look perfectly fine. Uh, okay. Back to gaming. Dono goals to kill off team members when? Oh, please, no. Being sleepy is probably a good enough excuse to set up donations for exercise. Help you wake up, be active and healthy, and make money and add time to the Donathon. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I can make little incentives that you guys can uh, throw like a dollar or two at if you want to contribute to the timer. I can come up with that once uh, once I'm done with gold. Yeah, ten billion dollars to end the run here, exactly. Are you winning, Meatball? We're close. I just got to get this hoo. -ho. Once we do. I'm pretty sure I'll be winning. Also, I can't get file plume just because um, I, I got to save Oddish for Let's Go Pikachu. It's like my only good starter in that game, like from Route 1. Do a flip and it'll be shiny. True!
Run it ends at red, I presume. Correct. If it's a Johto run, it better end at red, or you didn't finish it. <laughs> you can get Blossom. I could, but I don't know. I'd rather save it for later. Uh, no. No. I think $500 to kill him on, that's enough time to, for another full odds encounter, depending on appearance rate. That'd be funny. But, ugh, I don't... Again, I have to also consider, like, I have to keep options available for future games. I, if I do that, then... Shit. Hoa will carry us to victory, hopefully. I'm glad you aren't entering at the Elite Four. I hate when people do that in GSC. I hate it too. I, I'd rather, I'd rather do the whole of Kanto. I appreciate that mindset. Seen a couple too many runs end after Lance won and been confused. I yeah. I think I've even been a victim of it just because I didn't have time to finish the video for the for like a sponsorship or some shit. And I hate doing that. And I will never do that again. How many encounters was it for Pineco? 70. Because we bred for it. If you do name the Ho-Oh, uh, somebody already bribed me for the name for Ho-Oh and, uh, and Graveler. What are the shiny odds in uh, Gold Silver? Uh, one in 8,192 for, like, normal encounters, but you can get them down as far as one in 128 or even uh, even one in 64, depending on the species of Pokemon while breeding for them. 70 is still over odds. No, it's one in 128 for, uh, for Pineco because it's a 50-50 split for the gender difference. Uh, one in 64 is only for the ones that are seven... Um, what is it? I'm trying to remember. This is not it. Uh, 1 in 64 is for the ones that have like an 87.5% chance of being male and a 12.5% chance of being female. So. Will you use the shiny breeding method in silver uh, and move to gold to make it easier? I want the I want the Pokemon to have the original trainer of the, the game that I'm doing. So I probably won't do it until I hit like after Bugsy in, in silver. Mm, no. Seven to one odds, right? Or ratio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven out of eight are going to be uh, male. So, yeah, 87.5 to 12.5. Uh, 12 yeah, it can't be shiny a female, though, if it's the, the seven eight split. Exactly. Like, seven eighths of them are going to be um, female. Or, seven eighths of them are going to be male. No. No. What shiny would you like to get from the egg and crystal? Pichu. I already used Pikachu, but I haven't used Pichu or Raichu. So I wouldn't mind finishing off like that evolution chain. Uh, no. Yeah, only stuff like Jinx or Kangaskhan can be shiny female because they're a hundred percent. Well, there are there are Pokemon that can be shiny female if they're like 50-50 split. You just have to get a low enough attack IV that works, like two, three, six, or seven, I believe. Yeah, it's only a different in attack, um, insane gamer. The defense doesn't matter. The only gender deciding factor is the attack IV. Yeah, anything that's 50-50 split can be shiny female or 100% female or whatever.
Are you going to use Meganium in a future game? Hopefully. Uh, did your golem die? Uh, no, we, uh, we shaved him and he became a graveler. We canceled him. Golem digi di uh, uh, digi devolved through. Isn't Snubble an 87.5% female? Is it? I don't remember. Okay, so wait, does shiny claws only work if it's a shiny that you aren't going to use? What do you mean? What? Why is it Graveler? You will watch the video. Well, well you. I mean, if you do watch the video for when uh, I'm done with gold, you'll find out what happened. But I don't want to spoil it. It's 75% female for Snubble? Okay, that makes sense. But we've used Golem. Correct. But we never used Graveler. I will watch it. I subbed. Oh, thank you, Elisa. I appreciate it. Uh, nope. The past streams are out, though. That's fine. If you want to hunt through it, sure. Or if you want to just wait for the video and find out and watch an entertaining video as well, there you go. But I don't want to spoil it for those who uh, haven't uh, seen those prior streams. Then you got a new Graveler. If you recall, we ended up getting two shiny Geodudes with the second one by accident. So, yes. And why are, why are people so confused about this? I used the Geodude. It evolved into Graveler. I never used Graveler in battle. Therefore, I trade evolved it into Golem. So then Graveler was saved for the, for the franchise Nuzlocke because I had not used an attack in battle with it. So then, because the Golem is dead... Then I was like, oh, I can use my uh, substitute shiny Geodude that I got in a different area, so it's, you know, a legal encounter. And then, uh, because I could, you know, I could dupes claws, and I could go for, like, a Zubat or something in there, which I tried doing, but I never found the Zubat. So I was like, okay, this was my first encounter in there, so why not use this? Now I can uh, evolve this into Graveler, and then, boom, we have ourselves the whole line being represented. Were you looking for shiny Dunspars? No, not... I would be insane to be looking for shiny Dunspars. 1%, by the way, there. Uh, no. Mm, no. No. Who are these fools coming in here telling you how to do the challenge you created? Created. I don't know. I understand the questions, but I think people are just confused. It's fine. I know it's still a far while away, but can you shiny hunt starters in Colosseum and XD? Uh, the Espeon and Umbreon in Colosseum are shiny locked. Honestly, I think I'm just skipping them in this one because they're completely unreasonable with the way they work with shinies. They just, they just don't really work. Yesterday I learned you can shiny hunt the costumes from Battle Revolution. Are you serious? That's funny. We saw it earlier, so we used Golem, yes. But 
those GameCube games would be impossible to shiny lock. I don't think it would be impossible, but it would take too too much time for what it's worth. XD doesn't even have shinies. It does. The only way you can get shinies is through your... I think the... Uh, I think the, the starter Eevee can be shiny. Uh, the Pokespot Pokemon and the trades you get with Duking are the only things in that game that are not shiny lock. And the uh, the gift Elekid. Which I think you're supposed to trade or something for like a Togepi. Yeah, some guy called Absol Plays uh, got a shiny Groudon costume, and I think even a shiny Kyogre costume. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can pure you purify a Togepi trade for Elekid. Okay, never mind. I just got them swapped around, but yeah, I do remember that. But yes, the Elekid there can be shiny. Oh uh, nope. I believe Colosseum and XD do not have that glitch that reset shininess when purifying. I heard that was just a rumor. No, there's a check when you catch it, and then there's a check when you purify it. From uh, from my knowledge, from like my research and shit, it's uh, it's weird. That's why I'm just like I don't think I should fuck with these games. And Shadow Pokemon are shiny locked in XD, which is very strange. Ah, yes, shiny Elekid, the best shiny, agreed. It's uh, it's not that great, but, you know, it, it would do the job. Maybe they're saying the Graveler doesn't count because you still had to use the Geodude to get, to the, get the Graveler you never used? No. You know why? Because the EXP share exists. Oh, and also, Switch training exists. I can give 75% experience to the to the Geodude and evolve it. Like, it's not that hard. I think people just don't get it. As long as I don't use an attack and battle with it, it's fine. From my knowledge, that second chat doesn't actually reset anything. I heard uh, I will need to double check. Very few have actually, uh, actually have shiny Pokemon in Colosseum. Unsurprising considering it is just like ridiculous. But I would be the first person to do a run in, in Coliseum and XD if I did do that, which would be cool. Oh, uh, nope. Yeah, the second che check doesn't reset. Hmm. That was the whole thing with those games, is that both checks uh, re-roll it, though. It doesn't, like, reset it, but it, like, re-rolls it so it could potentially not be shiny. I think the way it worked is that in Colosseum, wild Pokemon are shiny locked and shadow Pokemon aren't. There are no wild Pokemon in Colosseum, which kind of helps. Uh, actually, the, it's the opposite. I think there's just so many misconceptions. I don't know. I You guys are giving me a lot of conflicting information, so I would just have to look it up myself. But I I have, and from what I've I've known, there are two roles for those shinies in uh, in Colosseum off of uh, you know purifying shadow Pokemon, which is why I'm like, mm, no thanks. You should include Super Smash Brothers in the shiny lock. Some Pokemon have their shiny forms as alternate costumes. That would be a funny gag, but I don't know. No. 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 The devs did an oopsie and shiny locked it for the original trainer, but not for the player who catches them. Oh. Uh... 
I hope this thing doesn't take like 9,000 resets again. I hope this thing takes less. It would just be nice to be able to get away with it uh, quicker than otherwise. Well, Robert, if you missed the streams, I would uh, I would advise just trying to keep yourself away from the spoilers. Wait for the final video to come out, and then you'll see. And then the reef goes and screws up the the idea. I'm trying to not, you know, spoil people. I know they're gonna ask, but they'll see in the video. I don't think they're c considering the fact that there's gonna be a video, even though. If I'm streaming it, I'm going to make a video out of it. You guys know how content creators are. They they reuse the content in like eight different ways on different platforms so that they, you know, maximize the time that they're using. It's smart, but it's not something that most people consider. I've been following this for days. Oh, yeah, I mean, the the other person, I mean. Just got two. Uh, just got new tires today. Three hundred nineteen dollars for two tires. Are you? That's that is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I can't believe tires are that expensive. Speaking of which, I probably do need to get new tires soon on my car. I haven't replaced them since I bought the car, so. But that, they're fine. I just uh, I, they still have a, a good amount of tread on them, so I just don't drive that much, which is probably why. What's the plan for lunch? I still have a lot of leftovers in the fridge from uh, what I ordered yesterday. Please get the shiny in the next 35 minutes. Uh, the candidates chess tournament round starts then and I need to go there. The candidates chess tournament. I don't know what that is, but uh, game willing, we'll see. That's actually cheap. It's not cheap from what they used to be. Inflation sucks. <laughs> Dictates who, uh, who goes against the world champion in the world championship. Uh... Tires suck, especially if you have a weird size. For some godforsaken reason, Hyundai Tucson Sport has 19-inch tires. Every other model has 18. I don't know too much about it. I just let the, the car people do it. I don't have very much of an interest in cars. I know some people like it, and I know some people like like repairing their own stuff. I tried when I was like a teenager to get into it just so that it would be cheaper, but I just, uh, you know... I'd rather pay for the convenience of that because I it's too much for me. I'm not like mechanically inclined with that stuff. I got tires two years ago. They were the same price and that was pre-inflation. Really? Oh. Well, that sucks. Inflation, you mean record-breaking profits? Yeah, right. Oh, uh, can I please have the shiny ho -wo? I love how a few minutes ago we were talking about the Graveler, then about Coliseum and XD, and now just fucking tires. I agree. Watching you trying to find Shiny Ho is making me hungry for some roast turkey. Oh, well, we got roast turkey. I guess that's why, because we got a roast turkey on screen. All 
Aren't the box legendary shiny locked? Nah, that wasn't until like Gen 5. When are we going to talk about Bayleaf? I've already mentioned, I'm not spoiling it in the stream. Either wait for the final video so that you don't get spoiled and you can see the suspense of what happens there, or hunt through the VODs if you're bored. Forgive me for asking if you've already said it in a video, but what if your top uh, top five series games? Um, damn it, Sludery. I'm deleting the Bayleaf command. No spoilers allowed. No. Uh, what are my top five main series games, though? Uh, number one, Black 2, White 2. Number two, Black and White. Number three, Emerald. Number four... Number four, probably... I mean, no, I think number... Yeah, no, number four is Scarlet and Violet. And then number five is... Probably, I mean, it's it's hard to, like, if I'm measuring them with, like, the power of speed up through emulation, like, it would probably be Platinum. I still think BDSP is, like, the best release of Ho uh, of uh, Sinnoh on consoles without, like, speed up because it actually makes the game parably, like, uh, quick. Like, it's actually, you know, a quick enough experience rather than being ass slow. But if, no, if I'm not including that and I'm doing, like, uh... Like, console gameplay only, it would probably be, like, Fire Red Leaf Green. What's your least favorite generation? Um, a tie between 2 and 7. 2 plays well, uh, but, like, the, um, the levels are bad. The Pokemon are a good design, but, like, sporadic everywhere, and their stats are not as good as the Gen 1 Mons. Um, some of the Johto Mons for some godforsaken reason are in Kanto. All of the, like, normal complaints you would hear. Level scaling, uh, etc. And then Gen 7 is just ass-filled with cutscenes and I can't stand them. It just, it makes me not want to fucking play it because the control is taken from me all the goddamn time. There was a, a hack that let me just press start to get through the, the cutscenes and skip to where it would be. Like, just a quick fade out and fade in for when uh, where the cutscene would normally end. I would be perfectly fine with it. Because I could do that on subsequent playthroughs. But they did not give me the option to do that. So now every time I play through it, I'm going insane. And I don't go to a Pokemon game for story. If I want to you know an rpg with some story i'm gonna play dragon quest 11 or something like that which i still want to do but i haven't had time which of the games are you dreading the most gen 7 as per usual that's what i dreaded for the first season and i didn't do it for six months because of it so i didn't want to fucking play them that's why i don't play them on the channel much if at all I personally hate Gen 9. Gen 9's great. Gen 9's very open, very flexible, lots of cool Pokemon to use. It might not run well on console, but you know, throw that stuff upscaled and at 60 FPS on like a computer. Beautiful. Works great. If they gave the option to skip cutscenes, you would be able to complete the game in 20 minutes. No, it'd still be pretty substantially long in comparison to other, like, Pokemon games, but it just would be nice if I could skip the shit. I'm just so... I just don't want to sit there and watch the whole thing. Yeah, it might be because I played it on the Switch. Yeah, I never played it on the Switch because I saw it was bad, and I was like, this is going to make me not like this game. So I, I played it on PC, and I was just like, yeah. This was way better. Like, there was no reason to play it on Switch.
Episode Rainbow Rocket is cool, but uh, that's why that's one of the reasons why I like Ultra Sun Ultra Moon more than Sun and Moon. It just has less cutscenes, and um, the the battles are harder. Ultra Necrozma is an asshole, um, and yeah. If it's shiny off the bat, aka your, your aka your trainer and secret IDs matched, then it will remain shiny after purification. Huh. Bro, some battles in Gen 8 9 slash uh, 8 slash 9 take 20 minutes because how the game runs. They are long games already with longer cutscenes. Yeah. That's why I uh every time I do play through Gen 9 on PC, I already I have like a a 2x speed patch on because it, it makes the game run well. Like the overworld, uh, oh, the overworld becomes like a good speed once once you have the whole thing on two times speed. It's great. I love it. Lucid means character su sucks in Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. I don't care. I again, I'm not playing Pokemon for story or character. I'm playing it for, haha, funny animal go burr with fire blast. Damn, Demo. RNG abuse Discord mod here. Time for a G check. Any proof? <laughs> JK, you're right. It's only a different PID when it's their Pokemon and after you snag them on. Purification means nothing to PIDs. I... Demo, tell me. I don't. I don't know. Is it is it possible for me to do Colosseum and X and XD in this series? Like, if so. Like, I'll do them. If not, then I'll skip them. But as long as it's not, like, gonna kill me. Yes, but it's aids to RNG. I wouldn't. I see. Alright, then I'm, then we'll, we're not gonna do them. If you want a real idea of Culture Shock, I started with Gen 1, then stopped and only picked up in Gen 7. It was weird. Oh, I can imagine. I had been going since, like, I mean, again, I, I started with Fire Red Leaf Green, so I practically just started with an updated version of Gen 1. Um, so I got to, like, use the Gen 1 pool of Pokemon first before I was exposed to, like, the Gen 2 pool and Gen 3 pools. I even played Coliseum when I was a kid. I had both Coliseum and XD. Uh, just because I was a Pokemon kid and I liked the GameCube. Colosseum and XD sound horrible to get Chinese in. I agree. All 48 Shadow Pokemon can be caught using RNG manipulation in Colosseum. It's not easy, though. Hmm. I don't mind a good story for Pokemon. Problem is, is a uh, problem with some of the games like Sword Shield, which want to tell a story and be like, no, no, just go on with your journey. Yeah, that's why I want the cutscenes to be skippable, because I want them to be able to like take you around, but I also want them to like make it skippable so that you know the be taking me around doesn't take that long if you want to just skip the um, the cutscenes and shit. My first Pokemon was Pearl, and I never beat it because I didn't go to the Canalave library. Very funny. Somebody didn't l read one line of dialogue and didn't uh, didn't beat the game because of it. Some are borderline impossible. Like there's a lot of ifs or buts, but it, uh, but your PID can affect the possible shiny seeds of the shadow locking. Uh, how Colos XD Coliseum for sneakers. Hmm.
Are you beating these games without even using a full team of six? I intended to use a full team of six here, but uh, there's a reason that Death's Counter exists. I worked in a toy store when Diamond and Pearl came out. I watched multiple parents tell their kids that Diamond is for boys and Pearl is for girls. That's so funny. That must be why I got Diamond as a kid. What's reading? Uh, what's reading? I'm here to catch Pokemon. I agree. What is reading? I can't read. Uh, will you include the uh, SV DLC this go around? I, I, what's part of it? What's the level caps? Can somebody give me like a good level cap? Like, what? How do I do it with the level caps? Nobody has a guide on it because nobody includes it in their Nuzlocks. So I, if if you can give me a level cap, like set for the Scarlet Violet DLC, throw it in my Discord, and tell me, like, just, like, what the, the caps should be for the additional bosses and stuff, then I will do it. But, please, I don't know, because nobody has, has it in, like, Pokemon Challenges server, I, I can't, I can't find any resources on it, I don't even know what the DLC looks like, because I haven't bought it yet, because I haven't been interested. Pokemon Coliseum was underrated game, to be honest, and we got a free Umbreon and Espeon. In the generation where the the um, the day-night mechanics didn't work, yeah, it was kind of fortunate that they gave us those for free. Uh, no. I just remember the Indo Indigo disc going up to 70. Hmm. Does Bulbapedia have a level guide for everyone in the DLC? I have not played the DLC. I do not know what's in the DLC. I need somebody else who knows what's in the DLC to be able to route it so that I can do it effectively. Because, like, I'm not buying it and, and doing uh, videos on it if I don't have that already, uh, like, documented. Oh, there's a link for the DLC in Scarlet and Violet in the Nuzlocke subreddit. Where do you want the link posted? Just throw it in, uh, like, my Nuzlocke portion of, the, of my Discord server. Feels weird, man. Yeah, it is weird that uh, Espeon and Umbreon are shiny locked in that game. That's one of the reasons I don't even want to do it, because it's like, oh, the first battle. Oh, I, well, those aren't shiny Pokemon. Whoopsie. No, I mean, you couldn't you get the pathing for the DLC for uh, by going to Bulbapedia and seeing the level caps and everything? I don't know when you can access shit. I don't know, I don't know anything about the DLC. I need that info spelled out for me specifically. Like, I can go there and I can be like, all right... Uh, I, I just, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a bit much. How fair is the hoe hunting? The hoe hunting, that sounds wrong, but true. Uh, it's going fine, I guess. We'll hopefully get it soon. It would be funny for you to carefully, um, I can't see the, the word underneath the hard emote. I forgot to take off the hard emote. Somebody, uh... Somebody sent a method to do that in my Discord, and I forgot to do it before last night. Clear, carefully plan the whole run that just to raw dog the DLC. I ain't buying the DL DLC digitally, that's all. Yeah, I would like a physical uh, release with the DLC on it. Um, I know they did that for Sword and Shield, and crazy enough, um, I mean, not crazy, but, you know, hilariously enough, the, the physical version with the DLC on the cartridge uh, for Sword and Shield are now, like, really expensive. Because they made a pretty limited release of that. Uh, there's one for Scarlet Violet just understocked. Oh shit. I'm gonna have to pick that up before it, like, uh, if I can find it before it, like, goes out and, like, they stop printing it. Don't you need to capture a whole new team for the Indigo Disc DLC? I don't know. I haven't. I have not played it. This might be an odd question, but from all generations of Pokemon, what's the six Pokemon you have on your team if you were a trainer? Um. Let's see. Hydreigon, Ferrothorn, Gallade, Sc 
Swampert. Sylveon. And probably Superior. Just uh if I was just going with like generic favorites while also trying to like team balance in like a minute. Planning on working on uh on my uh fic tonight. You ever read or watched the Naruto series? No. I bought Pokemon Violet and I got as far as the first gym and stopped because I wanted to play Brilliant Diamond and Legends Arceus. Hey, I can understand wanting to play Legends Arceus. God, I want to play Legends Arceus right now. Holy guacamole. Folks, we might do some streams of Legends Arceus Professor Oak's Challenge before we jump into Silver. I really want to play that game again. God, I, I, oh, I love that game so much. Like, it is my favorite Pokemon game of all time. Like, oh, well, I mean... It's, it's not even, like, if I'm going with tr favorite traditional, it stays black to white to. But if I'm going favorite because of just different game style and the kind of genre that I prefer, like, the collectathon that is, like, Legends Arceus and the story that's in it, like, that feels like a Pokemon game that should be focused on story and that I want to play. Max Research, yes. I've, uh, that is exactly where I'm going with that demo. I, I am working on Max Research uh, Legends RCS POC. Did you miss my question? Probably. If Pokemon were real, would you have to buy, uh, would we have to buy Pokeballs from 7-Eleven? I wouldn't trust the 7-Eleven Pokeballs with my life. I'd be going to, like, Publix for my Pokeballs. <laughs> Excuse me. So I prefer the originals for their storytelling aspect and for, like, the soft reboot. Uh, but if I want to play with, like, a very wide variety of Pokemon, I like Black 2, White 2 more. No hate, but, what, uh, but when the normal PLA POC uh, rivals Let's Go, it's cool, but Max Research is the right choice. I agree. You're completing the Pokedex as much as possible, which, it, like it or not, the Pokedex in Legends, Arce uh, in Legends Arceus is fucking different compared to other games. So you gotta, you gotta treat it differently. I was doing a Max Research POC of that game. Uh, never finished. I feel that. Uh, that if you ever watched or read Naruto, oh that, well yeah I I, I said no, I, I did read that. Uh, also missed my question if you watched the Pokemon anime or read the Pokemon special manga. Um, I don't know Pokemon special, but I did read like the black and white chapters of Pokemon Adventures. Uh, but I don't watch the anime very much anymore now. I watched the black and white series. I watched a lot of like uh, Gen 3 through 5 anime when I was growing up, but that was it. I dropped after like halfway through the the black and white anime. Uh, I think uh, the last distinct uh, like thing that I remember out of the Gen 5 anime was hearing in the English dub that uh, Drayden was voiced by, by Mike Pollock. Like I heard the calm Eggman voice out of him and I'm like, um, Drayden? Because I was sitting at my grandparents' kitchen table and I was listening to that voice and I was like, I recognize that voice. And I looked it up and I'm like, ah, yes, that was Mike Pollock. Okay. Very funny. God, the black and white anime was so bad. It was rough. It was really fucking rough. I liked the uh, the theme song for the second uh, um, the second season of it, uh, Rival Destinies. I thought it was it was kind of it was kind of cool. <laughs> Drayden will catch that hedgehog. Oh, uh, Lord. Ash had a little bot of me. Iris was annoying. Trip was, you know, the only cool character because he used the Snivy, and I like Snivy. Even though he really wasn't. Silent existed. He was a, po uh, what was it, a Pokemon connoisseur or something like that. I don't know. That show sucked.
Team Rocket were supposed to be serious, and then they stopped being serious because of the earthquake uh, tsunami tragedy of 2011 in Japan. Uh, they were because they were dressed out in the the black uniform, and they were supposed to have a big operation du two parter with Team Plasma, but it got fucked up because of exactly that because of the earthquake tsunami. Uh, that that had uh, that apparently that episode would have been insensitive to air after that, and they never did air it afterwards. So they decided to tone that down in the series. Um, there's so many like. Um, Japanese series that get toned down because of like real life events. I remember what happened to uh, Choriki Sentai O Ranger, because I I think that was the um uh that was the the Japanese train bombings that I think happened in '95 if I recall correctly, um because they were originally gonna make it more serious, but when that happened, they were like, oh, we should probably make this a little bit more lighthearted so that it's it isn't like as um aggressive of a series yo thess 79 thank you so much for the five gifties if you didn't get one type dodge in chat it's as simple as that i'm gonna add that time to the timer thank you for boosting ba us back up over 62 hours and folks we did we have well, we started with like 64 hours today and we have dropped below 62 we're all we're only just now getting back over 62 because of the memberships if you have the capability um, and you're, you're you're financially stable enough and you like this series, definitely uh, think about contributing to the timer. Whether it's only like a dollar or two, you can do so through Super Chat, through doing a membership, which adds five do uh, five minutes to the timer. Those are five bucks, and you can even give some to other mem uh, other viewers of the channel that might not be in that uh, type of position. Like I know there's uh, some uh, like 13 through 18 year olds in the chat that don't necessarily make their own money, but would do enjoy the series and would like to help. Uh, you could always step in their place if you are financially stable enough of course exclamation point gamer subs you can use that to get 10 percent off your order and uh for every dollar that you spend over there on any drinks cups or any of the food items like the snacks and or instant noodles you can get yourself a minute on the timer per uh per dollar that you spend uh but with that let me go ahead and add that 25 minutes to the timer thank you again i really do appreciate that Meatball, I play card games. I can't be financially stable. Uh, I do too, but that's why I'm playing Runic Stun. Because I'm trying to be financially stable. <laughs> because I, I, am not play I am not paying for Snake Eye. I'm sorry, I'm not paying for Snake Eye. You should definitely watch the XY and XYZ seasons of the anime. Uh, maybe. If you ever saw the Hoenn anime, it's so cheesy. Like, the voice acting is hilariously awful. It's very fun, but very very bad at spots. I watched a lot of it. I watched a lot of it when I was a kid, and I rewatched some of it when I was older. Because I think they started putting them on YouTube. I did rewatch a, a, a bit of the, like, I think I rewatched the first two or three badges of the, uh, the original Hoenn anime. I would like to go back and, like, you know how you guys... I don't know you if you guys know who Lin Cara is. He used to be part of that guy with the glasses, like Channel Awesome, um, like years and years ago. But he started a series like over a decade ago called History of Power Rangers. And he went over every season. It's uh, production issues. It's production like highlights. The story of the show. The, um, uh, like, the character development of the characters in the show going into e each season and whatnot. I kind of want to do the same thing for the Pokemon anime, and that's why I want to go back and watch a lot of the stuff at some point, but I, it, it would take a lot of time. I would also have to be playing around a lot of um, issues with, you know, footage, fair use, trying not to get killed by Nintendo, P Pokemon Company, Game Freak, etc., etc., so... Weren't you the one who tried History of Super Sentai? I tried, but, like, that was... That was like my infant YouTube phase, and it sucked. I, I've tried going back to it, and I bet you I could do a, a lot better job researching and uh, watching that show. I, I watched that show, and like every note that I was taking for it, it just it seemed so. It just didn't seem like that series really worked for it because it wasn't serialized. I don't think Pokemon's necessarily super serialized, but like its arcs are because it's it's like going through a region. Like there's a there's a goal at the end. Good evening from Germany. 
I missed that almost. Uh, see you. Thank you for coming in. I hope you enjoy the stream. Does no one else think it's weird he's cheating on a Nuzlocke and still calling a Nuzlocke and still losing? Am I cheating? Am I? Do you think I'm cheating? Do you think that using the Graveler when I had a spare Geodude that I encountered in a different area and because I didn't use Graveler in battle and I immediately evolved it into Golem that using a second one is cheating? If so, you're a fucking dipshit. P Pokemon fans! Pokemon fans, folks. Some of them are very, uh, very mentally challenged, very stupid. It's okay. We'll make fun of them all the same. If you don't like how I do it, guess what? You're not going to like how 95% of the other Nuzlockers do it. You're not. You're just not. And folks, with that, if you are an intelligent viewer, you uh, <laughs> you should like the stream so that it helps reach more normal people, you know? We want to reach more normal people. We've had enough trolls in here. Holy fuck. You know, one of the trolls actually followed me to a drives box break this past weekend and like named himself like and he put in the chat chaotic meatball is a bill cosby fan and i'm like dude why are people why do people specifically target the fuck out of me i don't get it <laughs> i mean it's funny that they target the fuck out of me but i also don't want to like get targeted that much to the point where other people think that because I'm getting targeted, that I'm not worth working with. Because it's like, oh, I don't want to have to deal with the massive amount of trolls he seems to get. Because, like, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't know why they do that. I think they just... Either they hate watch me, or, you know... I don't get it. <laughs> don't reply to the people who target you. Trolls thrive on reactions. I, I need, like, better mods in here to, like, ban them. It's not like Big Demo or like Teon are bad. I just don't think they're around here all the time. They target you because you uh, degas about it. What? I don't know. I don't get it. And it's funnier that way. I like making fun of them. I, I like, you know, I like one guying them and getting the entirety of chat to target them. And, you know, it's very. To me, it's very funny making fun of them, but also, I think that also feeds them, but it also feeds me, and it's a perpetual loop. It's a perpetual loop of nonsense that needs to eventually stop. Folks, we are very, we are closing in on 3,000 encounters. That's crazy. We started today with 821 encounters. I'm trying to aim for 1,000 encounters an hour. If we can get, uh, if we can get that, maybe. Ban them while, uh, while they worked up to never get the W. True. YouTube changed layout and I can't like the stream. Um, refresh the page? Did they change the layout? I, um, over the last couple days, I, uh, I haven't noticed any changes, but I've noticed some people saying it is, so maybe they're rolling it out slowly to different users. If so, I'm glad it hasn't hit me yet. Yo, Arctic Bomb, thank you so much for the five buckaroonies. You respond to me in chat a lot and make it a fun stream. I have to head out, but I hope there, uh, but I hope you have a good one and find the chicken. Thank you so much. Let me get this last encounter here and get it up to an even number. Let me add it. Also, thank you for your super chat virginity. Let's celebrate their first super on a live stream, folks. I take super chat li uh, uh, super chat virginities, and I eat them for breakfast. And it's a very very hearty dose of vitamins and nutrients you know seven important vitamins and nutrients come in super chat virginity and only you can provide me with those by also increasing the timer thank you if you're on mobile close the chat to like that's true it's annoying recommended videos are under video uh chat is on its place but description should be on the side too i liked that they made it so that you can put um YouTube in theater mode while also keeping the chat open. It's kind of like Twitch in a way where you can finally fill up the screen with exactly the 
the vi the stream that you're watching and the chat. It doesn't look as good, but with the layout of how YouTube works, I think they did the best they could uh, without completely overhauling the, the design of it. Um, because I used to have a problem where I would have to keep it at like default view so that I could get the chat next to it, but if I went to theater view, it would go below the, the screen. But now it stays beside the screen. I'm very happy to see that. My manager is gone tomorrow to Tuesday, so I got like 40 hours to do in four days, and it's a bar, so I'm going to do more hours. It's a bar? Do you work at a bar? I use that mode all the time on my left monitor. That makes sense. Um, no. Yo, real ZBD. Thank you for the... 10 buckaroonies. Let me pause this again and add that to the timer. Happy midweek. Hope your hunt for the mega ultra chicken goes well. Been enjoying the streams while at work. God, wouldn't that be a cool fan animation? ho -Oh versus the winged dragon of Ra. God of, uh, the poke god of sun versus the yugi god of sun. Like, give that, give that to me in fucking spades, dude. I would, I would kill to see somebody be able to do that. Bird up. Hey folks, you're watching Bird Up, the worst show on television. Uh, I love Bird Up. What a funny fucking segment. I still can't believe we got a Yu-Gi-Oh deck named Bird Up because of that segment. We legitimate we legitimately got uh, Lyralisk Tri Brigade to be a deck in Yu-Gi-Oh, and when it became meta, people started calling it Bird Up because of that. It was so good. I love Bird Up. So, it is actually one of my favorite decks in Yu-Gi-Oh. One of the ones I got. Uh, I I actually really excelled at learning the lines and playing through hand traps. Um, very fun deck, and still also completely playable in Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel. Uh, the only piece that's banned in the TCG right now is Simorg, Burn of Sovereignty. Um, I don't know why they don't unban un un that card. They banned Barrier Statue of the Stormwinds. If they banned Simorg, or if they unban Simorg with keeping Barrier Statues banned, I think it's legal. Being able to summon Apex Avian in the end phase as a negate off of a Link 3? Sure. And it being, like, locked to, you know... The Tri-Types, the Beast, Beast Warriors, and Wing Beast, I think they should be allowed to bring that back. Again, no no Stormwinds. I, uh, those, those two didn't register. Uh, no Stormwinds. I think Swimmore should be legal. Any other Yu-Gi-Oh players agree with me? Oh, I'm, oh my god, have you ever heard about Bird? The Bird is the Word. Um, I've heard Bird is the Word as a saying before, but you know. Here you go, sir. Enough to get me a single Yu-Gi-Oh card. Uh, I don't. I think that'll get you half a poplar, net slum. Thank you so much for the 22 buckaroonies. Let me add that to the timer. God, I love Mega Man X music. Let me read this. Here you go, sir. Enough to get maybe a single Yu-Gi-Oh card. Also been enjoying all the content in the streams. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Folks, we are recovering on this timer. We're back almost above 63 hours. My goal today, I want to get it above 66 hours. We got, we started with 64. Can we hit 66? I don't know. Uh, how are you? I'm doing all right, Professor. How are you doing? What does Pot of Greed do? Uh, refer to Bill for that. If you get that joke, I hope you do. Card game players. <laughs> Bill will tell you the answer to Pot of Greed. Also, yes, Netslum, thank you for your super chat virginity. We subsist on these. Demo. The pot cards are always just... <laughs> Demo, please, I, I want you to go look, look up the card Pot of Prosperity and tell me, should that be, that, should that be card, should that card be legal at three when Pot of Greed is at zero? This man doesn't know how to play the ocarina. Very funny. Pot of generosity is OP. True. Return two cards from your hand to the deck. You know, being able to put back bricks, you know, it could it could be helpful.
If you hit Shiny Ho -Oh before there's 62 hours on the clock, I will do a brilliant Diamond Nuzlocke. Folks? Actually, you said before there was uh, 61 hours on the clock. I, I, saw the fir I saw the first message. You, you changed it. Martin, you can't, you can't back out now. I saw it. Pot of Duality came out a few months ago in Duel Links and saw a bit of play. I, I just don't think Duel Links has enough pieces for, like, stun to where it would matter if Pot of Duality was legal. Uh, I think they could do a pretty good job of making sure that, like, really degenerate shit doesn't stay legal in that game. Um, although, again, the fact that they put fucking Striker, like, Sky Striker in that game just baffles me. Like, as somebody who's, like, play, played against that in TCG... Uh, the fact that that's like in the master du or in the uh, the dual links pool is ridiculous. Like I, I I guarantee you the people who got into it in 2017 being like, yo, I I'm so happy to play like uh, less complicated Yu-Gi-Oh. I've heard that it's gotten really complicated lately. Uh, I'm sure that if they continued playing until now, they'll be they're like, what the fuck happened? Why are these things able to tag out into each other and dump cards from the deck to the graveyard, add cards from the graveyard, um, you know, attack directly, etc., uh, etc.? Et it is kind of crazy just how good Striker is. Yo, Hoger O Knife Nut. Hoger O Knife Nut? I'm going to pronounce it Hoger, uh, Hogre, Hogre O Knife Nut. Thank you for the one gifty. I very much appreciate it. Let me add that to the timer in a moment. Zach Crump, congratulations on the gifty. I just wanted to be able to say the last name Crump again. I think it's funny. Oh my god, Cynthia's gonna make me so That's why I love Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Guys, guys, the Elite Four in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl is the hardest Elite Four in any vanilla Pokemon game. Disagree or agree? Am I right? It's why it's my favorite version of Sinnoh. Like, all of those boss fights are fucking hard. And they add a couple of Pokemon with the uh, with the underground. By the way, did you know? You can actually get the National Pokedex by the time you hit Eterna City. If you get... Because you can, you can get all of those Pokemon traded over, like, to the game. And then if you trade them back, you can unlock the National Pokedex, which in turn unlocks all of those Pokemon in the underground. So if you really want to like do a really weird run of BDSP, trying out different Pokemon, doing different, um, you know, um, just different combinations, trying to uh, expand the pool of Pokemon that you would normally use in Sinnoh, I love, I would love to do like a BDSP run with uh, like uh, with a couple more like national decks runs like that because they're beautiful. It's one of my favorite things. Like, people say BDSP is bad. I'm sorry. BDSP is such a fucking fun Nuzlocke game. I, I, I feel like people disagree. I love it. It's just, oh, it's so good. It's so peak. It's fucking peak. See, people think Platinum is the better, is the best iteration of Sinnoh, but when you're looking at it as a whole, it still runs really sluggish, especially on console. I feel like people are also taking their perspective of emulation through it and being able to speed it up to like four times speed and like, I'm sorry, BDSP runs fast on console. It's crazy how fast that game can run. The chibi is fine with me. I think it's cute. I think it's a cute way of sticking to the original grid-based style of the 2D games. Yeah, sure, I, I agree that Oros did it better. Like, I think that they, they made it work with uh, with Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. But um, those were only the second games in the 3D era. Of course, they were going to be more flexible and trying different shit because they're like, what the hell do we do? We just did one, and we still kept the 3D game on a, on a grid. Oros was the first game where you could do 360 movement outside of roller skates. Like, it's there's a lot of good shit that came out of Gen 6 through 9, but the, the games themselves were, of a whole, not as good as Gens, like, 3 through 5. It's, it's really weird how much, like, there is to cherry pick out of each game that's actually really fucking good. But, which is why, like, the Pokemon series by far is higher quality than most other video game franchises. And why, like, it sits among, like, the top best games that, uh, on each console. Because they're all, like, worthwhile time, uh, like, worthwhile 
fun times for the, those said consoles or system sellers. But it, like when you're comparing them against each other, there's always that downturn that you see um, when you're trying to look at them object objectively as possible. Um, I try to look at Pokemon objectively, despite the fact that I have been playing them for 20 years. Um, I don't think I have necessarily a nostalgia for a specific game. I have a nostalgia for the franchise, which I think is what helps me uh, determine what I, I think is good or not in terms of like objective uh, terms in Pokemon. Okay, but imagine if they remade Platinum instead of Diamond and Pearl. They never were. Look at what they did with Oras. They put the little statue of Battle Frontier coming soon, and it never did. They could have... I, I guarantee you, if they sold Battle Frontier DLC for like $10, $15, it would have sold like fucking hotcakes. I don't know why they didn't. I think they could have. The 3DS was capable of pushing DLC, but it just never happened. I would have been okay with that. I thought it would have been cool if they did, like, the pl the emerald elements. And mind you, they also did the fucking Delta episode. I think Oras was really not even a remake. It was a reimagining. It was almost like Final Fantasy VII, uh, like, remake and rebirth for, for Pokemon on a much lesser scale, of course. On a way lesser scale, but it taking place in an alternate universe with mega evolutions. I feel like that's the closest analog we have to it, if I can say. You know what's funny? Now that I have my medicine and my gamer subs in me, I'm feeling like wide awake, baby. I'm feeling really good. I think Oros was uh, bland and an, uh, was bland and an easy reimagining. I guess it could have been easy, but I don't know. I still, I still think they're fun games. Again, the fact that you get like the national decks after getting Primal, Kyogre, and uh, Groudon, it's like oh. Oh shit, I can get Pokemon from Gens 4 through 6 in this now. I can, like, try out Pokemon that were never available here in a game that, like, Game Freak actually made. Like, being able to go grab, like, a Zoroark uh, for, uh, uh, like, from one of the Dexnav encounters is really cool. Because it's like, oh, that's, like, a really cool Pokemon to use against Phoebe. Phoebe. Oh, the the Imposter, uh, or not, uh, what is the, it's Illusion ability, I think. Um, something like that is like really cool to use in in this game because you can do strategies in that elite four that you weren't able to do in the original ruby sapphire emerald like there's a lot of cool shit that you can do i don't know like i, lo I love i love this franchise i really do i know sometimes it seems like i'm like super burnt out or like um really like not having fun with it but man like at the heart of things i do i do love these games to death I have my individual problems with certain games. I do have my individual problems with, like, certain people that won't play other games. But, like, oh, God, I love this series. I wouldn't mind if Black and White remake in the style of BDSP. You know what would be cool? Is if they contacted two separate developing studios. Ilka for the original Black and White. Do it in that chibi art style but then get a second studio hell if monolith soft isn't b busy with like xenoblade 4 have them do the remakes of black 2 white 2 gamersups collab when i'm an affiliate with gamersups use exclamation point gamersups and uh you'll get the link and use my code chaotic meat you get 10 percent off yeah yeah that's right i'm a <laughs> i'm an affiliate with them i've been an affiliate for about a week now Uh, but the the collab, like getting co-branded stuff, I've gotta I gotta move enough stuff of theirs to be like they they have to like measure through. Okay, is this person popular enough to where it's worth uh, for it for us to make like a product based on their like um, their brand? So I meant like a collab shirt. That's what I mean. But why Monolith Soft for Black Two White Two? Because it's fucking Monolith Soft. You realize Monolith Soft also helped with development of Tears of the Kingdom, right? Like, and they did the Xenoblade games. Those, those guys over there are like the kings of Japanese game development right now. I, I feel like they can't really go wrong. I, uh, I think if the streams keep up, you will get it in, in a few months. You will get what? Burnout? Or like the um, the the gamer subs co-branded thing, 
If so, I would love to see that. But um, no, I feel like I feel like I'm having fun. I really do. They also helped with Breath of the Wild, did they? I don't remember seeing them in the uh, in the credits, but I do remember seeing them in the Tears of the Kingdom credits. Uh, no, the GG collabs. Oh, I would I would hope so. We're already, uh, if I can say, we're like, I think we're like thir uh, we're like three percent of the way there in terms of um, movement of products for for gamer subs to get to that level of where they consider doing the co-branded stuff. So we are like a long ways off, but after a week being three percent there, folks, that's pretty decent progress. How are you? I'm doing all right, Mac Do uh, Mac Doggy. How are you doing? But imagine SV with a map made by Monolith. Imagine just Scarlet and Violet made by Monolith. Like, I swear, if Game Freak wants to develop other games that aren't Pokemon, fully sell the rights to Nintendo. Let Monolith Soft take it over and alternate Pokemon and, uh, or, and, like, Xenoblade. Or hire more people to that studio to have two different, um, teams that do Pokemon and Xenoblade. And I feel like we would, we would be in a fucking renaissance era for Pokemon. Uh, like, I'm telling you what. Oh, if we were in that reality, I'd, I'm, I'm getting goosebumps. I'm getting fucking goosebumps from it. Ugh! I love the idea. I just, God. <laughs> I, would, I would kill for that. The issue is less workforce and more time. I just don't think Game Freak has as uh, like um, as like crafty like designers and programmers. I feel like, I mean, even uh, even the older titles where they had more time, where they had less to work on, I feel like they they still weren't as competent as they needed to be. I feel Game Freak is scared to let go of Pokemon since it's bread and butter. Well, I feel like they could sell it and get like and make sure they keep like um you know what's it called royalties they would be able to still subsist off of royalties but they would be free like the ma the main team that they want to keep around to make other games could subsist off of royalties and take as long as they need to make games that they want to they've earned it at this point they made the highest grossing franchise on the planet i think well, why would you sell your uh, your part of the biggest IP in the world? If you're tired, if you've made your money, and you want to do a pa do passion projects, I mean, what's money good for once you're dead? The satisfaction of being able to make those creative endeavors and being able to fund those and uh, eventually be proud of that work and be like, I, I made this. Sure, I made Pokemon too. Uh, I helped make Pokemon too, but like... I feel very proud of this because this is something I wanted to do. There's a, there, there is a big difference. Regardless of how much money of, you're making, you can get burnt out on something. I know it seems weird, but believe me. As somebody who does Pokemon and doing like videos for a living and I love what I do, I can get burnt out. I was burnt out for like three months and I took three months away because I needed that time. But... Nah, mate, when it comes to the suits, the execs, they don't care about this type of stuff. Money is always the bottom line. Oh, I know. I, I get those people would, but I don't know. The, the developers, I mean. If they had the, uh, if, like, they're, if Game Freak, uh, if they're able to, uh, like, if those developers were all like, we, we would like to sell these shares of, of this, uh, of, our, of this, of the Pokemon franchise. As long as we get royalties for the games created following this. Like, that's that's what I mean. But, yeah. I guess they also would have suits, too, wouldn't they? All, th all of the companies have suits that would, you know, uh, prevent that from changing the status quo. I'm starting my BDSP Nuzlocke, and I'm scared. And I hope that chat and you wish me luck. We'll do fine. As long as you uh, keep up with the walkthrough, you make sure you uh, look at your encounters... You, uh, you know, you write out a little, uh, little, like, uh, you know, help sheet for yourself. I think you'll, you'd have fun. I think the strategizing part before the run is always fun. Uh, like, not playing the spreadsheets or playing with, uh, like, calculators, but, 
like the planning stages of the run is always fun. I always get a kick out of that because I'm like, oh, I got a good idea for this bit of the game or I got a good idea for this bit of the game. That's I love that shit. I just looked at the E4. None of them have rollout. I was kind of hoping for more, more shenanigans. Thank God, by the way. Prepping a team is the most fun for me. That's that, well. That's also goes into the um, like the preparations. Like you can map out your dupes clauses. You can map out your best mathematical um, your chances of being able to get the most optimal team. If you're not doing like a, a monotype one, uh, if you can map out where the items are, um, if you know ways to get like a lot of money. Um, Etc. Etc. There's just so many different things to optimize, especially for like BDSP. I love I love those games. Thanks. I'm picking Chimchar as my starter. Ooh, intriguing. What if Ho-Oh appears at three 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 three? That'd be crazy. And have we really been going for over three hours already? That's crazy. And I I also gotta say, uh, along with like getting the gamer subs and my medicine in me. Uh, I did take a few bites of my of one of my salads that was in the fridge before jumping back on stream like an hour uh, an hour and fifteen minutes ago, and uh, I think that helped too. Just getting a little bit of food in my system because, whew, I am feeling good. I'm feeling great. It's a it's a new day. Yes, it is, as it were, as a uh, Big E would say, and uh, we are gonna get this uh, this this ho -oh one way or another. I'm doing a white 2 POC, getting the Lillipup squad together. Ooh, God. Man, it's been so long since I've done, like, the black and white ones. I miss those. It's just something that I did as a one and done, and sometimes I don't remember. I gotta go back and look at some of those videos and uh, see how good they were. I would love to go back and do, like, a, some reactions of some of my oldest videos and just talk about, like, how bad they were. Because, um... When's the fifth anniversary? Of my uh, of my fire red leaf cream press rokes challenge video coming out. Um, uh, YouTube studio. I need. Let me check. Content. Date. We are less than a month away. From the Fire Red Leaf Green Professor Oaks Challenge turning five years old, which would be May 7th, 2019. I'll hit five years on this channel. That's crazy. I mean, mind you, I've, I do already have uh, five years worth of stuff, but everything before that was uh, unlisted. But that's crazy. I still can't believe that. It is, it is really cool. Chaotic Meatball, have you ever done a Nuzlocke? Have you watched this channel before? We're literally doing one right now with only shinies. You should make it a rewatch re review stream for each POC's five, fifth anniversary. That would be kind of cool. I think that would be that would be fun. Ever since Oros, I do Nuzlocke for the first time, though. Not hor hardcore, just because a little extra challenge. Yeah, I think that would be kind of fun to do with the next Pokemon game. I, I don't remember if I did that for my first Scarlet Violet playthrough. I think I did. I think my first Scarlet Vi Violet playthrough was, um, like, I streamed a little bit of it, but I didn't do, uh, like, a crazy uh, thing of it. Like, I did stream it here on YouTube, but... I wasn't prepared for it, and I didn't, uh, I didn't like make thumbnails for it or anything. Like I, uh, like I did for this, which I, I'm actually kind of happy that I, 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 took the time and I actually uh, reached out to the guy that does my thumbnails and my layouts to make thumbnails for this, because, you know, YouTube live stream thumbnails are just as important as uh, video thumbnails, so I can't, I can't complain. What's your favorite starter in Gen Five, Snivy? Easily, easily love Snivy. Uh, you did that for BDSP, I know for a fact, that my first run was a, was a challenge Nuzlocke. Yeah, because I remember, um, for <laughs> for those of you unaware, um, I ended up getting uh, a physical copy of, I think, Brilliant Diamond 
like 10 days before the release date. Uh, and I recorded like two challenge runs before the game officially came out so that I would have one ready for release date and I had one ready for like the day after. Which uh, I think uh, that was like the first time I had ever capitalized on a game's release and uh, made sure that I could have videos ready for it. Uh, I wish I had done that with Scarlet Violet, but I only got that one like th I think three days before it came out. I only had gotten Scarlet like th on the Tuesday before the Friday release. So. How's it going after yesterday's excursion? It's going all right, Europa. We are uh, hunting our last Pokemon, hopefully. Persona 5 is full of weird side modes, and yet you complain of not wanting them in Pokemon. Listen, I have never played Persona 5. I just think it has really good music. I've heard that, I mean, I've also, like, listened to a whole story walkthrough, or a whole story walkthrough of it. And I thought uh, the story beats were good in that. I want the story in, like, really good story-based games. Pokemon just doesn't feel like a story game to me. It just feels like more of a, a battle-focused game, which is why I don't think, like, the story is that important in these games. This is the best Sigma battle theme in the whole series. just ends too quickly oh actually i got to see judas priest at work what the fuck are you serious that's crazy turn this down a little bit more i work in an arena oh that's sick Then don't do the side modes. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't think... I, I, I think the side modes should be in the game. But I'm, I'm talking about the story. I don't, say, I, don't, I don't say that side modes shouldn't be in the game. But, like... Like, Battle Frontier is great. I like those battle facilities. I like, uh, you know, additional uh, things to do after, uh, after the Elite Four, after the Champion. But... My dumbass serving cocktails to the stars. Hey, that's still cool, dude. I mean, hell... Being able to interact with those type of people. I mean, that's, that's cool as shit. They're, they're probably more famous than I am, for sure. So, not that, You know, it, it is weird that, like, YouTube, you, you kind of think about, oh, people kind of get famous through YouTube. And I'm like, it's, it always is like, oh, in the back of my mind is like, oh, that is kind of something that, like, I might get recognized in public for doing this, but... At the same time, I'm always like, I will probably forever remain a niche internet-like micro-celebrity, and I'm very happy that it will stay that way. Um, I would rather it just be uh, centralized in the niche that I, I am in. I would not want to be like recognized worldwide like that. I just think it's cool that people like it, that enjoy the same thing as me are like, oh, I know him. He does he does the thing for the game that I like. <laughs> that's that's basically it. You're going to be the next ninja. Oh, you mean you mean Tyler Blevins, that, that guy? No, absolutely not. I'm not. I'm not that crazy. They don't know that I'm a niche internet micro celebrity. That's that's me when I'm with uh you know, um, personality group B. When you use personality group A with personality group B. Hey, did you uh, play? Uh, how is your Nuzlocke going? What the fuck? <laughs> Uh. To me, Pokemon is all around fighting, which is why I might be uh, I might not be buying Legends EA. Well, that's the thing. I think the Legend series is like different. I think the uh, it, it's weird how it, like I think the vanilla Pokemon games should be more the, the more battle focused. The Legends games, like it, the fact that it's like subtitles Legends or like mid titled, I don't know. Um. 
shows, oh, this game is, has, like, a legend to it. There is a story that they are trying to focus on. <clears throat> Not to mention, they also focused on the, the catch, uh, catch em all thing in that game rather than the battling. Like, again, the battling in Legends Arceus is so minimal, but also... The fact that they put the effort into agile and strong style moves, I really want them to put that in the in the main games. I have been hoping, like, that they put like those type of moves in the game because, uh, you get, listen, I play other traditional RPGs. I played like Octopath Traveler. I like the way that the turns happen. If you are like fast enough, you get like two turns in a row. And I like being able to be rewarded by that, being like, okay, if I go for an agile style move, then I'll be able to swing back with like a normal or maybe even a strong style move and I'll be able to KO before they get damage on me. But then I have to rely on whether or not they have something in the back that can like hit me for super effective damage. There's so much more thought into those fights than there are in normal Pokemon. So it's like Legends did everything better. <laughs> <clears throat> CM in the club tilts sunglasses up. While you're party rocking, your you people are unaware. I'm a niche un micro internet micro celebrity. I grew up on Lord of the Rings Third Age. Trust me, I know what you mean. That's fair. Well, we're almost halfway through odds. We're getting the we're getting there. We got a couple hundred encounters until then. That one Sonic turn-based RPG even had Sh Sonic and Shadow having moves uh, for everyone else's one, having two moves for everyone else's one. Have you have you guys actually played Sonic Chronicles: The Dark Brotherhood? I did, and it sucked balls. <laughs> like I had it as a kid, and even that as that same like kid, I was. I just played it. I'm like, this is poop. But thankfully, I didn't pay for it. See, I had this friend back in elementary school that gave me his whole game collection because he uh, he was a couple years older than me. And for some reason, his him and his parents uh, gave that to me because uh, he didn't want it anymore. So I got like 40 free DS games and like 25 free Wii games. And uh, one of them was Sonic Chronicles, so at least I didn't pay for it. You know, if I paid for that game, I would be uh, upset with myself. And then Ken Penders happened, exactly. I still can't believe that game was developed by fucking Bioware. The people that made fucking Mass Effect made Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood. How could they go from such a high to such a low? You know, uh, I, the also, also the only memory I have of Mass Effect, I never played it at, for myself, uh, but my, my uncle played it a lot, and uh, whenever he had to use the restroom while I was watching him play, he would ask me to probe planets for him, and I would, and I would have fun doing it. It's very funny. He was like, I, I'm going to go grab something to eat. Can you uh, probe some planets for me? And, I'm, and he just showed me how to do it, and I was like, okay. I had one friend uh, who loved it and would try to get us all by Sonic Chronicles, but it was dog shit. Maybe want to play Mario and Luigi. Hey, if the, listen, if that game makes you want to play Partners in Time, then damn. That's crazy. It's Partners in Time, kind of poopy. That was like the one game that could have used a remake. And it's crazy that they never remade it, even though they remade, um, you know, Superstar Saga and Bowser's Inside Story. Did you probe Uranus? Ha ha. Very inventive joke. Is Ho a phoenix, a turkey, or a chicken? Um, it's a turnixen. It's like a turducken except a phoenix instead of a duck. He's better than a piece of shit. That is true. Yeah, part, Mario and Luigi Partners in Time could at least be played well. Exactly. Like, it's good, but it's not, like, up to par with the, the rest of the games in the series. I want to play Mass Effect. Uh, actually, it got the complete trilogy in Dragon Age and only played one of each. I have all three uh, Mass Effects. I should probably try them out at some point. I do have a PS3. I do have an Xbox 360. 
I gotta boot them up to make sure they still work. I don't know. Some of these consoles I, I don't turn on for a long time, and uh, they sit in the um, dreaded, you know, uh, surge protector that's left unplugged of Doom because I don't want a greater fire hazard than I already have with all of my systems. Um, unfortunately, my PS3 is the PS3 Slim, though. I don't have, like, the model that plays the PS2 games. I would love to have that, but, you know, I already have a PS2, so I don't really need it. Uh, let me go to the next one. Give me a moment here. There we go. Why do I have six messages again? Oh, this started way uh, late into it. game sorry so i have a viewer that said that they wanted to send me a Yu-Gi-Oh collection from their childhood and i was very interested but i also uh looking out for one of my other friends uh ruxin i was like "Ooh, can you send it to him first so that he can do an opening video for a uh, for like a, for a video for his channel and then he'll send it over to me so i thought that would be kind of cool modded anyway so it doesn't matter that's fair i remember my ds having a broken mic so i couldn't beat bowser's inside story the first time i played it because i thought mario and luigi paper jam was okay uh it, it wasn't as good as dream team but it was good it was cool that they did a crossover between the paper mario and our Mar uh, mario and luigi rpgs but yeah i heard it wasn't like crazy good I will praise Legends Arceus on this. I liked how they handled the legendary Pokemon. Yeah, I, I thought they did a pretty good job with them, for sure. They did a pretty good job with most things in that game. I hope you guys notice I'm taking like a moment to look at the, the Ho-Oh before I reset. It, just to make sure it is not the the shiny coloration. Um, I think I'm doing a good job of making sure that I won't skip the shiny. Because I know people are like, what if you skip the shiny? I'm not going to, because I'm really good at making sure I double check. Well, what if he doesn't skip the shiny? Then we win. Why does it sound like somebody's mowing my lawn? Give me a second. I shouldn't have anybody mowing my lawn at this moment, but g give me a moment.
Sorry about that, folks. It was just my backyard neighbor. The neighbor towards my backyard <laughs> that's getting their lawn mowed. It's just very loud. I thought Meatball was going to take a break today. I was, and then I was like, I want to finish gold. I'm on a roll. So, uh, we shall continue on our roll. Did you watch WrestleMania? I did. Thank you also for the five buckaroonies. Hmm, tiller time. And your Super Chat virginity. Let's celebrate their first Super on the live stream. Thank you very much. I did watch WrestleMania. I enjoyed it. Holy moly. Why do I keep... I also just took a look at my, uh, my analytics. I've lost like 50 subscribers in the past two days. I don't know what's going on. It keeps happening. It keeps, like, fluctuating up and down. Like, I keep getting a few and then losing a few. I feel like, are, are people getting mad at the live streams? Like, are people getting mad at the, the alerts on how many live streams I'm putting in their sub feed? Like, if so, then what the fuck? <laughs> a purge, maybe. May, well, the pur uh, I already had a purge a little while back. Like, I don't know. Finland doesn't even yet have a lawn you could mow. There are still a few piles of snow and some very thin ice. Yeah, my, my lawn is getting uh, a little uh, a little overgrown, though. I do need to get a hold of somebody to, to mow it. Because my my, uh, my uncle used to, uh, used to do my lawns, but since I had a falling out with my family during the winter, like right before, uh, like right when he was stopping uh, lawn service for, for the winter... Uh, I haven't had somebody, so now that it's starting to get to the point where, okay, I do need, like, service, I do need to call somebody, so I'll probably figure it out in the next few days. Pay me 50 bucks and I'll do it. Fair. YouTube will randomly unsub people? Well, that's the thing. I have, I, I have that happen a lot. Like, a lot of people, like, I'll have a couple of people un unsubscribe every time I, uh, upload a video, as if they're, like, not like either they're not interested in the video and they just get mad because they haven't seen a video they're interested in in a while or something like that i bought a 100 hundred dollar electric lawnmower just to cut my own lawn i don't want to do it i'd rather pay somebody else to do it i don't like being outside too many bugs especially in florida I'll do it for you, sir. I mean, I, I would only ask for somebody to do it locally. <laughs> oh, Florida. Yeah, that's valid. Yeah. The only thing that makes me hate overgrown lawns or ticks, it's not even overgrown. Uh, I just need to have it trimmed. Like, it's finally grown to the point where it definitely, it definitely needs a trim, so... Best of you go local and not uh, not off YouTube chat. Facebook Marketplace or hit is, is hit or miss as it is. I had somebody leave uh, leave a notice on my door a couple days ago, saying that they uh, they do lawns and uh, I definitely probably should reach out to them because it's easier to do that than have to research. What's your favorite shiny starter in Gen Five? Also Snivy. Tuning in for the first time, doing house chores. Good luck. Thank you, Anthony. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your time listening in. We're getting close to finishing gold. I'm hoping to, uh, if we can get this ho -oh, I feel like we can steamroll the rest of the game. I need a side hustle for being out of the military. Eh, well, if you enjoy doing lawns, then that's something to do. What song is this? This is Bubble Crab from Mega Man X2. I'm in Florida too. I feel like it would be weird if I had like a viewer do my 
I don't I don't want viewers knowing where I live. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like that's that's just a little a little too invasive of privacy, you know. Uh, you saying the lettuce fit of Papacy, him and Flygon are rich as fuck, are they? That's funny. Uh, I will have to, I'll have to look. So are you accounting, counting Golem? Yes, I counted Golem. I didn't count Graveler. Then Golem died because I didn't use Graveler in battle. I immediately trade evolved it and I had a spare, uh, shiny Geodude. I caught two of them in two different areas. So I decided, you know what? I guess I'm being forced into using the whole line. Say hello to Graveler. <laughs> Starting to recognize regulars. Yeah, there's a lot of regulars that I've been having over the past couple streams, which are which is great. I appreciate y'all sticking around. I hope to be uh, streaming on YouTube regularly. I would like to stream a little bit, uh, you know, <laughs> once, I, once I'm done with this stuff and I'm not streaming 12 hours a day, maybe, maybe we'll be able to do something a little bit different. Like, a little bit shorter, but not, like, insane. And especially not motivated by the timer, you know. Which, again, we are getting a little close to going below 62 hours. We started at 64 today, chat. Can we uh, can we keep it at least net neutral, if not go up to 65? Uh, again, if, you, uh, if you're financially stable enough, you can help with the timer uh, through super chatting. Every dollar that you super chat, I will add a minute for each dollar uh, super chatted. Every membership adds five minutes. You can either grab one for yourself or you can give some to other people in the chat. Or you can uh, use exclamation point Gamersups gets 10% off your order. And if you buy any of the the uh, the tubs of Gamersups uh, drink mix, or if you get any of the food, uh, any of like the snack stuff, you can also do that. And if you get any of the cups, uh, you'll get 10% off. And for every dollar you spend, I will add a minute on the timer. How many teammates for Silver and Crystal? I'm also going to try to go for six, assuming I don't go. I don't have any deaths. Other than, otherwise, it'll probably be less. Uh, but if things go disastrously, I'll probably reformat what I'm going to be doing for later games and make sure that I can uh, I can add uh, a good a few Pokemon as replacements. But hopefully we don't get down to that that uh, problem. Sorry, I had to ruin the VOD like number. It was 420. No, we want to go over 420. Folks, we're already at 420 likes, really. I'm aiming for 1,000, so if you guys have not liked the video, the stream already, uh, definitely go down and hit that like button. Let's see if we can get past 500 real quick. Let me uh, hop over to that real quick just so I can see. Yeah, we're at 422. Yo, Sheik, thank you so much for the $10. Sending shiny luck your way. I very much appreciate it. I will add that to the timer once we hit 3600 real quick. I really do appreciate the, your generosity, though. And folks, uh, you know, a couple dollars there, a couple dollars there will uh, always add up. So even if you think like a contribution of like a dollar or two, if that's what you have flexible and you're uh, willing to uh, give to the to the stream to keep this uh, series alive, it all adds up. Again, I uh, I will always say that because um, I know some people are like, oh, it's not going to do anything. No, it will. It definitely does. You know, you could have a flurry of people just be like, oh, 50 people. It's like almost an hour if it's even just a, you know, a bone apiece. Four twenty-two for me. Quick question: Will you catch all with the master ball? It is my last, um, last encounter. Hopefully, if this runs, so absolutely, I will be using the master ball here. Why would I be leading fortress if I wasn't planning on using the master ball too? Time to start a one-dollar dono train. I w that would be funny. I would love to see that. Just the whole chat filled up with color. I spent like four hours trying last night to get a shiny Eevee. Oof. And folks, of course, if you don't have the uh, the flexibility to help with the timer, that's fine. Again, I do appreciate you just being here, and I don't want you to like uh, hurt yourself financially just for uh, funny streamer man to 
uh, to do a series that you enjoy. Uh, you put yourself first. But uh, if you if you can't, of course, just making sure you've liked the the stream, making sure that you've um, you know subscribed to the channel, that kind of stuff. I'm down for a chain, yo Zuger. Thank you for the two. Appreciate that. I wish I could, I wish this updated uh, by itself. That'd be nice. And shiny ho name is a hundred bucks. No, I decreased it to fifty because I, I, you know, I was mostly joking about it, but then somebody was like, "I'll do it for 50 and I'm like, "All right, I'll do, I'll do that." And they then they did a hundred and they picked two names, so they they juked me. So uh, yeah, G uh, Graveler and ho have already been claimed. So that's in case you are interested in doing a name for one of the uh, the Pokemon. Yo, it's hey man, thank you for the dollary do. I do appreciate that. Let me add that once we get the thirty six fifty. I don't know if we'll have a chain of them, so I I want to wait like a, a a little bit just to just in case, so that I don't have to go to the timer over and over again because it takes me like five seconds to enter a minute, and I don't want to like waste the uh, waste the the precious uh, seconds that people are are adding to the timer. What was your first shiny Pokemon ever? It was um, Geodude in Pokemon Fire Red. It was in Victory Road. Afternoon chaotic in chat. Hello, Butterfree. How are you doing? My first ever shiny, I think it was a Krikatoon and Oros, and I killed it. Oof. My first shiny was a Snubble in Pokemon Crystal. I didn't know it was what it was, and my brother promptly yanked my cartridge out of my Game Boy. What an asshole. They knew. And they were like, absolutely not. Fuck, wow. Fuck that. <laughs> that guy, Jesus Christ. And Ray, thank you for the uh, 69 SEK. I don't know what SEK is, but I will look it up. And cel thank celebrate their first super on a live stream, folks. You know what that is. That is a super chat virginity, and we love super chat virginity. Oh, it's Swedish Krona. Okay, thank you very much, though. I appreciate it. That is about six forty-four U.S. So the next time I get like a fifty, I'll I'll round it up. This time I'm rounding down. I always try to keep ma uh, keep track of that because I can't add seconds to the timer for some ungodly reason. What's your opinion on Wings of Redemption? I don't know who that is. I've been watching you for a while. This is the first time I've seen your face. I do show my face occasionally in like uh, you know <laughs> integrations where or like ads where they the the um, you know the people that are paying me ask me to put my face in it. And I'm like. I don't usually put my face in my videos, but okay. Uh, but aside from that, it usually only appears in those and in live streams. But hey, welcome. It's a good face. It'll be better once we lose a little bit more weight. Again, we are uh, we're down to 227. We are we are schmoovin'. We are down 93 pounds from my heaviest, so I can't I can't complain.
closing in on 3,700 encounters here. I'm surprised. I mean, I guess I'm not surprised Ho-Oh is taking this long. It is eight, 1 in 8,192. But uh, especially after we went uh, below odds on um, both the uh, Paris and the uh, the Pinaco. So my goal is 220 myself. I'm at 245 right now. Hey, that's close. You on Ozem pick? Um, I don't I don't know what that is, but no. Six foot. I mean, hey, that's. I mean, I'm only five four, so I should be like 150. How many tries for the slowpoke? Oh god, uh, 9,043. We were uh, we were a little over odds, but uh, not too bad. I'm still going dry on my shiny Dratini and Dragon's Den. Really want that shiny with extreme speed. Oh yeah, can't I hunt that in uh, crystal? That could be a decent crystal encounter. That could be fun. Yo, what's good, Soul Blue? How are you doing? I like shiny Greninja because it actually looks like a ninja. I do like the black coloration of a. Uh, of shiny Greninja. It does look really sick. Uh, out of curiosity, what have you been doing to lose weight? I've been going to a weight loss doctor uh, every, pretty much every week. And they, uh, they do like injections and give me like, um, I have a prescription that's uh, helping with like appetite suppressant. It's supposed to help me with, um, you know, learning to make sure I don't eat as much as I used to, because I, I used to binge eat a lot. Um, even when I'm off it, I'll have, like, instances where I still want to do that. But uh, I definitely think I've gotten a lot better. But I'm also doing that, and I'm pairing that with the keto diet. I'm doing, uh, you know, I'm doing uh, keto, and I'm doing, uh, like, intermittent fasting as well. Uh, Monjaro injections? No, I don't. I uh, I would have to look at the the whole uh thing to describe it, but I don't remember exactly what it is off the top of my head. All I know is that when I read it, I I and did my research initially, it was good. So, uh, and there was no qualms with it. Now I just I just take it and I don't remember exactly what what's in there. Uh, ever read Four Hour Body by Tim Ferriss? No, I have not. Fun fact, no real ninja would have ever wore black. Dark blue bends, uh, blends in better with the night sky in shadows. Huh. Whenever you think you feel hungry, drink some water. Other than that, avoid carbs at all costs unless you're working out. Exactly. That's basically where I'm at. It's usually what you think is hunger is usually just like a craving for, you know, either boredom or like something to do or just some some sort of flavor stimulation, something for your brain. It's not usually hunger. Uh, so I usually just do like a flavored drink. Like I'll add my gamer subs to my water and I have like the non-caffeinated version and it's keto friendly. So that helps. Friend of mine did keto until he was very ill. Turns out he's type 1 diabetic and that diet doesn't really work with his condition. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Luckily, I did blood work before I uh, I did that and I, I didn't have any signs of diabetes. So I was able to do the keto and it's, it's completely safe for me. You mentioned it earlier in the stream, but I'm curious if you don't mind me asking. Why did you and your family have a falling out? Uh, long story uh, uh, short of it is... Uh, it's not a good thing to uh, say that uh, genocide should happen.
in in Minecraft, begrudgingly, but you, you guys get what I mean. Also, little things always add up, like walking upstairs instead of taking the elevator. Man, if I if I went into any buildings that had stairs, I would agree, but like everything's just one story here. As long as you're happier without them, that's really all that matters. Yeah, that's what I figured. Always good when the YouTubers you watch are on the right side of history. I hope so. I don't know. I have friends that have friends and family that, uh, that are and were in, uh, Palestine in that area. And, uh, some of them have passed away because of the, the unfortunate, uh, things that are going on there. And when you have, like, people that you care about that have, you know, people they care about that are, you know getting sense senselessly, you know, taken out because of something that shouldn't be happening. It's like, I I'm sorry, I, I side with them. Like, they it just shouldn't be happening. But it's what happens when you get, uh, when you hold people in an open air prison, you know. It's just like, of course they are going to try to try to get their freedom back and because you aren't giving it to them it's it, it's a hard thing to talk about really i truly don't have as much knowledge on, uh, as i want to on it it's just there's so much to try to read and so much to try to understand about it because i'm not ingrained in that uh in that culture that um but i do i do support my my friends that have people getting you know it's sense it's senselessly you know taken out because of the whole whole ordeal hey meatball did you hear this year is officially the year of shadow the hedgehog well i know they were doing sonic x shadow generations so i kind of figured there was something but um hopefully it's not as bad as the year of luigi It's really disheartening how it, uh, in, in, yeah, RCS Damn 2024, there's still so much horrible stuff going on. Uh, yeah. Watch videos of Gaza before the wall war. It was not an open air prison. They were actually they actually gave them their own schools where they actually taught that Palestine was the only real place where which caused the war. It just sounds like propaganda by given by, you know, Israel. Not to mention, don't believe the like just videos you see randomly. It could be different places that are claiming it could, it could be a different place that they're claiming was that before the war. Not to mention, again, I have friends that have friends and family that live it, that have lived in that area. Some of which who have escaped, and even bef they were living there beforehand. And even beforehand, they said, "No, it's not. Like, you know, we're not free of them. We're not like being treated well by them. So, I'm I'm sorry. Like, you're not you're not getting any sympathy to Israel from me, buddy." Yeah, don't trust in the internet, like. Anyway, I don't want to be super duper serious. I feel like that's going to just bog people down. A colleague of mine has a thrash metal that collabed as a part of a Gaza fundraiser album. That's cool, Postal Apocalyptica. I'm always happy to hear people trying to do something good with the things that they're good at uh, for people that need it. Yeah, let's agree that war is horrible for all innocents. I, that much is true. So 
So how about the gold bird, huh? Um, yeah. We haven't gotten it yet. We are 125 encounters away from hitting 4,000. Uh, we are getting close to half odds. We've already spent almost four hours today working on this. And we are, we're getting somewhere with it, hopefully. The more we do it, the more likely we're going to get it. Uh, did you see Roman is going to be back on the summer, the SmackDown before SummerSlam? Oh, I thought he was going to be back this Friday. I thought they were talking about this Friday. But is he really taking that long of a break? I'm surprised. I figure he's getting pretty close to uh, to retirement, so I don't think that's how probability works. We've had too many arguments about probability here. I I don't want to have more. Still waiting on my fried chicken ho -oh. I agree. The golden goose, as it were. Yeah, I hope the golden goose appears soon, exactly. Whoa, check back in to see Meatball's progress. The chat's gone political. Uh, no, somebody just asked why I had a falling out with my family, and it, it led to that because it was uh, something shit, you know. If you kind of want to dodge the more hard topics, I can always go into a tangent chilling the new card, uh, chilling the new card fight Vanguard uh, Divinies anime that's free to watch on the Bushi Road official channel. No, it's fine. I'm okay with talking about it for a bit, but like, I don't want it to become, you know, negativity central or whatever. Try to get the chair a little closer. There we go. Human rights aren't political either. Well, you know, the leaders that decide what to do. I mean, that's that's the political nature of it all. Curious to see how they handle Roman now, because supposedly they plan on turning him babyface. Hopefully without Vince, uh, we can have serious babyface Roman instead of uh, Suffer and Succotash. I don't know. I'm sorry. I had I had Roman forced down my throat for God knows how many years since that shield breakup. And even during the whole bloodline thing, I was still like, I don't like him. I don't want to see him. He's just not the type of wrestler I enjoy. So... Sacred Stones was the first Fire Emblem that, uh, my first Fire Emblem, because I had the 3DS Ambassador program. I, I actually did have the 3DS Ambassador program. I bought it with Pokemon Black, I think it was. I got the English version a little bit after release, uh, because I already had the Japanese version. I think I got white, actually, in English and black in Japanese. And I also picked up, um, a Nintendo 3DS at the time. Because I traded in a lot of stuff that I didn't want anymore that I had just I had already beaten, which you know again trading into GameStop a lot uh, always like uh, cause for regret, just because of how many of those DS games uh, became worth a lot of freaking money in the future. Like I'm still uh, I'm still surprised by like how much the Mega Man Star Force games are on the uh, on the secondhand market now. So many damn games on the secondhand market that are just you know that that are just in that position because of speculators and shit. Though fuck his fan base, they've been so weird as fuck about Cody. Uh, well, I think that's that's both uh, him and the Rock's fan base. Uh, I, I understand the Cody Crybabies thing was supposed to be like a uh, uh, a heel thing, but then like people that that were taking that seriously ended up, you know, actually rooting towards like wanting uh, like trying to make as much noise as possible to turn the whole thing to. Uh, back to Cody versus Roman, or not Cody versus Roman. Back to uh, Rock versus Roman, and uh, it was a it was a little uh, a little frustrating to see that. But you know, the internet wrestling community will do uh, an internet wrestling thing. Luca loved my comment. Green card obtained. Are you kidding me? That's so funny. 
I'm surprised she hasn't messaged me and asked what the fuck happened. It'd be funny. I, I'm kind of expecting it at some point. I actually think Cody's mic skills are very good. No, Cody's mic skills are fantastic. I think he's been great since he's been in, in Ring of Honor. Uh, I mean, hell, you know, there was a there was a backstage program promo that he did for WWE.com back when he was still Stardust, and even then he had the he had the ability to talk. It's just they didn't use him correctly in his first run. He had to get away from the system that had him pegged in a, a certain position. And they were like, okay, uh, and the, like once he once he showed that yes, he is capable of much beyond what they were exp uh, wanting to do with him. Now he's like literally the face of the company now, which is crazy. You have the Japanese version of Gen Five. I can't read it. I just wanted to play the Pokemon uh, Pokemon game uh, six months earlier than in the U.S. And I did. And I beat it. Even though I couldn't understand the language at all. Uh, any picks for Money in the Bank this year? I don't know. I mean, how, how far out is it? It's a couple months. Like, two or three, right? I didn't say compromising position. I said in a, like... I don't remember what position. A certain. I just said certain, but like I should have said like in a lower position than they should be. I beat Black Blind in 24 hours in Japanese. 2010 was a different it was built different, Jesus. I it took me a few days to do it, but I did it. But it was fun. I really did enjoy uh, getting to know Black and White in and out. Just because um, I, I played it in a different language and I had to rely on my prior knowledge of Pokemon rather than, uh, you know, the um, just being able to read everything. I didn't realize Money in the Bank wasn't until July. Oh, shit. I thought it would be in, like, June. The only part I couldn't do... Uh, on my own. Oh, yeah. Japanese Black 2 was the plasma ship puzzle. Same here. I had to look that up. I think that was the only bit that I got stuck on, though. And I don't remember how far I got. Like, how long it took to uh, finally get the answer for that. I think it was pretty quickly. Uh, because everybody was having that problem and trying to, f trying to uh, figure it out at the time. But, of course, you know... Once, um, once you just had the Japanese players uh, being able to tell the answer to, and had the ability to tell it in English, we were pretty much, we were pretty much set. Been playing Crystal because of you, and Meganium only learns Razor Leaf as a grass move. That's crazy. Uh, doesn't it get Vine Whip? I could have sworn it got Vine Whip before it got Razor Leaf, but no, actually, I think it did get Razor Leaf first. Uh, when you were a kid, did you think, uh, when you played a Pokemon game as a kid, did you think that non-damaging moves were useless? No. You know what I did as a kid a lot? Setup sweeping. You know what I do on my channel now? Setup sweeping. <laughs> I somehow beat many games in English as a kid with uh, while only knowing, like, my name is Poro and I like dogs as a child. <laughs> That's funny. Some things never change. Some things work. Some things just get optimized from when you're a kid. Focus energy was always useless. I still hate that move. Like, I, I will never use that. I'm sorry I'm not relying on luck. Like, I, if I'm going to have a non-damaging move, it's going to do something beneficial at a pretty... Either uh, most of the time or all of the time. Like, that's why I won't use friggin', um, what's it called? I won't use Will-O-Wisp pre, like, 85% accuracy days. Um, 
Your starter died, yes. Are you winning, son? Trying. We're only at 50% of the shiny rate. We're not even there. It's 4,096 for 50% of the shiny rate. And hey, if I don't finish it today, I'll just I'll just stream tomorrow. Fuck it. And folks, we are dangerously close to going below 62 hours on the timer. We started at 64. I'm hoping to go net positive. So if you uh, if you are willing to uh, help increase the timer, of course you can do so through super chats. Every dollar that you do a super chat I uh, with, you can get a minute on the timer for each. Memberships add five minutes, of course. You can either get one for yourself or you can gift some to the other viewers of the stream. Each one adds five minutes. And using exclamation point gamer subs is going to add uh, it. Well, you first you use my code chaotic meat uh, with that link to get 10% off your order. And for every dollar that you spend over there on cups, on uh, the tubs of drink mix, on the uh, snacks and like instant noodles and all of the different food stuffs, uh, you will get an, a minute added to the timer for every dollar that you spend on that stuff. Have you failed a shiny encounter yet? Nope. What do you uh, What do you think about the all-in footage we're supposed to uh, supposedly going to see tonight on Dynamite? I think it's a um, I think it's a weak move just to try to get attention on AEW. Like they're doing fine, but like I don't know, man. It seems like it's kind of petty. Did I hit it twice? I think I hit it twice. From being burnt out to needing to talk about it to this madness, what happened? I'm glad to see you're doing well. Um, I'm doing all right. I, I just, uh, I just, ha I've been really enjoying what I've been doing lately a lot more. I just feel like I haven't been forcing myself to do shit. I feel like I've just been uh, doing it for fun. I follow WWE, but not AEW. I followed uh, AEW a lot more. Um, when we were, uh, I think the end of when I started, uh, like, not following AEW as much was, uh, the end of the, a uh, the MJF Adam Cole story. I just, I feel like they don't have as many guys that I'm interested in anymore. Like, I love Brian Danielson. I love Kanosuke Takesha. I love, like, Kenny Omega. I love the Bucks. Uh, well, as, like, wrestlers. Apparently, they're not, uh, I'm sorry. If you manage to have a problem with CM Punk, then, like, damn, dude. What the fuck is wrong with you? He's not that hard of a guy to not uh, to not have a problem with. MJF is a great man. What did you have you have you met him before, Demo? He's the future. I agree with that. I just don't know why he's sitting out so long. Also, folks, we are less than a minute away from going below sixty-two hours on the timer. Again, I, I I'm, I'm imploring you. I really want to go uh, net neutral at least on the timer by the end of today, which we started at 64 hours. I at least want to, I want to try to go net positive, if not uh, like 66 hours. So if you have the ability to be able to contribute to that timer through member or through memberships, through super chats, or through picking up any of uh, the cool flavors over at Gamer Sups using my code Chaotic Meat with the command exclamation point Gamer Sups, feel free to because we are. We are getting dangerously close. We are like 20, 20 seconds away from it, and I'm uh, I'm worried that we're losing steam. I bought fake Burberry to rep him and pissed off my girl, my girlfriend. I'm a hard MJF'er. Hell yeah. I think uh, MJF was pretty heavily hurt, hence the time off. Uh, that you know that would make sense. Didn't Punk have beef with Jason David Frank a few years back? Um, I think JDF was trying to do a thing with Punk, but Punk was not wanting anything to do with him because it felt like that, uh, you know, uh, Frank was just trying to, you know, do a publicity stunt, which I kind of agree with. I would have loved to see like, a, a, an angle with them. Like if WWE decided to bring JDF in to do, uh, do like a, a, you know, a celebrity spot for for a match i think that would have been cool because they've they've been open to doing that before the guy's an athlete he probably could have learned and went uh, at least decently but i don't know and i don't even remember the timeline if this was like during his wwe championship reign or something like that it might have just not been good timing 
Seth is taking time off too because of his back. That's not surprising. Do you have a shopping website you recommend to buy authentic older Pokemon games that are not stupid expensive or do you recommend eBay? I just recommend eBay and you just gotta watch out. You just gotta know the signs. If you don't know the signs, look them up on, on YouTube how to spot fake Pokemon games. There uh, There's a lot of different videos to help you do so for the GBA and DS games. I don't think there's any fakes of the 3DS games going around yet, so that's good. But the GBA and DS games both have uh, have that going on for them, so. I think it was when Punk was doing MMA. I don't remember. It might have been. Damn, we, we did go below two, 62 hours. Well. Hey, at least maybe I can finish Gold version before the timer runs out. And uh, if we do, I can get that video up. And hopefully... If uh, with that video I can, uh, you know, attract enough attention to silver version, and then we can keep that timer up. That's uh, that's the goal. I can't be uh, relying on the same base of like three to four hundred people to keep a series going by itself. Saying he was doing MMA is pretty pretty generous. He was doing MMA. He wasn't succeeding at it, but he was doing it. Silver is going to be easier with Lugia and for Alligator? Probably. I think you can get it before 10k tries. I'm hoping for it. I think we can get 10k tries in one stream. I don't know if I can finish the game if it takes that long. But if uh, I can get it before like 7k, I feel like we could definitely finish it today. Thoughts on Logan Paul as a wrestler? Guy has a fucking knack for it, that's for sure. And uh, it's really interesting li listening to his podcasts with the wrestlers that are uh, part of the WWE roster along with him. It's cool getting uh, getting to hear like his uh, him learning about like the whole whole process of it and just learning from individual people and about their story um, while also like growing as his own talent. Um, I'm not a fan of him as, like, a creator. I think he's done a couple of fucked up things. But um, as, a, as, like, a wrestling talent, I think he, he definitely is uh, bringing a lot of attention to WWE. And, you know, as somebody who likes wrestling, I'm, I'm happy that, uh, that there's somebody in the company that's willing to do that. And somebody that's, like, that, that has that big of a platform that is interested in doing it and is being able to do it at the highest level. I mean, come on! It's not usually like a celebrity or a YouTuber gets in a main, like in a, uh, like a title match at WrestleMania against fucking Randy Orton. Like that's that's crazy. It really is. Like when you put that into perspective, that's fucking Randy Keith Orton, Randall Keith Orton. That man is one of the greats in in professional wrestling. He's a third generation star. Bob Orton Jr. Uh, was part of the main event of the first WrestleMania. His father, like his grandfather, Bob Orton Sr., also was uh, was a wrestler in the territory days. Like he has a long family line, and the fact that like he's being trusted, uh, like Logan Paul's being trusted uh, with such a, an important name, so close to uh, like his injury with his back, he was out for 18 months. Uh, it's uh, it's impressive. Fuck Logan Paul, and I think he's too immature even for wrestling. He pulls up to uh, to none. He pulls up to none. Prime events repping it. He'll make WWE look horrible. He's making them look pretty good right now. I think wrestling folks, uh, like the people that are fans of wrestling, aren't really aware of what's uh, like what he does in the creator world. And the people that are fans of him are going to overlook it anyway. So they, the WWE gets a win-win out of it. Watch the Steiner math thingy. Hilarious as fuck. It is great. I love it. It's 
It's too bad Logan is a scammer. Yeah, I mean, I don't understand why those bigger creators like those crypto pump and dump schemes. I mean, don't they already have enough money? Like, I'm sorry. I can't wait to just be able to retire with a decent amount of money and, like, uh, a, a decent sized house that can fit, like, me per, and potentially a family with, like, a wife and up to, like, two kids comfortably and be able to, like, have my game collection and do videos recreationally while taking care of my family with my retirement funds. Like, that's what I... That is, like, the dream for me. Uh, getting kicked out of MMA events by his own brother looks good for WWE. I didn't even hear about that, man. Like, I don't follow... Uh, people that don't follow him religiously aren't going to know about that shit. I didn't know. I use eBay for my older uh, Pokemon games, and I always look for the authentic versions. Yeah, as long as long as you're looking for those and you know how to spot the signs, you should be pretty good. Good luck, thank you, Mariano. I appreciate it. I follow MMA lightly. I don't really follow MMA. I'm just uh, I just don't have time for it. I have my interest in wrestling, and I have since I was a kid, uh, and I follow multiple companies of that. But that's that's about it. Legit did not know who Logan Paul was until he started making an ass of himself in Japan a few years back. That's basically what happened. I mean, it w I almost feel like that was more of a publicity stunt that, and that he knew that it was going to do something and that he wasn't really uh, afraid of what, what the ramifications were. But I don't know. It's, it's sociopathic tendencies like that that lead to uh, creators like that getting as large as they are. Uh, no. Meatball, did you ever like the New Day? Absolutely. I love the New Day. Great, great little group of guys. Oh, my leg hurts. Can I, can I please, like, be able to, you know, fashion this cable for this controller well? Oh, ow. Hold on, I need to alleviate pressure on my left leg. I don't know what's going on with it. Ow. There we go. Who's the one fighting Mike Tyson? Jake. At least I think. I don't know if it's ever been booked, but... I don't like either, and both are super good at their sports, but Jake is taking it more seriously. I feel like... Well, I mean, <laughs> you say that, but I think that's... All, you only think that because, like, uh, you know, boxing is a legitimate sport, whereas... You know, wrestling is, like, a theater thing. But, like, Logan's doing really well with what he's doing. Like, I again, I will not, like, justify what he's he's done in the past. And I think he is kind of a bit of a dirtbag. But, again, I am not going to deny that the guy has skill at what he does in professional wrestling. And if he's bringing eyeballs to a product that I really enjoy because I love professional wrestling, then I'm not really going to complain about it. But yeah, Damo, you seem to have a bit of a hate boner for the, for the, for them. And you know what? That I completely understand why. I just uh I don't I don't have I, I don't I don't have a hate boner for them. I just I just don't care for what any of either of them do outside of Logan and wrestling cuz I like wrestling. If you're going to contribute to the thing I like and you're not going to like fuck around with it and you're going to do something good, then good. That's all I care about. Yo, what's good, Robbie? How are you doing? It's time to Omega lean the chair. Nah, I just needed to uh, take some pressure off of my left hip. Uh, I have this weird thing. Like, uh, I won't recognize what... How, like, I, I don't recognize how much weight I'm putting on uh, either side of, like, my body when I'm sitting down. Sometimes I'll put too much weight on my left side and it'll start hurting a lot. And then well, that's only... <laughs> You know, by that point, is I've already put, uh, I've already been doing it for too long, and it's going to take a while to subside. Uh, but that's, uh, I, I don't know why I don't just naturally put um, equal weight on both sides. I 
I'm just saying UFC and WWE have the same owners, and if a WWE star is crashing and making an ass at UFC events, it won't end well. Again, I, I never heard about it. I mean, if, if it didn't make that much of a stir, then who cares? Like, I'm... I'm sorry, I just I just don't care. I just like wrestling, man. Like I don't have time to keep up with the one guy that has like a lot of uh like potential iffy iffiness about him. The only time I catch the guy is if he's on WWE television. Otherwise he doesn't show up in my feed. Meatball, would you consider doing a Master Duel Masochist run or the new Draft Arena mode? Um, considering other people are doing it and I'm mostly a Pokemon guy at this point, I feel like probably not. Can anyone summarize the hate uh, to the Paul brothers? I I can't really. I mean, other than like the, the whole, you know, Japanese unaliving forest debacle that happened several years back. That's the only big thing I know. And some, like, crypto scam, but, like, I swear to God, like, most, most of those big creators have, like, partaken in something like that. But, I don't know. I, I, I just don't like paying attention to the whole drama shit. I just want to play my video games. Bro doesn't even know the lore. I thought he was the lore man. Massive sad. What what lore? About Logan Paul? I don't want to know his lore. I just want to, you know... The wrestling character Logan Paul is different from the content creator Logan Paul. At least from my understanding. Also, hi, R9. How are you? Uh... No. Imagine accidentally clicking new game. I could still reset. It's not that clicking new game deletes the save file. They also set a pool on fire and were generally an annoying nuisance in their neighborhood. I don't know. Maybe they see more good at that than, than harm in it. Yeah, new game does nothing past the DS era, exactly. Bro be clicking old game based on them graphic uh, based on uh, look at them based graph. Wait. I uh, I thought I thought you said based on them graphics. Look at them based graphics. I think the shiny sprites for the Gen 2 Pokémon are cool, but like yeah, it does look old. And you know what? Again, I don't I'm not one to care about uh, you know, graphics i just want a fun video game and this this does the job of course i would prefer playing other pokemon games but we'll get there we'll get there soon would you want to pokemon to return to pixel sprites yes but i am a sucker for like um 2d art styles so i just think that they look better they uh they hold up better over the most amount of time 3d always seems to be improving and uh you know, until it looks like... Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. Like, I guess the... The 3D game that is aged the best in terms of its art style is The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And that's just because the way that they took the 3D w was more, like, cartoony. Like, if you're going to make it look like a cartoon like that, then that's, that's going to age the best. Good luck with the shiny hunt. Thank you, Chris Dixon. I appreciate it. Pixels are a lot more stylized. Yeah, they're easier to stylize than 3D graphics for sure. Bro wants only can handle 2Ds confirmed. New chaotic lore can't handle 3D. I can handle 3D just fine. But I do prefer... I do prefer my 2D games. I think they look better. Not to mention, I, I think they play better. <laughs> oh shit, we're deep. We are we are hella deep today. 
Gen 5 graphics were perfect. Animated 2D sprites, absolutely. Give me t animated 2D sprites all, the, all, all, all fucking day. Um, reset. No. I don't know why I, I just like disassociated for the last two encounters. Good luck on the shiny hunt. Thank you, Daily Planet. I appreciate it. I just wish the 3D Pokemon models were animated better in battle. I agree. But again, that's why I think the 2D sprites works better. Like, there, it's less work. Uh, you could still make it look fantastic. And... I don't know. I, I just don't think they are capable of making the 3D models look expressive. Which is why I'm like, uh, that's why I want Game Freak to sell off their share. Because, like, if the Pokemon and Game Freak are 50-50 owners, then they could find whatever developer they want for it. And if they gave it to Monolith Soft, the game would be so much better. When are we going to give Unova its justice? Uh, we got a taste in the Indigo disc. 2026, 2027, somewhere around there probably. I'd say 2027. They should 3D model the 2D sprites like Scott Cawthon used to do for FNAF. I mean, even then it kind of, you know, they, they look like 2014 games. Demo vlogs. Nah, I, I can't stand this chaotic guy. Wouldn't be caught dead in one of his videos. Damn. What the fuck? R9, you can't... You know, why, are, why have you betrayed me? I thought I was your best friend. What the hell? How fast did we get to ho, -Ho yesterday? We were looking for eggs. We got the eggs and we ended up, uh, you know, sweeping the next four gyms pretty effectively. Uh... No. Yeah, that would look like Donkey Kong Country, exactly. Chaotic can speedrun these games while not waiting 50 hours for shinies, practically. Not like not like speedrun speedrun, but I do I do know like how to effectively get through the game. The earthbound goons invested in Pokemon. The Earthbound goons? You mean... I, I, are you just meaning Nintendo in general as the Earthbound goons? Former Marine for hire need a new best friend contract? Chad. Fair. Yes, I know Creatures, Inc. owns one third of Pokemon. Does Creatures, Inc. have anything to do with with Earthbound? If they do and I didn't know, then that's kind of funny. It's not that 2D games look better than 3D, it's that, that a lot of 3D try to look realistic, which makes them look dated whenever a new console generation arrives. So yeah, because they were always appealing to casuals who were like, look at the graphics! I hated growing up in that time, because my uh, like all of the other kids that I was around while growing up in school would... Uh, we're always like graphic graphic horrors, and I'm just like, hey, look, here's an actual fun fucking video game. And apparently, you know, until I put, them in, put it in their face when they had no other options at the time, like in school, uh, because I had like, let's say, um, let's just say we had, a, we had a thumb drive full of stuff, um, full of old stuff. And uh, I let them try stuff out, and they 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 were all like, "Yeah, this this stuff's fun," uh, and I'm like, "Yeah, there 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 is value in things that are that are older, uh, and they're cheaper." You know, even back then, I was I was a very intelligent uh, human being. <laughs> Anyways, have a good stream. Have fun with the eight bit brain rot. Thank you, Mr. Beats. Under the name Ape at the time? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Julian Fleming with the Hundo Bomb. Well, 
That's going to help increase the timer. Thank you. Been watching your content for a while now. You're very entertaining. This franchise lock was a brilliant idea. Let's get a shiny ho -Oh. Cheers. Absolutely. Ooh. Thank you very much. Holy shit. That shocked the hell out of me. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't I wasn't already drinking my drink because I probably would have spit take at that one. I did not I did not expect it. Thank you very much. Holy shit. Whew. Okay. Uh, back back to game. Made me think he missed the shiny. No, 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 no. I didn't I didn't miss the shiny. I just got, you know, shocked uh Shocked back to life with uh, with the hundo bomb. Again, thank you so much. I really do appreciate the generosity. If that's not a shiny summons, I don't know what is. I would have to agree with that. I was so sure you missed it too. No, I'm not that bad at the video game. You inspired me to do the Professor Oaks challenge, Mr. Meat. Well, I'm happy to hear that, Demo. I know that was a long time ago, but I'm still happy to hear it. Gotta sacrifice Abdul again? How do you sacrifice a dead body? How many encounters do you predict? Unfortunately, I'm, I'm putting this around 6,500. Well, folks, we're back over 63 hours. Uh, we started uh, we started today at 64. I was hoping to get to uh, a positive uh, record on the timer today, if we can get it to 66 hours by the end of the day. Again, I don't know how long this stream is going to be. Either it's going to go to the max of 11 hours, 55 minutes, or we're going to finish the game today, and I'm hoping to finish the game, but, you know, depends on how long this, uh, this ho -oh holds me hostage. Super Smash or Mario Kart? Probably Mario Kart. I can name two Mons. So, Ho-Oh and uh, Graveler have been claimed, but you can name any of the other three. Unknown, Slowking, and uh, Fortress. If you, would like, if you would like me to. Who's the second death? Well, you'll have to wait till the final video to find out. Just had a guitar class. I'm learning uh, Rise of the Phoenix. Uh, uh, I I ironic, isn't it? A little bit. Oh, well, that's cool. I'll have to think on that one. Well, if I finish the game fast enough, I guess I can also give you first crack at, uh, at Silver. Gen 2 is so stacked against Bailey uh, against Chikorita that I'm not surprised Bayleaf died. I mean, considering it died to something that wasn't even stacked against it, it was funny. Again, I just got unlucky. That like again, that was a less than a four percent chance of what happening, uh, what happened happening. So it's like can't really play around it. You get a Hound Hour? Can I get a nickname? Uh, I don't know if I'm. I mean, I'm definitely not using it for a while. But if if you end up bribing me for the nickname. Yes. Have you ever played Stardew Valley? I have not. Yeah, the Bayleaf death was tragically bad luck, as was the Golem death. I had a 10% chance of that not happening, but, you know, how, how was... I, mean, I just had to look up what the trainer had, but, you know, it was just an optional trainer that I was higher level than. Meatball, what would you like to see in a Univa remake? I have a name for it, Pitch Black and Omni White. Well, it would probably be Pitch Black and Vast White, considering they would that's their Pokedex uh, names, or the Pitch Black Pokemon and the Vast White Pokemon. So I would 
Can I, like, have my A button stop sticking? Thank you. All we need to see uh, if it'll be on the stream is the Pal World POC challenge. The, the challenge is already done. I have the footage. I just need to script it and voice it and then have it edited. The hard part is over. <laughs> they are the Pitch Black Pokemon and the Joseph MBT Rothschild Pokemon. Come on. No, I wouldn't be surprised if that motherfucker's uh, lurking and uh, calls you out for being like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> uh, we, all, we all know he's white. We don't need to insult him anymore for it. Yeah, it would probably be deep black and vast white, exactly. I don't want a remake of Gen 5. Uh, I'd much rather have a Legends Gen 5 game. I mean, me too, but like, I would I would like both. Or just port both black to white, uh, both sets of uh, black, white, black to white to, to the to Switch. Should, it theoretically shouldn't be that hard. Reintroduce triple battles? Um, well, in the remakes, they'll probably put them in, of course, but like, they probably won't do them in other games, no. I'm still mad that the G4 remakes weren't Temporal Diamond, Celestial Pearl. I was That was like the names that I expected them to have. But... What can you do? In the remake specifically... Uh, that is stab physical waterfall with chance to flinch ice fang by level up get out of here I mean yeah in the remakes uh, I'm guessing you're referring to for alligator yeah for alligator is crazy in the remakes uh, no no Nah, Ducky Badger, it just wouldn't work. They are two separate stories. 4513, that's going to be shiny. Let's see. 4511. 4512. We got one more. Hmm, sorry. I thought Platinum was an enhanced version, like Yellow, Crystal, and Emerald before it. It basically was, but it, it, it barely changed anything about, like, the story, except for, like, the Distortion World, but... I mean, they, they always changed the story for the uh, for the, le the box Legendary of choice, like Crystal, um, Crystal, Emerald, and then Platinum. I think number 202 will be shiny. We're, we are far beyond that, Mr. Crump. Fun fact. In German, Brilliant Diamond is called Strahlender Diamond. I'm, I don't know how to pronounce that shit. Which is just Shining Diamond and seeing all the JoJo refs in the previous stream and, and, and here. I think some may find this very funny. Was the, Were there a lot of JoJo references? I, uh... I've literally never watched an episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, so I would not be able to tell. Also, Fantina being the third gym leader in Platinum. Well, I mean, they fucked up in Diamond and Pearl. They, I don't know why they decided to make her number five. They, they fixed it in, in, in the, uh, the third version. Because you get to Heart Home first. But I, I, I guess I liked that you kind of looped around from Route 212. Like, you're supposed to go from Pastoria up route through Route 212 to loop back around to Heart Home. So I get the concept of what they were going for. I just think that uh, Pokemon fans are dumb and wanted her third. Because I got here third. I don't want to keep going. It's like... No. Learn how, like, you know, non-linearity works. In, in, like, it's not even non-linearity. It's still linear. It's just, you know, 
You have to do something to get to this gym leader first. Stupid. Never too late to watch the series? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Depends on if I have the time to do so. At least from the times I've checked in the chat, I keep seeing something that makes me think of JoJo, especially Abdul Lamau. Uh-oh. Wait, is the sacrificing Abdul thing a, uh, a JoJo reference? If so, that's comical. Isn't it the same thing with Norman? Petalburg City was the third city. And it wasn't available to fight until, like, the four badges. Yeah, it's supposed to be, like, a story beat. I guess, uh, you know, Heart Home didn't exactly push that uh, point home. Instead, you know, Fantina was just not there. But, like, they could have... They could have made it a little bit better in terms of story wise, uh, like in terms of story wise. Kinda, but it's spoilers. Well, I just needed to know it, whether or not that was a, you know, a kind of a reference. In which case, that's funny. You look very handsome today. Thank you. <laughs> Pokemon fans being impatient and kind of dumb. Oh no. Imagine the world where Norman was the first gym leader kicking our butt at the start to get us to do other gyms and fight and come back. That would be funny if you it was like a scripted wipe. But even then, I feel like, what happens if you grind your Pokemon up and beat them first? Like they had to do that because they had to like uh, because you had the availability of um, fighting trainer Pokemon first, or both trainers and a bunch of wild Pokemon first. So you could have done it. Why do I feel like you're going to get it at 10,000? I was going to say that, but I, I, I wanted to keep hope that we would finish the game today and go with 6,500. What about Nuzlocks? What do you mean, what about Nuzlocks? Joan Yell, sit still so I can heal your... What? what, what? Okay. it's it's They're, they're just JoJo role-playing now. Folks, why are you JoJo role-playing in my goddamn chat? I can't help it, man. Sure you can. Be normal. Be normal. In my BDSP Nuzlocke, I have one badge and zero death so far. Congratulations. I hope it keeps going well for you. Quick question. In hardcore Nuzlocke, I always have a, far t uh, a hard time with end game fights. Is there something you just uh, you just get better over time or it just min-max better? Mostly just min-max better, yeah. EVs, making sure you have diverse typings, uh, reformatting your moves before going in, etc. Nickname Sloking Jinzo, please. Good old Yu-Gi-Oh reference. Absolutely. I'm going to have this on while playing Fortnite. Oh boy, Fortnite. How did Fortnite outdo Super Smash Brothers as the biggest crossover uh, game of all time? What happened? What did we do? Damn, all seeing Cobra. Just don't, don't just don't, don't just just say that out loud. You'll probably black out by Cynthia or the Elite Four uh, in BDSP, Martin. Damn. Well, way to be an asshole. Also, you should absolutely watch uh, JoJo's uh, because Fortnite isn't just restricted to video game characters. Oh, so they put Go it's like putting Goku in Smash Brothers. They did it. They I know they actually did put Goku into uh, into Fortnite, which is comedy. They even collab with real life people. Oh boy, I can't wait to play as Ninja. <laughs> they put the kids from Avatar in there. Huh. Like the 
like the wait kids from Avatar. You mean like the, the blue the blue things from that movie? They collaborated with Nar uh, Naruto. They collaborated with like everybody. He means the last everybody. Oh, oh, gotcha. Again, I've I've never watched the show. It's come up a few times. Okay, I just wanted to make sure my my music was still working. I just don't like television. Like, people always tell me to watch shit, and I'm like, I'd rather watch something on YouTube. <laughs> I don't want to buy a subscription service. I'm, I am i don't want to, like, degrade myself to try to search around on a shady website trying to find it for free. I just, I just don't think I care. Like, I like my video games, and I like my videos about video games, and I like my professional wrestling, and that... And I like my card games, and that's about that's about it. Even the anime about card games, even the Yu-Gi-Oh anime, I, I will watch like ha I watched half of Arc Five at like 1.75 times speed because I was just so bored. And the the duels, while yes, there were occasionally cards that I pogged for. I'm like, oh my god, that 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 card ruined the, the format in 2015. Uh, occasionally, I'll do that, but like other than that, that's the only time I ever like popped off. I never really, I never really cared about the story. All I was doing was popping off about cards that fucked up the game in real life. Oh my god, is that Perform Age Trapeze Magician? That one fucked up Gage in the Progression series when he misplayed with it. <laughs> like that. <laughs> that was the only thing I'll... I will donate a hundred, uh, another hundred if you, uh, if you will nickname your Cyndaquil, uh, a Kanu. I have been bribed. Um, I will make sure to do that. I'm putting money on 6k, or sub 6k resets. I would, I would pray if that's the case. Can I like reset? I reset the game. Why did it attack? Stop doing that. It's happened like four times. I'm worried that like it's going to catch a sacred fire and then people are uh, going to be in my chat being like, no, it died. No, I'm soft resetting and the, the button didn't work and I'm mashing A to get through the to back to my next attempt. Okay? If that happens, it doesn't fucking count. Here's the bribe. We've been, we've been bribed. We've been bribed. I'm going to take a screenshot of this so that I don't forget. Thank you for the uh, extra $100 bomb. Boom. The first successful bribe in the history of meatball technology. All right, so that's what? 140 minutes? So that brings us down to this and then this brings this up to this boom w folks we are officially net positive for so far for the day that's crazy we're net positive by about a half hour today that's that's awesome thank you again julian for your second hundred dollar bomb of the day this is wild thank you again for your insane generosity today uh If you lowered it to 50, shouldn't the 100 give two po uh, Pokemon name, not just one? They specifically asked for one name for 100, but I will give them a second one if they want it. Sure. No, this isn't shiny. And they say you can't buy time. You can buy time here. I'm getting paid tonight. Expect me to buy them sups. Hell yeah, exotic cookie. In my BDSP Nuzlocke, I'm going to use Dragon Dance Gyarados or Facade to Burn to Staraptor. Ooh, fancy. I got a 20-second unskippable ad. Oof. If 
folks. This is what uh, this is what YouTube Premium is for, evading the ads. Time is money. Of course, you can buy time. That's what a job is. Exactly. These streams are just a way for Meatball to farm subs. He's put everyone in a trap. What are you talking about? In fact, I'm actually losing subscribers from from doing these streams. I think uh, I've been looking at my analytics, and I think people are getting tired of the uh, the alerts of it. So I'm definitely not having that happen. Uh, there we go. Are you going to use the Master Ball? Yes. This reminds me of the movie where everyone is paid in time for their life. Damn. Yeah, premium is really very worth it. I, I use it, like, all the time. Like, I think I've been subscribed to it for several years because I just, I'm not, I don't like ads and I like supporting uh, other creators. At least you are statistically halfway there, theoretically. Damn, we've been hunting all this for almost five hours today. Ho-Ho oh, before 57.50. I, I still put my my money on before 6500. YouTube music is great as well. Well, I just download like the music onto my phone because you can download YouTube videos um, using YouTube premium and then I'll, I'll just get the music off there because I just listen to a bunch of video game covers that aren't on YouTube music so like they're as, they're done as music videos but not like distributed as music through like other other sources to make it on YouTube music so I do that I use YouTube all the time when I'm doing chores working probably have it on 10 8 to 10 t hours a day so the 1299 is a good price to avoid the ads I agree if you're using it as much as I am and that's that's just about as much as I am uh, maybe a little less well, well at least when I'm uh, you know working on video stuff. I'm usually listening to videos, listening to uh, music and shit on YouTube. But yeah, I would definitely, I would definitely uh, say that the twelve ninety nine a month is worth it. Ads take so little time, yeah, but they're annoying. And again, it supports your 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 uh, the the creators that you're watching. Like it supports them a lot more than just watching the ads. So it's also like a little bit of a a, a support thing. So. I use my ex-wife's student email to get the discounted premium price. What the fuck? That's funny. Are these going to come out as single videos or combined with the other games in the generation? Uh, I'm probably going to do the rest of them as single games, yes. But you have to have the mobile unlocked? For what? Am I, did I miss something? Bros before hoos, true. Yeah, but what if I'm washing dishes with gloves on and I have to take them off to skip the ad? Exactly. Big Sag, I've been loving the Egghead arc. Can't believe all the reveals Oda has done concerning the. This sounds like nonsense to me. I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about. But hey, if you enjoy it, have fun. That's all I care about. What's your favorite champion theme? Steven. Egg? We love egg. Uh, nope. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Oh, Ross Steven theme goes hard. FRLG, um, uh, like, champion theme also goes, like, really hard with the expanded amount of instruments they have. Uh, I, I, that one's a close second. Very close second. Back from brunch? Dang, shiny burb, uh, not happened? Not yet. We're getting there. We are indeed getting there.
What game would you prefer a remake on? Or would you prefer a sequel to Let's Go or Gen 10 next? I just want to, I want them to see a, a good Gen 5 remake. But I, I don't want it until like 2027. They're releasing the Pokemon Legends ZA 20, uh, 2025. Take a year off. 2027 remake. Do it. I want it like that. You have any musical talents? Uh, some. I I do dabble in the guitar and the bass. Uh, I, I I do know how to do some musical things. Gen five and Johto remix. Uh, we don't need another set of Johto remix. Just just port. Dark Souls Silver. Hell, actually, you know what? Another set of Johto remix to fix the level issue and fix where the Pokemon are. I gotta blow my nose real quick. Give me uh, just a moment. Sorry about that. I started sneezing, too. I also had to answer a Discord message. Okay. Back to gaming. Let me pull this up first. Okay. Now back to gaming. You never have enough Kanto remakes. I do not need more Kanto remakes. If it happens again, how am I ever going to complete this? I will never complete a franchise Nuzlocke ever again. I tried out Pokemon Orange. It's interesting. Oh, the Poke well, it's called Pokemon Naranja because it's a. Uh, it was originally made in, I believe, Portuguese. But uh, it is a good. Uh, it is definitely a good representation of the Orange Islands in uh, ROM hack form. It's really cool. Also, we are five likes away, ladies and gentlemen. We are five likes away from 500. I'm hoping to hit a thousand today. So if you have not liked the stream, uh, make sure to scroll down or tab over if you're just listening in. Even double check, triple check. Just make sure you hit that like button. You know, you might have missed. You might have hit like right next to it and didn't realize before you scrolled back up. I would very much appreciate that. Have my like. Thank you, Young Soprano. There are multiple Orange Island ROM hacks. Oh, I would have to take a look at them. Green shinies are okay. Some good, some not. Not. Some of them, uh, some of them are all right. Some of them look like puke. No, not Naranha, a different one. Ooh, intriguing. This one's a GBC one. Ooh, what's the, oh, uh, is it just Pokemon Orange? Okay, I might have to look, uh, take a look at that at some point. We are we are we are blazing through these uh, these soft resets though. We are so close to 5,000. Again, I'm hoping to get this below 6,500. I would love to get it below 6,500 soft resets. I'm not getting too lucky today, but hey, as long if I can finish the game today, I will be a happy, happy boy. I got, just caught Mewtwo in a heel ball in Ultra Sun. That's crazy. 
cool ball for it, for sure. Also, Kevins, I know you, um, if you don't mind me uh, bothering you again about it, did you ever figure out your, your card problem with YouTube? After all, I am trying to increase the timer. But, uh... And I know you said you wanted to, like, two or three times, so... I figured I would ask. That's a happy meatball! That's, that's, that's my closest I can do, Joseph. Next April Fools, that you should do a quartz as part of the main challenge. I wanted to do quartz and brand it as like one of the um, uh, like I I nuzlocked the first ever uh, like Pokemon ROM hack because it was like one of the first ROM hacks that ever released. Like first full one with a fir like a completely new decks, a completely new uh, like ca uh, completely new characters and stuff. I mean, sure, it wasn't a new region, but it would be cool. Figured it out, but I haven't deposited my check yet. Been overwhelmed with college lately. That's fair. Well, hey. If you're trying to catch Mewtwo, go for it. Go. If you have time, go go try depositing it. It is, a, it is a weekday, isn't it? Also, do you not have like mobile deposit on your uh, on your phone or something with your with your bank? Because uh, whenever I used to get checks when I had an you know an actual job, uh, I would have to like take a picture of my the front of and back of my check, and that's how I would uh, I would deposit it. Promise I'll get to it though, and it's no big deal. No worries about bothering me. That's fair. No, I don't. Damn, really? Huh. I recently picked up an Albaz Structure Deck from Walgreens for $5. Really? That one was on discount. That's one of the best Structure Decks in the game. If they had any more, you should pick up two more, Frozen Lake. That's fantastic. Because I think Branded is one of the, like, decent, like, pr pretty good deck to get into. It's it's a little complicated, but it is, uh, it is definitely something that people are still playing in the current format. Like, if you can't afford Fire King Snake Eye, absolutely. Pick them up. I don't know if you're, like, a... A new player or if you've been playing for a while or whatever but like geez go back and see if they have more I want to see you play Kaizo Crystal Plus one day absolutely not I do not like the uh, the, the Kaizo games for challenges because it's it just feels like a spreadsheet and calculator simulator and that's no fun for me it was the only Yu-Gi-Oh product they had damn Hey, still, good-ass good, good -ass deal for that structure. Five bucks? Absolutely. Let's be real. This is the best, ga uh, best game Shiny ho -Oh looked. Absolutely. The Albash structure are missing a couple key cards, but overall it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, and, you know, I uh, <laughs> absolutely agree. You can just pick those up, and they're not, they're not that expensive. Have you heard of Pokemon Xenoverse? I've heard so many people talk about Reborn Rejuvenation in Xenoverse. I have never seen anybody do a single video on those games. But I, f I feel like people really like them if they talk about it a lot. Did you play the Yu-Gi-Oh! GBA games? I did. I, uh, I actually beat the Sacred Cards for the first time last year. Because I, I, didn't, I didn't have that one as a kid. And I, I played it on my, uh, I, on my backlit modified GBA. And uh, I had a grand old time with it. I think I've seen a vid on Xenoverse. I I haven't. But that's uh that's cool that if they exist, sure. I still haven't looked at the those games. Uh, but if they're good, I mean, one day if I get bored and I want to look at it, sure. Are we planning on streaming all games? That is correct, Dark Horror. Reborn and Rejuvenation are really cool ga games. A bit difficult though. Gotcha. I don't mind difficult, but, like, if it's calculator and, like, spreadsheet difficult, then I don't want to play it, because that's no fun. But I do like to play, like, harder games where I have to give more thought into it. Have you played Forbidden Memories? I have not. Uh, it's just not one that appeals to me, because I, like, I play the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. I play the actual card game. That one, while, yeah, it has, like, representations of those cards, it's not, like, the same game. Uh, 
Uh, I'd suggest doing a run of Uranium as, as Uranium as that actually has some classic mods um, to avoid. But since the DMCA, uh, I don't think videos of it have gotten like uh, like cease and desisted, but I'd have to look. Do you ever miss a shiny? No. Do you play Snake Eyes? Only in uh, Master Duel. I'm not buying it in paper. Too expensive. Not, wor not worth it with how much I play right now. Which was the other Pokemon that died? Uh, it was Golem and it was uh, Bayleaf. We had another, uh, we had a spare shiny Geodude that we caught in a different area and I didn't use Graveler in battle. So I was just like, you know what would be funny? Is if I just swapped the dead Golem for the live Graveler. Uh, we are, yeah, we are definitely beyond 50% uh, odds again, Pug. Uh, we passed that at 4,096. Currently, I play physically One Piece and Vanguard. Digitally, uh, play Duel Masters and Pokemon plus the physicals. I still think that Yu-Gi-Oh! is fun to play digitally. I mean, again, Master Duel is really, really good at, like, the whole economy of it. Uh, you can play that game free-to-play and get, like, a new deck every month and keep up with the meta if you really want want to, like... Do, as long as you keep up with your dailies. But the dailies don't take more than, like, 15, 10, 15 minutes. So... There's also the tactic of you can let all of your dailies uh, like charge up. There's like nine different dailies that can appear, and if you only uh, if you keep six of them and just keep redeeming the same three, only those three will appear every day. And you can basically uh, optimize it to where you only do do those three, and you can do them in like the same duel. The ones I like to do is like activate three spell cards, uh, special summon five times, and like win a duel. Because usually I can do that pretty easily with, with exactly one duel, so. What OP deck is your main? Well, in, in Master Duel, it's definitely uh, Snake Eye. In uh, in TCG right now, I'm just playing um, Runic Stun. I'm still missing a few cards from it, though. Master Duel is great, but man, ranked is so unplayable. It's not really unplayable, I don't think, like... I mean, I guess if you don't like playing Snake Eye, then sure, I understand. But I like the deck, and it is something that you can free to play if you start a new account, like, and just build towards it immediately. It is definitely for uh, you can still you can free to play any deck in that game, uh, if if you use your front loaded gems towards it, especially because it's in a selection pack. Uh, the fact that or not a selection pack, it's in uh, one of the, um, I think it's I think it is called a selection pack. I don't remember. One of, one of the ones that's in the store where you get all eight cards in the pack rather than, like, four being the master pack, four being the secret pack. So, I don't know. I think it's I think it's worth your time. I I really do like the deck. I know it's powerful, but, like, I have, I have my fun playing it. I just really have a problem with it in TCG where it's, like, $1,200 to build the whole deck. I'm going to miss the start of this Snake Eyes combo, but how do you feel about... Uh, uh, the, uh, about blank, I, I don't know what's uh, before, uh, between, about, and place. How do you feel uh, about its place in TCG? Um, too expensive. There's a reason that, like, MBT just uploaded a video uh, of a 10 minute testing of, like, stun, um, you know, and burn, and stall. Like, the fact that those decks are relevant because people are metagaming around their wallets rather than the actual, like, uh, tier zero deck is wild. The climate of PvP itself, game feels unwinnable if you don't go first and open a starter. Hand traps or uh, encounters uh, your opponent's hand traps. Well, it, it is definitely playable going second. You just have to open enough hand traps. It, it's uh, it really is just a math thing. Um, and yes, I do think that the best of one does make it a little bit more unfair than usual, especially Max C. I still do hate Max C, but um, I still think it's fun. Like, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! at the end of the day. I like Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, to be fair, Snake Eyes is like, yeah, it's one. It's like $1,200 to get in, in real life, which is why I won't buy it. I don't play enough Yu-Gi-Oh! in paper to do it. But speaking of which, I did sign up for the Ultimate Time Wizard event at Raleigh. Uh, not this weekend, but next weekend. Uh, I will be attending YCS Raleigh. And uh, I don't know if I can finish silver by then, but I'm going to try to uh, have the video for gold scripted and ready for this weekend. 
And um, I also did the the red and blue with only dragon types a while back that it's still sitting scripted. I just have to voice it and send it to my editor. So we should have two videos for next week. Um, hopefully that ends up uh, going well. And then maybe we can get a good start on silver before I take a couple days off to go to y the YCS. I need to start bu actually building competitive decks, uh, but pet decks are too fun. I, why are pet decks fun? If you're losing, is that fun or is that just frustrating? Uh, my pet decks are Synchron, Plunder, and Gaia the Fierce Knight. I was, uh, I was really engineering uh, Synchron for a while. That was my pet deck because I thought that, the, I mean, the deck was good. It had teeth. It could do things. Um, but, like, it just... <laughs> It wasn't as good as the other top decks, so I actually uh, entered a YCS with um, with Synchron uh, after uh, Jet Synchron got unbanned, and I actually, I mean, I didn't do well, but I did have a lot of fun with my games, just being able to like show people, oh my god, this deck is uh, this deck is a thing. Uh, like I was playing against a Predaplant branded player, and I built the whole board. I set up. Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend, Abyss, F.A. Dawn, Dragster, Baron, Defloor, and um, Crystal Wing, Synchro Dragon. And because I drew Monster Reborn over the course of my combo, because I already had, I had, uh, my first Synchro Summon of the turn was TG Hyper Librarian. Uh, or no, it was my second, because I already uh, expended the, uh, the, um, the Junk Speeder. But I ended up drawing, uh, because I only had one card in my extra deck by the end of that. Um... I ended up drawing like 11 cards over the course of that combo, and I drew Monster Reborn, which let me bring back uh, Excel Synchron. And the one card I had left in my extra deck was uh, a card called Satellite Warrior, which, uh, because Excel Synchron lets you uh, quick synchro on your opponent's turn, you take the level 5 uh, Excel Synchron, the level 5 TG Hyper Librarian, and you make, uh, 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 you make the Satellite Warrior which Satellite Warrior has an effect on Summon that uh, it can pop cards on your opponent's field equal to, or equal to or less than the amount of Synchro Monsters you have in the graveyard. So you can literally wipe, like, eight cards, or, like, seven or eight cards off your, your opponent's field. And for every card you destroy, you get, um... What was it? You get uh, a thousand attack on, on, the, on the monster. So if you're popping, like, four, you're going up to, like, 6,500 attack. It's crazy. Really, what? It's a really good one. Uh, if I ever play TCG, I'd probably play Runic Stun Bishels. Uh, well, I would just play Brunic Stun. Um, it's like a hundred bucks, like uh, minus like SP Little Knight. If you play the version that was in uh, MBT's new ten-minute testing of Runic Stun, it's like a hundred bucks. I think it's like it's like a hundred bucks ish. And it was funny. I ended up getting my Runic Stun cards, like, right before uh, people started being like, yeah, uh, people are playing this deck because they're metagaming around their wallets and the, the prices were starting to go up. So I, I was happy to kind of get away with that. I don't know how much the prices have gone up, but I would have to take a look on TCG Player. Lol, sorry, I'm new. All I've seen is his bootleg NES Pokemon games. I've literally never been to his channel except seeing that one vid about NES Pokemon and just today. Oh shoot! I didn't realize you were you were new around here, Elisa. Well, I hope you're uh, enjoying your time here. Uh, if you're not familiar, this is my season two of my franchise Nuzlocke, which uh, has the gimmick of I'm Nuzlocking every Pokemon game in chronological order. But the the whole thing is is that I'm not allowed to use repeat Pokemon per games. Like if I if I pick Bulbasaur and I use that line in battle, like if I use Bulbasaur, Venusaur, and or Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur all in battle in like Red version, I can't use it in any future game. Uh, so I decided to do that again. However, now I'm doing it with shinies because I'm, I guess I'm masochist. I don't know. But I am having fun. Yo, Julian Fleming, thank you for the membership. I very much appreciate that. Folks, we are still above 64 hours. My goal today is to uh, have the timer above 66 hours by the end. And uh, I do need your help. And uh, memberships like that, add, uh, add five minutes to the clock. Uh, super chats, for every dollar you super chat, I'm adding a minute to the timer. And same thing with the gamer subs. You get 10% off using my link when you use exclamation point gamer subs and you use my code chaotic meat. 
You'll get 10% off at checkout, and every dollar that you spend over there on any of the uh, the the cups, the drink, uh, like the jugs for the uh, or the tubs, excuse me, for the drink mix, or any of the different food items on there, you'll get 10% off. And I will add a minute to the timer for every dollar that you spend. Get the shiny today, and you'll hit your goal. And no, oh, do you go to ben Penn State? I wish I could afford to do that. Well, again, if you're not in a financial place to be doing it, don't. I, as as long as you are here and you've given like, uh, as long as you've like liked the stream and you've subscribed to the channel, then that's that's all. I that is the the most I can ask of you. If you are generous enough to be able to, you know, help fund this series like uh, like Julian kind of is today, uh, you know, I very very much appreciate that. But that is not like a requirement. Absolutely not. If uh, Legend ZA came out, uh, can you Nuzlocke it? I, I will try. I don't know what it's gonna be end up looking like though. So of course I'll probably give it a first playthrough, see what uh what things go on in it, and then I'll see if I can structure something with it. What other encounters are you looking for on this run? This is the last one. This is the last one. Liked every day so far, but the nudes yes the nudes the noodles. The, uh, the instant noodles uh, yesterday, and I did $2 today, but that's about the limit I can do. I still very much appreciate it, Zuger. Don't go overboard, but uh, if you are enjoying your time here and you like staying around, then I'm more than happy. Holy, we got someone balling on the stream. Absolutely, Brandon. We, are, we have somebody crazy today, which is awesome. I always, you know, the, the people uh, like Julian that... Uh, a lot of my my fellow streamer friends love to refer to them, uh, lovingly refer to them as um, oil barons. They are the ones that uh, that are making a lot of uh, making a lot of dough off of you know oil or something. Uh oh, we haven't. Uh, nope. Okay. Uh, we just had a few drop frames there, but yes, lovingly, uh, affectionately called oil barons for sure. Are you planning on hunting Mewtwo and Gen 2 since you can get them before Red? Oh, that would be funny. This is like the only game that you can do that in, right? I could do that for Crystal. I don't think you can get Mewtwo uh, earlier, like, it, like for any relevant fight in any other generation, can you? The next encounter will be shiny unless it isn't, and it is. It's the one after. Repeat until true. Very true, Glaze. Sun and Moon has Mewtwo, but it doesn't have it before the, like, the Elite Four slash Champion. Like, I don't think so. What if we don't like it here, but have nothing better to do? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, damn. Is that is it, it, do do we just catch a a hate watcher in 4K? Are we getting Lugia in silver? Maybe I still haven't decided. USUM portals are pre Ultra Necrozma. Oh right, that is true. But they are level 60, which is over the level cap for the Elite Four, so it doesn't matter. Uh no. Is that gum metal in the background uh, by chance? No, this is uh. A Mega Man X3 guitar playthrough by a uh, creator named Met. Uh, this is not shiny. On an iPad, so not 4K. Caught in 480p. X and Y is after the Elite Four. Yeah, I, I knew that one. Where is Golem? Uh, we shaved him and he became a Graveler. When you eventually reset on a shiny, a missed shiny counter would be cool. Not gonna happen. Never gonna happen. Folks, I'm just too good. It's never gonna happen. Very efficient resetting going on. I'm like taking a moment to just look before I hit the, hit the reset and it's working fine. I'm also going back and forth between the chat and the game, which is why you keep seeing my head move like this. 
because I'm just making sure that the uh, that the Pokemon isn't shiny, and I want to be able to reach at. So, Golem shaved with Gillette new 25 Blade Razor with Ultra Jet Power. Exactly. Never gonna happen. His famous last words. Never gonna happen, folks. I'm not incompetent. I mean, I am incompetent, but I'm not incompetent when it comes to Pokemon games. Love your content. Thank you, Gallows. I very much appreciate it. So much for not using Graveler in this game. Yeah, I thought I could save it, but you know. Had to replay the stream because I missed it, Lamau, but I like pet decks. Uh, I know I'm going in with the crapper, crappier cards, uh, but I want to push them, uh, push my favorite themes to their best potential. Same with challenge runs in Pokemon. I get that. I just think that you're putting yourself at a disadvantage against humans, which, you know, putting yourself at a disadvantage against humans is always going to usually net in, you know, losses. You're not, you're not really, uh, you know, you're not really manipulating the computer to your best advantage while using, like, under-advantaged Pokemon, but I, I mean, I guess I get it. I just get the, um, I, I just, I get more enjoyment out of winning, I guess. I want that microphone set up, by the way. It is a nice setup. Um, I'm, I invested in it a few years ago, and I have to, I'm happy I did. So my first microphone for this channel was a, uh, a microphone that I got for free from a church. Uh, I don't remember what the brand was, but I got it for free from the church that I was attending in high school. So, and then I upgraded to this, which is basically, you know, a billion times better. Yo, Brandon Stacy, thank you so much for becoming a member. Let me add that to the timer once we hit 5,100 here. Did you see the D new Diabell Lores cards? Yes, I did. Oh my god, that Synchro is crazy. If you Synchro summon this card using another Synchro monster as material, add a Spell Trap from your graveyard to your hand. Oh boy, it's just, you know, better fucking Nightmare Griffin. But thank you, Brandon. I appreciate the generosity. Funny how on the first stream you said you would not be doing a counter by hand, but yet here we are. Uh, I found a way to do it easily. And, uh, you know, this works. And I'm happy that I found something that works. But anyway, if you had to say five of your favorite fan games uh, or ROM hacks of Pokemon games, what would you say? Prism. Glazed. Flora Sky. Insurgents. Oh, what's the last one? I don't know what the last one is. Those are definitely the, the first four. I, I can't think of the fifth one off the top of my head right now. I liked Pokemon Brown. That would probably be number five. Yo, Brandon Stacy, thank you so much for the 10 gifties. If you didn't get one, type dodged and chat it as simple as that. Uranium, I've never actually played it. Yo, we're finally above 65 hours, folks. We we made the uh, the goal that we were trying to go for yesterday. Heck yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Brandon. I very much appreciate your generosity today. I kind of wonder, could there be theoretically a summoning mechanic to use a level 4 tuner and a rank 4 Xyz monster to make a level 0? No, that would be... People would want to quit the game even more than they already do now. And make sure, if you did dodge, make sure you are opted in to being able to get a gift membership whenever they drop. Uh, it should be something that pops up when the gift memberships drop. But uh, if that didn't, uh, make sure to Google it and make sure you can, uh, you can possibly get one of those in the future. Now, your favorite is the Kaizos after POCing them. Absolutely not, Jirachi Master. Uh, those, those made me go crazy. Love coming home to some meatball after a stressful day at work. Appreciate you grinding all the challenges we don't ha I don't have the patience for. When you win, we win. Absolutely, Brandon. Thank you so much. 
I really do appreciate it. I hope uh, I hope I do manage to, you know, give you enough entertainment to offset the uh, the nonsense that you have to deal with at work. Can you click the gift? Uh, no, it just it, it goes out randomly to people that are opted in. I got the membership yesterday. This is the first time I have a YouTube channel membership. It it just gives you a cool name. You get a little icon in the comments section, stuff like that. It's neat. Uh, nope. Pokemon Unbound is probably my favorite ROM hack. I haven't played it before. Meatball found you on YouTube uh, about a year ago, and your challenge runs are the great are great uh, to fall asleep to. Well, thank you for three seven three FG. <laughs> I uh, I'm glad to hear that. I I hope that I'm giving you some nice uh, nappy nappies at night. You know, everybody needs some high quality sleep. If I can help help you get there, there you go. I got two gifts from two channels in two days. Well, you might just be too lucky. Haha, <laughs> puns. I loved a version of Red Adventures that was out a few years ago, but the newest update is kind of fucked. Oof. And you get e emotes like this. Again, I keep forgetting to bring my Twitch emotes over. There's a lot better emotes than are currently here. Better than Netflix. I would agree with that. Did you lose your starter? Yeah. How many tries did Pineco take? Uh, we bred for it, which made it only take 70 eggs. <laughs> Infinite Fusion was pretty cool, but I'm pretty sure everyone knows that. Yeah. The creator of Lunatic Crystal was here earlier. He's friends with my cousin. It's not like Kaizo hard, but still difficult. I'd suggest trying it. Hmm. I, I may look into it at some point. Renegade Platinum is my favorite ROM hack of all time. It's cool for sure. Uh, That's not shiny. No. Folks, we did get above 65 hours though, but my goal for today is to get the, uh, the timer above 66 by the end. And uh, we are still not quite there yet, but if we get there and hold, then we will be in perfect shape. Again, thank you so much to especially Julian and uh, Brandon today for their generosity. And to everybody else who's been contributing to the timer over the past couple of streams, I really do appreciate all of you. And even to you guys that are just here and may not be able to contribute to the timer, just being able to like uh, and subscribing to the channel and just hanging out in the stream and enjoying yourselves, I'm very happy that you are here too, and I very much appreciate you as well. Let's get to the funny number chat. Can we get there if we work nicely? I I don't want to get there. My prediction was getting it in less than 6,500. I do not want to get to the to the funny number. Please no. With Piss Rat, even though you haven't used him, does he uh, ca count as dupes for other games? Uh, if I catch something non-shiny, I'll probably trade it over and use it, yes. No. 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 Oh, there we go. <laughs> the the A button got stuck again. No, stop. Stop getting stuck. Holy shit. If that happens, I'm immediately pausing the pausing the game to get it unstuck if it if it ends up shiny. Oh, we should get the timer to the funny number. Folks, can you get the timer to 69 hours by the end of the stream? So we could make funny number references all day? I think that would be cool. Did you play Crystal Legacy? Uh, my, my buddy Ruxin played it. I have not gotten the chance to play it yet, no. See? I had my hand off and it was doing it. Do 
Good night, everyone, and good luck, Meatball. Thank you, Joan Yell, for being here. Oops, I accidentally double-tapped it. Take care. Oh, I double-tapped it, so I have to not count one. There we go. Meatball, uh, you have said you're friends with Ruxin. Have you, by chance, done anything with Attacking 101? I do not know who that is, no. Imagine if we could get the likes to 69.69. I doubt it, but can we at least try to break... Uh, I want to break the likes of over 1,000. So if you have not liked the stream, definitely make sure to scroll down or tab over if you're just listening in, and double-check if you have uh, liked it. You might have accidentally missed the button. You might have just like clicked right next to it and didn't realize before you scrolled back to the stream or whatever you were doing previously. I very much appreciate it. Can't find any way whatsoever to opt it. Well, Zuger, Google it. I'm uh, I'm sure that will help at least. I keep forgetting that likes exist. A lot of people do. That's why I always do the reminder, and people get mad at me. Uh, but I'm like, people keep forgetting, and uh, I don't know. I'm I'm very conscious as a, a YouTube surfer myself, so. We might have to sacrifice somebody to get the, uh, to, like we did yesterday, to get the shiny slowpoke. True. I'm in an odd spot where I really want to watch, but I also can't wait for the vi for the vid and don't want spoilers on who you catch. Amazing content either way, butter, buddy. I appreciate it, Whistler. I completely understand. Sometimes I do that with other streamers that like to break down their streams into videos. Where I'll, I'll just, like, have them muted and then give them, like, the view. But then, uh, I want to just watch the video when it comes out. But I appreciate you being here. Hey, I mean, you're doing your job reminding about likes. They help you. That's true, but I don't know. Some people forget that it is a job and not a uh, not like a hobby thing i mean i still i mean i started of course as a hobby and it's still fun for me but i think people forget that it's like oh he does he does get a he does make his living off of this I remember shiny hunting for Charmander and Let's Go, and it took 2k plus chain catches. That's crazy. Are you actually going to use ho -Oh? Of course. If I'm crazy enough to shiny hunt it, I'm going to use it. I never played LGPE. Uh, because I didn't have a Switch at the time, and I still only got a Switch Lite at the moment. You can play it on a Switch Lite. You can play it with the, uh, like, it it'll just be in handheld mode. You can play it without, like, the motion controls. Never played Let's Go games because I just didn't want to spend my money on them. Understandable. Six out of the eight shinies you've gotten in this game are yellow. Why? I don't know. Coincidence? Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah. You reset the game. Don't send out the fortress. You know what? Just to uh, make sure I'm safe. I'm going to do this. I'm going to save the game again, because I, in case the A button gets stuck, don't want Fortress to die, 
and I don't want to kill the ho -Oh because it keeps happening. I thought FAQ was supposed to bring something up. Yeah, that's the only thing it does bring up right now because that's that's all. Well, that's the only uh, that's the only blurb that needs to be there right now. I remember back in the early 2000s that I was told no one could make their living playing video games. Those same people also said I wouldn't always have a calculator in my pocket. Man, people were stupid, weren't they? Do you have the Master Ball for Ho-Oh? Yes. People were stupid? Oh, some people still are stupid, but, uh, you know, people were also stupid. See? It happened again. Get, 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 get. Damn it. It's a good thing that one wasn't shiny. Get un unstuck. Holy fuck. I need a new fucking controller. Yeah, it just got stuck twice in like 10 seconds. I can probably clean it after I'm done with stream today. Ugh, there we go. You play Pokemon Go? Uh, nah. That's a dangerous game you're playing with that controller. Don't worry, if I need to disconnect it, I will. I want to get one of those Fun Lab LED controllers. Hmm. And modern day smartphones are the super advanced tech people always expected to be developed. Most people now have access to most human technology in the palm of our hands and take it everywhere. Exactly. Maybe you could bind A to a different button until it's cleaned. Um, I could. Let's do that real quick. Um. Okay, that should work. Uh, if I can position my hands for this. Actually, I think I can do this better. Let me uh, go back here. Controllers. Um... Okay, hopefully this works. Okay, this is a lot better. There we go. The PS buttons are all shapes. The X button is officially called cross. Yeah. So which type of guitar do you own? I have a, a Schecter. I don't remember what the exactly the brand the bot like the, the model name is, but I know I have a Schecter brand guitar.
Those Magikarp kind of look like the fish from Super Mario World a little bit. A true test of character is whether you call the button on the PS, PS5 controller the letter O or the circle button. That's very true. It's circle. Apparently the X button is... Yeah, it's, it's, the, uh, it's the circle and the cross button. I just prefer calling them the X and O buttons. I've always said X and circle ever since the PS1. I don't remember. Sometimes I'll flip-flop. Do you have the ball of masters? Yes, I do. Sometimes I will flip-flop between, like, O and circle, but I don't think I ever called it the cross button. I think I've always called it the X button. It's an X. That's what it is. I understand that it's supposed to mean cross in Japan, but that's not what it means here. Do you have a favorite Pokeball design? Eh, not really. I just like the ones that work better. Meaning if every one of them was a Master Ball for me, I would be happy. Less to worry about. Quick Ball is your fave. Yeah, because I, I don't have to... I mean, it's the second fave, unless I have, like, infinite Master Balls. Why don't you name your Pokemon? You won't get attached if you don't name them. Mr. Meatball, I grinded the furthest graveler for 10 hours. I'll be pissed enough if they die. Yeah, basically. If he has the Master of Balls, also known as the Master Ball, does that make him the Ball Master? Uh, that's a little too close to Master of Balls, so no. I love Cherish Balls. I do wish that they were more, they were actually obtainable outside of, like, events. They are kind of cool looking. Uh, it's shiny ho -wo. I just want to play the game. I would like to finish the game today. Do we keep up with uh, a generation a month if we finish it today? Come on. Come on, buddy. Don't be shy. It's okay. I know it's like, oh, I don't want to leave my tower. But you need to leave the tower. You also need to change colors immediately. Change your colors now. I'm not a ball master, but I'm a master baiter, as I, so I've been told. Ah, yes. The master of baiting. I think there's going to be two generations a year. Really? That's it? That's all you think there's going to be? And you have no fate. I'll order KFC to coax the shiny chicken. Increasing the timer might coax the shiny chicken. Unless you don't have any other food, in which case, yeah, I'll order KFC. <laughs> Come on. Give it to me. 
I know you want to give the darn Pokemon to me. Give me the ho -wo. Hey, I'm Ho, and I am O. Give me the ho -wo. There was actually, there actually was a Jedi called Master Bater. He was put into the comics as a joke to see if the editors would catch it. They never did, so he became canon until Disney bought Star Wars. Shocking. Meatball, I didn't see Jaden's message and I thought you were saying that about yourself. Oh. <laughs> Need to be more specific. I think they know exactly what I mean. I just put one of those electric standing desks get together for my girlfriend, and the actual motor for making it uh, go up and down is on the opposite side of the desk my, by mistake. Just a normal desk now. Why not swap around the side of the motor so that you can use the desk correctly? really gonna go six hours without this thing i was kind of hoping i'd be able to finish the game today but you know the game's not being nice to me why are you not being nice to me game i just can i please finish it in nine sessions if i have to do a tenth one i don't want to do a tenth one i want to finish the game They know that the like it's almost like it knows that this is the final obstacle. I just just come on. It will be under odds. I will not promise anything else. I said below 6500. Come on. Ah, oh, I never noticed that pattern, Frozen Lake. That's kind of cool. Is Suicune shiny locked? No, none of the Pokemon are... Like, none of the static Pokemon in the mainline games are shiny locked until Gen 5. Like the stream, boys and girls. Almost at 600 likes. That is true, Robbie. Yes, if you have not liked the stream, make sure to scroll down. Maybe even tab over if you are just listening in. Double check to make sure you have liked the stream. It helps out a lot. And duck, four, five, two, four. This is for you, shiny holo. Come to me now. Like, even maybe even by like seven. You have like an hour and fifteen minutes. You can you can kind of screw around, but that's fine. Uh, let me let me add this to the timer once we hit fifty five hundred. Okay. Uh, doobie doo do do. Thank you for the tenor, by the way, Duck. We're close again to 65 hours, folks. We're getting there. JTR as well for the tenor. Thank you so much. We are back over, um, sick. Oh, never mind. I was about to say, we were bad over 65 hours. You missed it by two seconds. <laughs> Thank you, though. Do people say tenor in American? In American. I thought that was a UK thing. Um, I don't know. I just think it sounds funny. Yo, Duck, thank you for the dollar. And J, uh, JTR for the $2. Boom. Back over 65. Folks, can we keep it there? That is the question. Thank you for, uh, for your generosity, folks. 
Tenor is a regional colloquialism. Oh. I don't know. I just thought it sounded funny. It isn't common. Mind you, many people adopt foreign colloquialisms for funsies. Well, it works. It is kind of funny. Also, we are 34 likes away, folks, from 600 likes on this video, or on this stream, rather. I'm trying my best to hit 1,000 likes, break the four-digit barrier on it. Again, if you have not liked this stream, double-check. You might have thought that you liked it. Or if you're being stubborn, just like it. It helps. I don't know why people would be stubborn about it. I know, I, I don't know. Sometimes I think I see the shiny and get disappointed when I immediately realize it's not the shiny. True. Maybe it's spread over there too. Uh, it's like people say, keep saying blood all over the world nowadays. And that all started in London. That's funny. I've been hearing people use that. I thought it was a, uh, a gang thing. If I recall correctly, there's a gang named that. I don't remember. Sorry, it's been a while since I've left a comment. I've been playing a game. You're fine, you soon. Do what you want. I'm super picky with what vids I like just as I uh, I like to look back on my liked videos playlist. I liked, I've liked this stream. Thank you, Glaze. I appreciate that. I'm moving myself and haven't been commenting much. That's fair. Why do legends hate being shiny? Hey, li listen, it was a slow poke that took over 9,000. We are, we're not even close to that yet, so I can't complain. I would like to get like the the thing by by the next like hour and fifteen minutes. Like even if I get it um by like eight o'clock, which is like two hours and twelve minutes from now, I feel like four hours is more than enough to beat the rest of the game. Surely, right? Shiny hunting Arceus on BDSP right now, and it's so slow. Oof, I'm sorry, Robbie. Anytime I hear someone talking about the Darths, uh, I just think of that one Futurama video with a Dark Sploder, Darth Erderer, and Darth Ithead. That's funny. Uh, in two hours, I'll be in my bed sleeping, but are you going live tomorrow? If I don't finish the game, yes. Uh, I will probably just, like, postpone my day off because I'm like, I want to finish the goddamn game. But um, if I do finish gold today, I will not be streaming tomorrow. Yeah, that tracks. Aside from the red fight, it'll be smooth sailing. The red fight should be comically easy. He is pretty pretty easy, at least. I mean, his, his Pokemon are not that strong. Especially with, with the stat experience. Uh, the only thing is that the level cap for that is 75, uh, just because it's uh, it makes it a little harder. Another unplanned day of joining this stream. Hey, from Journey, uh, Germany, excuse me. Uh, hey, Lynn, how are you doing? Glad, uh, l glad you managed to pop in. Hey, Meatball, I love just being at work and just listening slash watching you shiny hunt. Hell yeah, Royal Flush. I hope you're enjoying it. And I hope it's uh, getting you through work without having, uh, without, uh, you know, giving you a little bit of a reprieve and making it maybe go by a little faster. Are the, uh, the odds are 1 in 8,192, Noxie. Is Shiny ho -Oh yellow in Gen 2? It's more of a gold. It looks cool. It's on the thumbnail, by the way, of, of this stream. Yeah. 
It def does, sir. Uh, that's great to hear, Royal Flush. Are we grabbing Shiny Lugia and Silver? I'm thinking about it. Probably. Maybe I, I might wait till Soul Silver. Depends on which game I want to make easier. Doing a gold and gears run on my Honkai Star Rail, and that requires a bit of my concentration. Hmm. A golden ho o -oh for gold? How fitting. I agree. I, I do want to see it, though. And a pink Lugia for silver. Uh, I think I will wait till uh, Soul Silver for it, but we'll see. Uh, are you going to shiny hunt for a shiny odd egg uh, in Crystal? Yes. Really hoping I can get uh, uh, Pichu out of it. Because I've already used Pikachu, but if I use Pichu and then I can like... Thunderstone it immediately into Raichu after evolving, I could, like, still use it to its fullest extent. Uh, will you shiny hunt Celebi and Crystal, or do you already have one? I don't have one. I think it would be fun to do, because I think that's the only game I could even remotely think about using it. And I can get it after the Elite Four, so it could be usable for Kanto, which would be fun. Grass Psychic is a good typing, and it's not like you get that anywhere else except for uh, Executor, right? But of course, that's only in the uh, the virtual console version, so I will have to use that, which will look a little bit different, but that's fine. I've used it before. It looks fine. It would be cool. I reset. Why did you try attacking? It would be cool if you shiny hunted any of the RSE legends in Oras because the primal forms and Megas look so sweet shiny. Um, maybe. Depends on what I want to do there. I loved Emerald as a kid because Rayquaza just shows up to tell the, the kids to shut up and goes back to bed. Uh, and then you have to go annoy. If you try to go wake it up again, it tries to attack you like a, like a goblin. I believe the Oros legends are shiny locked though, yeah. So... We will definitely be shiny hunting the uh, the legendaries in Gen 3 then, just in Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. Uh, un unfortunately, actually, it doesn't matter if I do Emerald because uh, Rayquaza is level 70, so I can't even do it. I can do the uh, the Regis. I think one of the Regis would be cool. What happened to my fucking music? Oh, right. It was the uh, the cutscene where you get the, uh, the Z Saber from Zero and that has no music. Oh, those are cool. Uh, okay. Back to gaming. Shiny honey, uh, uh, locking the legendaries are just no fun allowed, uh, allowed move. Agreed. Is this it? No. One Reggie per Hoenn game, maybe? That would be cool. Nah. Nope. Nope. Will you be shiny hunting Chikorita again for either Harkold Soul Silver for the opportunity for Meganium? Yeah, why not? I mean, I may as well. It'd be, I mean, sure, I, maybe it'd be a waste of time, but. Or. Or. I could. Breed the shiny Meganium that I have now, or shiny Bayleaf I have now, get another shiny Chikorita, bring it over, trade it over to Silver, breed it to make one that's under the same original trainer as Silver, and then when I can get Meganium, I use it there, 
and no, don't use the starters in silver and crystal, but then instead wait for Heart Cold Soul Silver to use them. But I don't know. There's a lot of uh, options I have, and that could be one that uh, we, we haven't explored before, waiting for the remakes to use the starters rather than using them in their first game that they are available. Two deaths, two deaths. Uh, no. I forget, but when you get to Unova, is it the Elite Four rematches that you consider the end or Getsis? Uh, usually people do Getsis, but, uh, you know, even uh, I think I've been guilty of it like once or twice. But uh, I do think that doing them with the Elite Four rematches is cool. Become shiny, please. Can I play the game? Can you be nice. Thank you, please. Please and thank you. I just want. I just want to finish the game today, please. I'm like, can, can, can I? Can I finish the game, please? <laughs> why? Why aren't you letting me finish the game today? I like. I, <laughs> Let me finish the goddamn game today, please, game. I forgore, but, uh, I forgore. Uh, but you're not able to save any of the starters and legends, are you? Uh, I can. If I decide to, like, forego a starter in one of the, uh, the other games, but... Uh, I probably won't, because I can just, you know... Do other Pokemon and legends. Uh, no. 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 Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, AJ, you might just have to wait until the video comes out to find out. Or chat will tell you. And chat told you. Okay. Can I please have... <laughs> Can I have it a shiny ho -oh boss? Can I have it a shiny ho -oh boss? Could I have it a shiny ho -oh, please? Look at all these chickens. My bad. I realized as I was sending it, it's okay. Game. 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 Come on, game. I know you want to give me the shiny. Come on. I know you're willing to give me a way to, you know, finish the game. I I want to finish the... What the... Why did I just double click that? I know you want to give me the ability to finish the game. Thank you. Come on. Come on. The game says that the odds of a shiny are 1 in 8,800. What? No, they're 8,192. Uh, but the game also says that Thunder is 70% accurate. Wouldn't trust it. That's true. Are you going to go for Shiny Lugia? Either in Silver or Soul Silver. Not which one yet, though. What's the highest streak you've had so far? I think 9,043 is the highest counted streak I've had. Uh, if I was counting every encounter while looking for shiny Zubat between when I got my shiny, my spare shiny Geodude and giving up, I feel like I would have been at well over 15,000, but I, I was only counting the, the shiny or the non-shiny uh, 
Subats, which didn't, you know. Uh, I got up to 8,192 on that one, and I was just like, okay, no more. I realize the legendary dogs are also not shiny locked in Gen 5. Pretty sure, or, you mean the legendary beasts. They're not dogs, they're beasts. Also, uh, where are they in Gen 5? Isn't that like an event thing with Zorua and Zoroark or something like that? I remember there being shiny ones. I remember going to GameStop and getting a shiny, uh, shiny Entei, Suicune, and Raikou in HGSS before Black and White came out. And uh, you would like transfer them in and they would get you like the TM for Snarl. Didn't Piss Rat take like 25k? Uh, I didn't, I didn't keep track, but maybe. Uh, no. No. No Pokemon is shiny locked in chill until Gen 5. Correct. That's the one thing that Gen 5 did wrong. Shiny locking. And the only ones that they shiny locked, I believe, are Reshiram, Zekrom, Kyurem, and Victini. If they didn't do Victini, I would totally do the, um, the Liberty Island bit. I wish I could, because I would love to use a shiny Victini. Especially with how early it is available in the game. Like, that'd be so cool. Shiny Raikou was so good, it had Weather Ball goes crazy in rain. That's true, it does. But Cabalion, uh, Verizion, and Terrakion are not uh, Shiny Lock. That's good. That's at least a legendary each for, like, three of the four. Um, can you get Keldeo pre-Elite 4 in any of those games? If so... I will trade over uh, the three, or whatever. I don't. I don't remember how to get Keldeo in those games. What color is Shiny Ho? -Oh? It is on the thumbnail. It is very different though, so it's like I am not gonna m miss it. So legendaries are open this season. If I'm if I'm willing to shiny hunt it, absolutely. I figured you know, if I'm willing to put myself through another shiny hunt, I deserve to be able to use a uh, a powerful Pokemon as, such as uh, a legendary. It is gold. Yes, it is gold. I don't think they locked Kyurem. Did they not? Shit. And again, uh, Kyurem's never available until post-game anyway, so... Keldeo is event only in Gen 5? Oh, okay. That makes sense. Oh, the main body is gold. Yes. So it's only Reshiram, Zekrom, and uh, Victini. Which sucks, because Victini would be, would be a really fun one. I would love to do the Liberty Garden or Liberty Island, or whatever, uh, bit of the story, because I did that event when it came out, I did the, I did the, uh, the Victini thing, and I used it on, on my first English team of, uh, of Pokemon White, and that was so fun, it's actually kind of nostalgic thinking about it, and I feel like people forget that Victini is a Pokemon, just because, like, it's such a rarely used, like, thing for distributions, I, I don't, it's usually, it, it is the mythical of Gen, oh, is it even the mythical of Gen 5? I feel like it's Meloetta. Like, what is Victini? It's just kind of an, an enigma. It's just there. It's just supposed to be like, it's like a secret rare Pokemon, because it's considered 0, 0, 0, and, um, I reset the game, thank you. Uh, like, it's, uh, 0, 0, 0 in the, uh, the Univodex. God, I love Victini. I'm so upset we never got a shiny. Exactly. Like, yes, there were uh, shiny dog events in Gen Five. Uh, to unlock Zoroark, you have to take one in party and a woman that lives alone. Uh, I think it was in the Lost Lorn Forest. Uh, talk to her. She would give. Uh, she would turn your legendary. Sh uh, she would turn into your legendary, showing it was Zoroark. Yeah, and then you would. Uh, I remember getting Snarl from that. How's the overcooked chicken going? Taking a while, but we're getting there. Uh, wasn't it like an anniversary Pokemon? No, well, I thought it was supposed to be like a... Uh, is it not base 100 all around? I don't remember what its stats are.
So we have officially done over 5,000 encounters today, and we have not found the um, the shiny ho -Oh. So that means we can get up to 10,000 today, because we started at 821. I think they gave it the number 000, because it's considered the victory Pokemon. And usually when you're victorious, uh, you come before everyone else. It's something about Japan and luck stuff. That makes sense. She would turn into your dog legendary, uh, and it had a chance to appear shiny, but Zoroark itself was shiny locked, I think. Oh. Like the illusion could be shiny. Gotcha. We demand a piss bat hunt. It's not piss bat, Fowler. No. I still think uh, pickle bat was funny. Predicting shiny at 7430. You know what? If I have to go that deep... I will go that deep. As long as it's before 8,192. As long as I don't go over odds and I don't get unlucky, I'm happy. Yeah, Victini is shiny locked. That's why I was sad I couldn't. Uh, I wouldn't be able to use that one, even though it'd be pretty cool. I would laugh if we get it at 6,900. I would too. That would be funny. Uh, do, do, do. Why not go over 9,000? Because I don't want it over 9,000. I want it over... I mean, I want it under 8,192, which is odds. 8,008 would be funny. That's true. I wish Zarud could learn Sandstorm. Very funny. You already, uh, you got unlucky already. How can it be now? Well, considering both the last eggs that I got were like in the 80s and 70s, respectively, I went hella under odds with those. I also got like the shiny Geodude and the shiny Unknown in the same stream, full odds. I feel like we, uh, we're, we're, we're due a little bit of bad luck from the game, you know? Sure, uh, I guess Slowpoke went a little over odds, but not that much. So if it's like maybe 9,000 or less, I'd be fine. But I still do want to try to finish the game today. Are shiny odds boosted? No, they are still... Uh, They're still vanilla shiny odds. This is a completely vanilla uh, version of the game. The only difference is that it's uh, on speed up. You didn't use Slowbro yet. I didn't use Slowpoke yet either. So, so 10k? What do you mean 10k? Well, I mean that's that's how much we can get up to with before the end of the stream probably. But I I don't want to have to stream a tenth session of this. I would like to finish today. Rattata is far superior than Raticate. That I would have to agree with. I'm probably going to use the restroom and take a quick break at 5,900. Unless I'm feeling, you know, a little crazy. Actually, I think I want to do it at a, an even 6,000. Let's do it at an even 6,000. So, folks, if you want to get up and use the restroom, you want to get up to uh, get a nice little snack, uh, we're going to do so in less than 100 encounters, and then we'll come back and hopefully finish off this, uh, this hunt if we don't get it in the next 100 of encounters, of course. So, ho -Oh is the last member. Uh, that is true. So, ho -Oh will be the last member. I honestly don't know if the Arceus event Pokemon uh, are shiny locked or not, uh, TBH. Um, but once against sh uh, shiny Arceus for the Ruins of Alpha event, it's kind of big. I don't, I don't know. I've never done that event. Are you only... No, I'm going to red. Uh, no. Nope. Uh, I don't know why I clicked it. There we go. Does anyone know the fact that ho appears at the start of the anime indicate that it was supposed to be in Gen 1? There was a ton of uh, Pokemon that were supposed to be in Gen 1 that got cut. 
I mean, Lugia was only supposed to be, was only made for uh, Pokemon the Movie 2000 originally, but then they ended up using it as the uh, the mascot of Pokemon Silver. There was a lot of stuff that uh, you know, got left on the cutting room floor that ended up being moved to the sequel. There's a it's it's crazy. I wish uh, like I don't know how much more stuff was in like the Giga Leak that just never made pu made it public from 2020. But I would love to see more of those documents and more of those like behind the scenes uh, of, you know, the development of the original Pokemon and Pokemon Gold and Silver. Like how much of that stuff is still around and how much of that was archived in that, uh, you know, in that entire, you know, archived Giga League. I think it was like two terabytes of, st of stuff was taken, but only a, like a few hundred or it wasn't even a few gigabytes. I think it was like three gigabytes of shit was leaked like the rest of it was never leaked and i don't know when it will ever come out but i would um i would love to see it i hope we get a playable rom of night no we elisa we did we did get a we got that in like 2021 we got the uh, the 1997 space world demo it was crazy i i still can't believe that shit came out because i knew about that as a kid and like the fact that it did eventually like release uh, uh albeit like you know unofficially like it just goes to show that I think fans care about this shit more than they think they understand. Like, they, like, more than they think. They think that, uh, you know, uh, consumers are stupid. Like, the, there are people with this hobby that really care about the history and the preservation of this shit. And that's why I think they, uh, they deserve to be respected and they deserve to be uh, rewarded for that appreciation. That's why I think that Atari 50th Anniversary Anthology collection that they did, like, it's both a mix of a documentary and a, a video game library, like, uh, as, like, a retro collection. I would love to see that of, like, old Nintendo games that just have, like, documentary shit put together. Because it's gonna be a shame if that kind of thing doesn't exist before the likes of, you know, Miyamoto, Koji Kondo, like, all uh, these old names that Nintendo are dead. Because they're already in their 60s. They're going to get close. I mean, hell, K Kira Toriyama just passed away. They're, you know. No, that was the 1997 one. I want the 1998 one, which is more like the GSC we got. It has an RBY-style Kanto. Okay. Rumors spoke in the old times that Gold and Silver were originally going to be the final games. Commercial success proved otherwise. That is true. You know what's funny about Incineroar? Every 2v2 player hates him for uh, for his dirty play style being so good at making Incineroar an excellent heal in wrestling. Exactly. It's like they it's like they drew it up. It's exactly how they drew it up. Either that or it's completely unintentional and very funny. Yeah, I think it was the uh, the director at the time was done. Uh, who was the director at the time? It was um. It was Satoshi Tajiri, correct? They aren't man uh, mangakas. They'll live a full life. Not with the crunch, man. They they put themselves through hell to do these games. Have you, like, did you hear, uh, have you heard the stories that Masahiro Sakurai has talked about, about his crunch? Like, they, they put strain on their bodies. They are probably very much decreasing their lifespan. Is this going to be the last hunt before finishing the game? Correct, Louise. Uh, or Lewis, I don't know how to pronounce it. Luis, something like that. I tried my best. The weekly manga market is pure terror. I can imagine. You got it? Which one? I don't, I don't remember. Lewis, Luis, something like that. Second one or first one? I don't know. Even after Dragon Ball, uh, Aki uh, Toriyama kept working from time to time, skipping sleep hours, exercise, and good health care. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Sometimes you do just do that to yourself. Second one? Okay. I'm glad I get to catch a CM stream. Welcome, Geskel. How are you doing? 
He works by himself because he doesn't trust anyone with Kirby or Smash, and I'm thankful for that. Yeah, it's, it's wise. But he knows what he's doing, and that's why Nintendo keeps bringing him back. I don't know if they'll ever make a Smash 6, but um, I don't... I really hope they don't. I just want them to continuously port uh, Ultimate over and over again. And if they keep doing that, just, like, add new shit. Just keep adding new shit to it. Like, keep porting it and adding new shit to it. New characters, new modes. Just keep adding new shit. How'd you enjoy Mania? Happy with Cody beating Roman? Absolutely. Thank the fucking lord. All right, folks. I am going to be taking a break right here at 6,000 Encounters. I'm going to be using the restroom, grabbing a drink, doing, uh, you know, just uh, taking taking a minute to stretch. So I would highly advise you do the same, and we are going to take a break. But don't go anywhere. We're going to try our best to find this hobo today. So I will be back shortly.
All right. YouTube crashed. Did it while I was gone? Whoopsie. All right, folks. Let us get back to it. Mine didn't? Well. Okay, the controller is not working again. Hold on. Okay. There we go. Game working again. I firmly will, uh, believe we will get it below odds. Hopefully. Open this o over. There we go. Good luck. Thank you, Butterfree. This was before you left? Oh. Huh. Well, welcome back nonetheless, Lucas. Oh, please give us, uh, please game, give us the funsies for a, uh, for a future video. I agree. Please do. Um, yes, Lucas, but, you know, Nintendo Ninjas. Also, we are three likes away from 600, by the way. That's awesome. Can we get to 1,000 today? Folks, if you have not hit that like button, please do. Uh, just go ahead, you know, scroll down, tab over. Uh, if you're unable to uh, pitch into the timer, then this is the best way to help out the stream. Very much real uh, uh, GBA, exactly. I can't believe the ninjas keep taking down more games than emulators. Uh, I'm getting terrified that Poke Community and BizHawk are going to get the chop. Uh, well, considering what happened to Relic Castle, I uh, wouldn't put it past them. I don't know how to like with the new interface. There should be a thumbs up somewhere. I, I don't. I don't know what what the new interface is. I still have the old interface, so I don't know how to help. <laughs> Just look around, I guess, you know. Nobody told me what the uh, what hell the Goldenrod Game Corner was. Well, what do you mean? Is it bad I have the Empire March Darth Vader song for my mother-in-law's ringtone? Damn. That's that's both funny and also oof. I mean, it's possible to take down emulation. Countless backup. Yeah, it's impossible to take down emulation. Countless backups of emulators, ROMs, etc. Plus, who tho those who know how to make their own. Yeah, exactly. I put the stream on 2x speed so you can soft reset twice as fast. You're welcome. Thank you, Chimera Tech. I guess slots in general, uh, but it's taking ages to make any coins. Yeah, I feel that. I, I, I haven't played the Pokemon games since Gen 4, but these videos inspired me to play again. Would you say Legends Arceus is a good game to return to Pokemon for someone who stepped uh, who stopped at Gen 4? The fact that you stopped at Gen 4 would actually make the Gen 4 remakes probably the best place to step back in, just because there's no Pokemon beyond Gen 4, but it also has like the modern uh, mechanics and stuff, so you don't have to worry about like jumping into anything that you're not used to. Uh, Legends Arceus is a wide departure from what normal Pokemon is, but it is a fun game on its own. If you're used to, like, collect-a-thons and you like action, uh, action games to be able to, like, dodge stuff, it's, like, the lightest Soulsborne game in terms of, like, the, how the Pokemon are and you could, like, dodge roll and shit. It's cool. You can't look, uh, you can't look at the description, sub, or like with the chat open on the inter new interface. Oh, uh, 
I didn't realize you were using mobile. Uh, yeah, if you have chat open on mobile, then uh, then no, you can't do any of that stuff. Uh, you haven't been able to do that stuff in a while with uh, with chat open. I don't remember there ever being an, uh, a thing for that. I'm surprised how many people are actually on mobile watching uh, watching these streams. I'm <laughs> I'm always baffled. I'm like, huh? You're not on a computer? All right, I guess. I mean, if it works for you, it works for you. You know what isn't helping uh, the ninjas situation? These greedy people for views doing unboxing vids uh, of when people put hacks onto real carts. The, the putting hacks onto real carts, uh, I think, is just cool. I think that like just being able to put that on a shelf and display it, like that, that's cool as shit. Yeah, of course, people shouldn't be selling them for for absolute sure. They should not be selling them, but um, it's never the creators of the the ROM hacks that are selling them. So, I don't know. Uh, I'm on mobile painting Warhammer models while watching. Well, you know, uh, to each their own. I'm always, I'm just always a PC guy, so. I only watch YouTube on mobile in my Xbox. Oh, jeez. Computers are for people with a lot of money. Uh, there, there's budget PCs out there. I don't know. I, maybe... I've just always had a PC since I was, like, a kid, and even my family was poor, and we had, like, we might have had a bum one, but it worked. I don't know. I'm on mobile while hunting Shiny Beldum. Ooh. I hope you get it. It's a nice one. It's cool, but showing it off uh, on YouTube is not helping. Uh, it's putting the hacks at risk as well, uh, as much as the pirators do by selling them. The pirators don't care because they, they're going to make their money. And they're pretty anonymous. They're pretty easy to slip away. But, you know. The risk of them selling them is non-zero. But, like, I don't know. They won't care unless they get hit. I even do college work on my mobile. Jeez. I have a ton on computers I could watch on, but mobile at work and 75-inch TV at home, that's fair. I think I played Assassin's Creed Unity for four hours and still got the stream on. Having laptop plus used monitor is the key. Yeah, that mean that I I also have a mon uh, I have a, uh, a laptop that I bring with me for work, uh, and I'll just transfer stuff back and forth between my laptop and desktop. But my desktop, I, I have two monitors. I'm thinking of bumping it up to three at some point, but I feel like I need a bigger desk if I'm going to do that. YouTube on the Wii U was so nice. Honestly, being able to watch it on the tablet or the TV was pretty sick. I'm watching on mobile while trying to sleep, using you as white noise. Oh, well, uh, if you're chatting, then you're not falling asleep. Go, go, go back to wet, bed, watch tech. Free badge five done, 254 mons deep. What game are you doing, uh, Demo? On a business trip the last two days, what did I miss? Who else died? Uh, well, the first of the last two streams, did you didn't miss anything because uh, we we began shiny hunting for Slowpoke and we ended shiny hunting for Slowpoke. The last stream was the one where like everything fucking happened. Wouldn't a beat meatball be brown noise? Uh oh. Oh yeah, shiny Gen three co-op. Gotcha. I knew you were talking about that, but I forgot which one it was exactly. Uh, if it has tomato sauce, it would be red noise. Oof. I just found a shiny Zubat in gold while looking for Dunsparce. Well, look who took all my luck. Folks. If we had that luck, I probably wouldn't have lost uh, Bayleaf. Gonna have to rebeat Sapphire just to get Beldum and hunt it. Oof. Dang it, now I want a Subway Meatball sub. Is there any movie or TV show that came out, recently came out that you enjoyed? Nah. I don't watch movies or TV, really. I watch YouTube. I watch pro wrestling. And I'm pretty satisfied with And I also play video games, of course. So I'm pretty satisfied with that.
You're on my phone while I clean my pew pews. Ah, the pew pews. And everybody's asking what Golem did. Guys, don't you want to wait for the final video to be able to figure out what happened and not get spoiled? Folks, there's going to be a video. It's not just streams. Golem went to Brazil. <laughs> exactly. You <laughs> POV, you're going to Brazil. Gets hit by solar beam. I like pasta. I do too. I can't eat it right now, but I do like it. A video break yeah, like all of my other videos. I just This is the part that you don't normally see because I'm doing it offline. I'm just doing the part that I usually do offline, online right now. Doesn't mean it's not going into a video. That could take forever. This is the last Pokemon I'm looking for before we finish the rest of the game. It'll probably, if I can get this finished today, I'll probably have it up this weekend. So it's not, it's not going to be that big of a deal. God, I love Hard Man's theme for Mega Man 3. It's so good. I fell asleep at 4 p.m. and woke up with seeing no yellow bird. No yellow bird yet. I'm happy with that. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm uploading these games individually, by the way, uh, because I realized that p doing the compilation thing for uh, for the shiny runs is just not going to work. I'm not going to be up able to upload enough. Yeah, yeah, it's Heron. We kind of came to that decision uh, midway through gold because of how long it took. And I, I honestly, I probably should have seen that coming with red. Like, just just doing red uh, by itself, red, blue, yellow, like all of them in one video. I was it, Because it took me a full month and, a, 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 like, the full, full month. Like, I, I was barely taking any time off to finish that one. Yeah, every week or two is most possible. Exactly, Demo. Shout out to Meatball for being a cool streaming dude. Thank you, Tay, man. I appreciate that. Are you going to do a cover shiny in each game? Uh, probably not all of them, but I definitely think I want to do uh, a couple of them. I think it's cool. I think it's fun. You know, if I have the patience to hunt down the shiny legendaries, then why not? Let's go and onwards, uh, maybe a uh, two games in one vid uh, is possible. Uh, maybe let's go, yeah. But we'll see. I think it's cool if I do them at one at a time. I think it just gives m people more content and it's not like as exhausting doing three games at once. Do the legendaries have different shiny rates? Nope, still 1 in 8,192. Imagine at the end of the series he did a history of shiny hunting or something like that. That would be intriguing, actually. I don't think anybody's actually done a video like that. Shit, that's a really good idea. I will steal that and put that into my mind palace, easy cyberpup. Thank you. Er... No, that wasn't Easy Cyberpup. That was Tay Man. I was looking at the wrong name. Either that or YouTube glitched. Because I thought I saw your name next to it. Uh, no, I'm probably just stupid. It's okay. I like being dumb. Occasionally. I personally enjoy the longer vids. Put them on and get stuff done. Well, I mean, you at least get more frequent videos from me. It's still the same amount of content. It's just, you know, you don't have to wait as long in between each bit. What if it was a best shiny reactions type video? Nah, that would be boring. And plus, I'd just be stealing other people's content. Likes Colin Farrell, I have stage voice. Meat can vouch, I go from well-pronounced to dribble. That is very true.
No, I mean from you. My reactions are not nearly as boisterous as other people's because I think mine are more realistic. Like I, I'm not, I'm not popping off as much because it's not like I want exactly the shinies of them all. I want to be able to do the challenge. So I think I'm gonna pop. I pop off more at like the fights and like ideas at that. The the shinies are more just relief of oh thank God I can go on, you know. Now demand be credited for the for the idea. Uh, I don't actually demand anything. I just enjoy being funny. Fair enough. Yeah, the slowpoke one was just fucking finally. Your reaction to getting Slowpoke was peak? I would have to agree. Now, folks, I see we're getting a little closer to getting uh, below 64 hours right now. We um, we started uh, at about 64.10, I think, today. I'm hoping to go positive on the timer by the end of the stream. Uh, and preferably, I'd like to get the timer up to 66 hours by the end. So if you have the ability to th pitch in a little bit to the timer, uh, even if you think it's just a little bit, you know, it adds up. You can do so through Super Chats. Every dollar that you Super Chat is going to add a minute to the timer. Every membership is going to add five dollars or five minutes to the timer. They are five bucks, but, you know, it's the same one minute equals uh, one dollar thing. But um, you can get one for yourself. You can gift some to viewers that may not be able to, you know, get one for themselves because they're, uh, they're just not able to, you know. Some people are just not, uh, you know, in a position to be able to do that, and that's totally fine. I appreciate all of you guys for being here nonetheless. And then uh, the last way you can do so is by doing so through uh, exclamation point gamer subs. You can get 10% off your order over there. And if you get any of the food or drink items as well as like cups, you get 10% uh, off. Not to mention every dollar that you spend over there, you can get a, uh, you add a minute to the timer for each dollar you spend. Holy guacamole. Swervel, thank you for the one gifty. And then duck at the same time, gifting 10 gifties. Hot damn. Guys are great. Thank you so much. Adding 55 minutes to the timer. And if you didn't get a di uh, didn't blick, didn't get one, type dodged in chat. It's as simple as that. A full history recap of shiny hunting is possible to have, but to have one-to-one -one contact with those people just isn't possible now. Darkrai, uh, Darkrai as I will call him, is just busy as a dad. Like, Supreme Arcanines knows them personally too and no joy from them asking. Hmm, that's unfortunate. We could always just try to, like, get interviews and stuff, but, uh, you know, if it doesn't work, we, we could just mention, oh, we tried to get an interview and then, uh, you know, they're just busy, you know. Some people, like, this was, what, 10, 15 years ago, maybe some of these people were doing it, so. Yo, easy cyber pup as well. Thank you for the gifty. Folks, we're back over 65. Can we get over to 66? Hell, you know what would be funny? Can we hit the funny number? Can we hit 69? <laughs> Yo, eat her with, just eat with cake as well with the gifty. Thank you. I very much appreciate that as well. All right. Gaming time. Why am I dropping frames? Thank you. Never noticed Fortress has deep black eyes. Me neither. Oh, come on, Internet. What are you doing? Go back to normal. There we go. Sometimes the Internet around here likes to be a little poopy. But, uh... I think that's the most frames I've dropped in a... In a single stream so far over this entire series. Can, I, can we stop? Can we stop dipping? Like, it's it's dipping at, like, intervals. Why are you dipping at intervals? Is the, uh... Is the ISP being like, you're using too much. Quit using too much. 
I'm like, no, I'm a streamer. I pay for this shit. No, go back to normal. Stop dropping frames. Stop dropping frames. Why are you at red? Why are you at yellow? Uh, yeah, go back to green. Good, good. No, don't go back to red, damn it. What are you doing? The rest of my internet's working fine. Why am I getting throttled? Why am I getting throttled? Stop throttling me. The rest of my internet's working fine, you fucks. God, I hate ISPs. They always do this shit. It's like, oh boy, time to throttle. All right, we're, it seems like we're okay. Just uh, stay, stay steady and we should be fine. What ISP do you have? Spectrum. It's the only one that, uh, there's only two out here. And um, yeah, so the, the other one I tried and the internet did not work. It was like, what, what was it? It was like DSL or something like that. It's Nintendo wanting their cut. True. Uh, my internet provider, Comcast, throttles their internet even though I have to pay for over gig speed internet. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I pay like $130 a month. I always have to complain to them. Um, yeah, I've never complained to them personally, but hopefully they, uh, you know, hopefully they don't do that. Do they have somebody that, like, purposely throttles people? Like, it's just, just a thing? Why did I double click that? Uh, ha do, have you tried or do you pl plan to try Crystal Legacy? I would like to try it at some point, yeah. Bro, welcome to Ireland. I pay for like 500 gigabits per second. I get like 30 if I'm lucky. Yeah, it's the same for me. Like I pay for a gigabit a second and I get like, God, I don't know. Maybe like 20% of that. Not even. You ever think, Meatball, that your ISP is watching the stream? If they are and they, I don't know. I don't know why they would want to throttle me. If you are, you're messing with my ability to make content, folks. Please don't do that. I would appreciate if you don't do that. Thank you. Must try and sleep. Best of luck. Thank you. I wish I was drunk. I wish I was drunk. That's very funny. I had somebody, uh, I had one of my uh, Yu-Gi-Oh friends in here. I wish I was dead earlier. So I was like, oh, is that, I, uh, is that an alt? <laughs> Just steal your neighbor's internet. It's way worse than mine, and it's not close enough for me to pick up. It really isn't. I only have one uh, internet connection that I can connect to, and it's my own, because that's how spread out the, the places are around here. I think Patrick Smith's Yellow Legacy hack comes out in a few days. Why are you calling him Patrick Smith? He has a username, right? <laughs> that's weird. I wouldn't want somebody calling me by my first and last name and saying that's my hack. Like, just, just use the username. How are you? I'm doing all right, Exit. How are you doing? Wow, already at Hello? I feel like I miss so much when I have to work. Uh, it was mostly just last stream. Last stream, we kind of just, like, you know, we kind of got, we, just things started happening. I did the Crystal Legacy POC and get a Tyranitar. But getting a Tyranitar before the first gym is rough. I could imagine. Well, hatching started happening, but we also got the Slowpoke. Yeah, so. How do I know if my Wi-Fi is good? I did a Wi-Fi speed test. Can I post it in your Discord and ask if it's good? Um, I, I guess, as long as it doesn't have any, like, personal info on it. If it doesn't, then that's fine. Yeah, you could just say the results, yeah.
That, uh, it's easier than me having to pull something up while I'm shiny hunting if you just put it in chat, like the like the written results. Honestly, I'm here for the Mega Man music, occasionally interspersed by something shiny. Hell yeah, Tuvia. I feel that. The Mega Man music keeps me keeps me pumped and ra raring to go, you know. I think I say it like that because two words is shorter than three. I don't even remember what his username is, so I don't know. He's very well known. I didn't know that it that it was his, his na first name was even Patrick. I'm just here because a meatball. Thanks, Cyberpup. That is that is very ego stro stroking of you. I very much appreciate that. Oh, Smith plays Pokemon. Oh, that's you know what? That makes sense. That makes sense. Now that makes a lot more sense. Uh, any particular playlist you pull from these, or you just collect your own? I just have a uh, various things that I know are stream uh, like stream safe, and I like. So even though it might be a little samey, I think it's just fine. His username is Smith Plays Pokemon. Again, I know his name because my cousin's friends with Pat. Oh, okay, that, that me yeah, I guess that makes sense. Not ego stroking, just if you weren't streaming, I wouldn't be watching the stream. That's true. But at the same time, it does stroke my ego, so you know. People telling me that they're here to wa watch me do dumb shit. It's always a, a always a nice little nice little pat on the back. <laughs> I'm here because I like Pokemon series and you're uh, uh, you're doing and I don't want to go insane by staying home alone. Hey, that I feel that Arcea. I just failed a shiny Voltorb uh, yesterday. How's your day going? Uh, it's going. We haven't moved from this spot today, but you know. I'm more so asking if you can draw a point to any online playlist I can use on long drives. Um, well, usually I'm listening to either Atm Acoustics, which is all the acoustic music, and or I'm listening to uh, Met on YouTube. He does Mega Man guitar playthroughs. He specifically lists them as guitar playthroughs. I don't think very many other people do it like that, so I think it's pretty easy to find him. 604.4 download, 5, 535 upload. God, I'm jealous. That's great. Have you ever tried making a hack or considered making one before? Nah, not really. I mean, uh, I, okay, so I have commissioned somebody to do so. I, I commissioned somebody to uh, make the, the Pokemon Emerald backwards. Uh, the, that, that hack that's on my, on my channel. In fact, uh, Captain Kid did a video on it as well. Um... Uh, because he, uh, I was like, yo, do you want to do a video on this? I sent it over to him. I sent over the patch, and he's like, oh, shit, this is cool. This is cool as fuck. I'm like, I know, right? <laughs> so I was just like, yeah, I, I had this idea, and I thought it would be cool. So YT threw in an ad the moment you said Met. Might be all down to the Mets. but oh, uh, uh, So he just does Mega Man guitar playthroughs and a couple of guitar playthroughs of other other video games, but usually you're going to easily find them with Met Mega Man Guitar Playthrough on YouTube. We've got a lot of them. Top favorite non-game musics. I don't know. I don't listen to it. <laughs> I mean, I listened to a lot of Metallica when I was younger, but like... Ever since then, I started listening to Metallica reworks. People that do Metallica songs in the style of other Meta of other Metallica albums, and it's uh it's pretty good. There's a like there's a guy named State of Mercury that did um that does like a crap ton of the Metallica reworks. He did like what if Ender Sandman was on Injustice for All and basically fixed every problem with the song, aka that it kind of sucked because it was on the Black album. You know, if you just put every uh, every Metallica song in the style of Injustice for All, uh, it fixes them all. I guess that's that's like the best album ever made. It's 
Top non game music is game music, true. Uh, no. Well, gotta go do some uh, businessy things. Good luck with the golden bird. Thank you, Cyberpup. Take care, and I hope that doesn't take too long for you. If I would recommend something, I would recommend Tenacious D. I mean, I like Jack Black. I don't know. I just have my preferences, and I just, uh... I don't know. I, I don't really have any uh, motivation to move outside of those preferences. The only things I really do do that with are, like, video games and shit. I know what I like, and I, uh... And, yeah. So... Have you heard the uh, Nevermind Nirvana album, but it's in the style of Mario 64? I've seen it recommended. I've never listened to Nirvana before, but, like, I know it's popular. But I am I am mostly, like, a video game guy, so I listen to video game music. That's just That's just the way it rolls. It's so funny as Mario 64 would recommend. Amazing. I understand you also love game music. I, I understand you. I also love game music. Oh, I got you too, yeah. I met Mr. Jack Black. He's an awesome guy. Ooh, that's very cool. He seems kind of dope. Do you like D-Make remixes? I love when people D-Make more modern Pokemon game uh, game music into the GBC sound chip. Occasionally, it sounds kind of cool. I do like uh, hearing like the the other the like the other universe that got like a different game like the the game on a different piece of hardware. Like I always think of it like that. It's it's always neat to hear occasionally, but it's not something that I'll like listen to on the regular. It's just more of a curiosity thing. ACDC is great. I am I am not an ACDC guy. I just I the voice is too goddamn whiny. And folks, we have just passed the seven hour mark on the stream. Um Again, my goal today is to get the timer up to sixty six hours by the end of the stream. I'm gonna be streaming for another four hours, fifty five minutes, or until the game is over. But I have a feeling that ho is going to be blocking me off for a little while. So if uh, if you plan on helping out with the timer, feel free to do so. You can do so with the uh, with memberships. Every one of those adds five minutes to the timer, whether you get one for yourself or for other viewers. Super Chats, for every dollar you give in those, it adds another minute to the timer. And of course, exclamation point gamer subs using my link and using my code chaotic meat, getting 10% off and every dollar that you spend on any of the food, drinks, or cups you can get an additional minute on the timer for every dollar that you spend. And for any of you guys who are unable to do that stuff, just make sure you like the video. Make sure you like the stream, rather. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel as well. It all helps out. Uh, we have been losing a lot of subscribers lately for some reason. I think it's either A, YouTube purging, or B, people getting angry at the uh, notifications for streams, thinking they're videos and they're like why is he streaming and um uh, you know uh, annoyed pokemon fans don't be annoyed at something that's different challenge impossible but what can you do do gamer subs have a military discount i don't know i don't i don't think they do they i mean but that would be cool but hey at least you got the 10 percent off with my code and if you use my code i get i get credit for it which is cool At the very least, we're still above 200k. Oh, we're we're teetering. We're we're like, we're we're like close to like dropping below 201 because it keeps happening. Like we go up a little bit and then we go down more than we go up, and it's been it's been a little frustrating. I don't know why it keeps happening. Meatball, what are your thoughts on the Megas? They were like the first um, like a video game cover band I actually ever heard. Back in like 2008, 2009, uh, I I got their stuff on like my old iPod. Uh, I had like an uh, I had like a 
an iPod Touch when I was a kid, which, by the way, my, my grandmother bought for me. But my parents immediately were like, uh, no, he can't have something that has internet access on it like that. And I was just like, I don't know. Uh, so it was, it, it was dumb, but it was, uh, uh, that was some of the music that I had on there was the Megas and I had like Crush 40. Basically a lot of, a lot of video game music as it were, you know, I was, uh, uh, been listening to the same shit for 20 years. When do you think Pokemon fell off? Gen 6. And it's not even that it fell off that much, it's just the quality of what I was looking for in Pokemon decreased. But it seems to still be doing well, so hey, can't knock them too much. Just saying, Nappy has the same 5k people viewing his shit for 10 plus years. Pokemon fans are stubborn, no offense to chat, but we are. Yeah, I don't know. But, oh, God, imagine staying with him. Sorry. I used to watch him too. As soon as that stuff happened, gone. Pokemon will always be popular, oh for sure. Who's Nappy? Don't worry about it. You don't need to know. If you don't know, you're lucky. I watched him pre-gen 6, but yeah, po YouTube Pokemon is like that. What can you do? Oh, come on. Are you trying to throttle me again? I'm paying attention, damn it, Spectrum. Give me back my internet. I pay for that shit. Quit it. Quit it. Go back up. Fuckers. Stop. They stopped for a bit until I was comfortable, and then they started doing it again. What are you doing? Go back to normal. Quit it. Why are you going back and forth? They're just like, we're warning you. Stop streaming. No, I need to stream, damn it. I'm doing work. Do you understand that this is not a hobby? This is my... This is the way I, I put my food on my table. So quit doing it. I just said quit doing it. I thought the stream was lagging for me, but I'm at least glad to know it isn't me. Nope, it's my it's my ISP throttling my asshole. You know? I drop them and they're like a whiny, needy X. I don't have any other options. Uh, is Ho the only hunt today? Uh, yes. Can you stop? Can you can you just go back to normal? Go back to normal. Go. I, They're doing it to make me mad. They're doing it to make me mad. Okay, good. Green. As long as it's green, we don't have a problem. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna give them a fucking call tomorrow. If they keep doing this shit. Yeah, I don't have access to Verizon out here, Limu. I wish I did. Putting it on 144p, that doesn't do it anything to EO. It's it's my ISP. Just as long as you stay stable, we will be a happy gamer. Okay. Seems like we're all right. But the fact that it says we've dropped for, uh, frames from 0.3% of the stream is like that's that's quite a bit like it's not that much but like out of seven hours that's a lot <laughs> do you want me to call them for you i can go into drill instructor mood mood for them that would be funny cox fiber has the best internet god i would i would kill to have fiber but uh they you know the, the area that I'm in, I feel like, is, you know, I hate to say too poor, but probably that, they th that like, making that investment for them wouldn't make sense. I don't know. The internet usually works as, as fine as I can ask for. You should restart the stream in case you bag the... Uh, yeah, uh, no, the 
I'm recording it locally. It's completely fine. I almost got an aneurysm today. How, how did that happen? Holy shit. Seriously? Or, like, what happened? How do you almost get an aneurysm? Is it just, like, the aneurysm is edging? Uh, what's your favorite movie? I don't really think I have one. I don't think I've consumed enough movies to be able to say. I've just never been too interested. Jesus, how much space does a 12-hour stream take up to record locally? Like, I think 20 or 25 gigabytes, somewhere around there. It's not terrible. We're still doing this? Why not just keep cheat code a shiny ho -Oh in? Serious? No. How many times do I have to say? We're doing this full odds for a reason. Oh, I get it. Most of his Pokemon are gold for Pokemon gold. True! Is this the last Pokemon you need for this playthrough? Yes. I'm a big World War movie guy. I love history. I like history of uh, you know, video game development, video games, professional wrestling, um... I don't know. I, I know what I like. I like those two things. I like video games. I like pro wrestling. And that's what I, uh, that's what I involve myself in. Uh, no. You're making up your own rules. Just add that rule. Can you stop being a dick? Thanks. I've noticed you've been kind of snippy. You're going to continue being snippy, and I'll be snippy to your privileges of being here and ban you. What are your thoughts on the return of The Rock? Well, considering he's gone again, you know. Sag, but oh, well, the work that he did for a little while was really good. I enjoyed it a lot. I just have an awful memory, uh, or so I don't know what most of my favorite pieces of media are. So at least I get to experience them fresh each time. I really need to make a list of what I like. That's fair. Uh, reset. Does that mean you would focus on silvery shiny Pokemon for silver? No, it's just a it's just a fluke. Mods, send uh, <laughs> mods chop his balls off. Did you save America yet? We're getting there. Yeah, cheating in uh, the shiny is like teleporting you to the end of the game in a speed run. But yes, uh, I wish I was dead. We are trying to save America, and this uh, this hoo -oh is needed. We haven't gotten it yet. How are you doing though? We're getting close to 69, 69. That's true. We went over the 6,500, which kind of blows, but you know, we're getting there. Started up off with a Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate on 3DS. That's kind of sick. Nope. Question about how stat EXP works. Can you max out the EXP in every single stat? Yes. 65,535 points in each stat. Um, I don't remember if it's 2560 or 2580 points that uh, provides one single stat uh, point in each, you know, um, in each stat. It's It's weird. If you like interesting war movies, check out God of War. Lord of War. I was a... <laughs> I play video games. I'm doing good. I got the Elestrals Influencer Box today. Looking forward to making content out of that. Sick. I got mine, and I ended up pulling a, a full art Demeter, which, 
to my knowledge, I didn't know. I knew it was good in the Earth Beat deck, and I was like, oh, I have a third copy. I only got two in my starter deck. Let me use this. And then I realized it was a $100 full art, and I was like, oh, I'm just going to trade this for play sets of cards I don't have yet. And I did, and it. And I'm now I'm only missing, like, 10 cards from having the uh, complete, you know, base rarity of the base set and all of the uh, exclusive, you know, structure deck cards. So... Now I'm pretty much set for like Frostfall, and the uh, the additional uh, the initial cards that are going to be in there. I'll probably just buy one booster box of it and then get whatever other singles I'm missing. Y'all, I have to walk my dog. He is a Belgian Shepherd named Kevlar. That's cool. Lucky for you, I have to go to the grocery store, and that means you'll find the gro the shiny while I'm gone. Justin, I would feel bad, but also I would feel great, because that would mean I have the shiny. Hi, Meatball. I exist again. Hello, Arctic Bomb. How are you? That's not shiny. Mm, no. Mm, no. 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 He served with me. Oh, that's that's crazy that they give you uh they they just give you the dog once you're done serving. That's cool. Yo, drunk uncle, thank you for the five buckaroonies. Add that to the timer. We gotta get the timer over sixty-five hours again. Gamers don't compromise. I agree. I still want to get it to the funny number. Can we get it to 69 hours? Thanks. <laughs> no. Is Graveler in your team due to nepotism from Golem? No, it was actually a completely separate shiny Geodude that I captured. I didn't breed it. Folks, let me just tell you, if everybody in here contributed one minute to the timer, we would be at 69 hours and we could make jokes all the damn time about the timer. Wouldn't it be funny? It's up to you. Also, again, if you can't contribute to the timer, just make sure you like the stream. I very much appreciate it. We are at 643 likes. Can we try driving it up to 650, if not 700? Let's try driving it up to 700. Just tab over. Just make double check and see if you have already done so or not. It just uh, it just really helps out. Yo, Brandon, Stacy, thank you so much for the five gifties. If you didn't get one, type dodge in chat. It is as simple as that. Thank you for the 25 minutes on the timer. We're back over 65 at least. They really need to introduce Devolution Spray into the games. That would be interesting if they did that. I wonder how the, if they would ever do that. Poopy poop. Beep, poop. <sighs> Come on. Come on, hello. Why aren't you being nice? Are we really going to go to 10,000? I was hoping we were going to finish today. Ooh. Oh boy, Eevee with all evolution moves? Eevee with all evolution moves? Moves, what do you mean? With move relearners, though, there is no real point, I guess. I guess I missed the conversation that this is part of. No. Mm, no. No. I will be donating on your next stream since so currently my bank is negative 135. Oh. No, if it's that low, then I, you know, don't. 
Put yourself first, please. Shiny Ho will appear at encounter 13,982. Hmm. I don't like it that high. I really just spam Mudshot against a Ninjask and thought it would work. I just thought I was unlucky. I predicted 12,000 and I still stand by it. Man, you guys are mean. I just want to finish the game today. One, two, three, four, five is my guess. That's fair. I mean, if Devolution Spray didn't remove any moves from the Pokemon, you could grab moves as the evolved Pokemon, then shift back to Eevee. Oh, oh, that'd be cool though. I would love, th I would love that as strategy for like a, a Nuzlocke. Yes. Well, that would be sick. I predict XX69 uh, until the, the thousand and hundred that it appears. Intriguing. Who? Um, what was it? Uh, shit, I forgot. Have you hit 999 hours yet? No, thankfully. Maybe once you reach that, it'll appear. No, well, the, the time isn't applying because this is soft resetting. If you don't get it today, or today, if you don't get it today, are you taking the day off tomorrow? No, I will finish this damn game. You excited for how many times you'll probably shiny hunt Eevees over the next year? Yes. Uh. No. 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 Uh, no. 69, 69 is real and is going to happen. We'll see. I'll be shocked if we get it before 7,000 at this point. I'm going to... I would... I'd be willing to make a bet on it appearing before 8,000, but not 7,000. Full out shiny burb, apparently. Yeah, that's it, it's what it's coming down to. Come on, shiny hello. I've been searching for almost seven and a half hours today. I searched for like almost an hour yesterday. I know you can give you yourself to me. You just have to change your color. Fun fact, in Diamond and Pearl only, all in-game trades are marked as Japanese. Meaning you can use the Ma Masuda method in those games for shinies. Oh. Oh, that's pretty good. Bruh? Why do you say bruh? Before I make a prediction, how much are you praying to Arceus uh, have you been doing? Zero. Arceus can lick my nuts. That raises an important question. Will you use Masuda method if it's uh, accessible enough? Sure. Why not? No. No. I feel like cute charm glitch would be easier to do though instead of uh, Masuda Meth. Well, I mean, it would be more efficient to set that up. Twenty thousand seven resets. Fuck you! I wish I was dead. Exactly. No. 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 I don't want that. At this point, it had a 75% chance of appearing. I I doubt that. I, I think 
I don't think you did the math right. How many coins are in your coin case? I don't remember. I don't think I have any right now. Uh, you would need a Japanese Pokemon from Gen 4. Well, they said that uh, any in-game trades are also considered foreign Pokemon, so we could do Masuda Method with that. But again, I think uh, if we can RNG manipulate to set up, um, you know, the, uh, the, the cute charm glitch, then we'd probably do that. Currently doing Soul Silver 1 Pokemon only. First time doing it, and it's going well. Oh, very nice, Brad. I hope you uh, have success with that run and you win. So glitches aren't banned. I guess it is a glitch, isn't it? I don't know. Come on, ho -ho. please. If we could appear in like the next half hour, we could still finish the game by tonight. Like, all you need to do is fit, show up within the next half hour. Approximately 56.6% .6 of seeing it in the uh, in this many attempts. Oh, it, John B. and Frozen Lake pretty much getting the same answer there, so that's probably correct. Should have seen it by now. Uh, well, you know, we just lost a coin flip. It's okay. It'll just keep increasing. What's the percentage by 8,000? If it's like hitting a thunder, then again, I missed a rollout earlier, so it's just probably easier to go to 90%. Make a rule that glitches are allowed if they don't completely game break the game's progression. Yeah, that's probably true. I mean, I still have to, uh, you know, uh, play by level caps and stuff, so it's like I can't, you know, sequence break. G'day, mate. Just got up with the con with the bleh. Just caught up with the hunting. Best of luck with getting the shiny ho. -oh. Thank you, Joseph. I appreciate it. Dodged? Oh, never mind. Wasn't looking. Perma band sixty nine. Welcome to the Meatball Membership Club. Why is your name Permaband69? I'm slightly worried, but they did give me money. 63.3%. Oh, damn. Really, it doesn't go up that much. That's crazy. Dodged, I guess? Well, it wasn't a gifty. They just got one for themselves. But thank you for the, uh, the additional five minutes on the timer. Speaking of which, we're about to go below 65 hours again, folks. We do need the help to make sure to keep that timer at a positive amount for the stream. My goal was to hit 66 hours today, but I think we could do the funny number, and we could go for 69 hours. God, can I please position, like, the keyboard easily? Thank you. You could use Brock through walls, for example, to get Eevee from the beginning of the game. But yeah, but like, again, level caps. Mm, no. I would prefer no cute charm because the shiny hunting is the main part. Well, that's the thing. I wouldn't ever use the, uh, the cute charm glitch in like any other video, but it would be a cool thing to have like documented on my channel. Well, if you're going to allow yourself to use glitches, well, not glitches to, like, add Pokemon and stuff, like. Honestly, I don't even think the cute charm thing is a glitch. Uh, like, I wouldn't even consider that a glitch. I would just consider that an exploit. Like, to make things easier. It's not like it doesn't, it doesn't do anything challenge-wise for, like, the game itself. Like, for the trainers or anything. So, I feel like it would be fine. Hey, I've been checking in now and again. Good luck on the shiny. Thank you, Beanie Bean. I appreciate it. Double odds would be 86.5%. So, barely over, like, a 
hitting a fire blast. Jeez. It's called the Cute Charm glitch because Cute Charm isn't is not meant to function like that. I mean, that's not surprising, but you know, it's poo poo PPID, uh, you know, d generating shiny programming. Oh. Uh, It's kind of just RNG manipulation because of the ID thing. That's what I was thinking. Like, it's more just on board of, like, the RNG manipulation train. 100 more. 100 more. 69, 69, baby. No. Mm, no. Mm, no. Mm, no. Nope. 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 No, sir. Nuh uh. Nope. No. Mm -hmm. Nah. Back at it again with the ho -o. We're still going. How do you catch shiny ho and save? Could you show off your coin case? Why do you guys want to see my coin case? It has nothing in it. I'm so confused. Best Gen 2 glitch is the daycare doubling glitch, but I feel like that's cheating for a Nuzlocke, probably. As we sit now, you have a 50-50 shot of seeing the thing by 12,500 on the counter. Uh, I wish you well. Thanks, John. Hopefully. Can you show us your running shoes? No. We want the... Why do you want the coin case? No. You don't need it. I get why they want to see the case. I don't. Why do they want to see the case, you soon? May the odds be ever in your favor. Thank you, Zuger. I agree. I mean, it's how it's like Gen 2 breeding in that it's a byproduct of how they generate shinies. Yeah, I would agree with that. I'd argue that catch anything slash hatch anything slash change DVs are more uh, are more most powerful Gen 2 glitches available. Uh, there's also likely a move modifier glitch too with Ace. I'd have to look it up. Oof. Just tuning in, uh, what was your starter this run? It was Chikorita. It's referencing the coin case glitch. If where you look at a bell sprout in the Pokedex, then look at the coin case, the game doesn't know what the fuck to do, and basically goes into debug mode? Huh? Okay, hold on. There's no fucking way, right? I'm curious. What the fuck? How did I never know about this? What? What? Did I fuck up my game? What? It's blue. That's not the shiny, but it's blue. How do
How can I tell? Will it change from blue when it's shiny? What will the shiny be like this? What happens if I do that again? It crashes the game. Okay. That would make sense. Do you have a backup save? Yes. Is this what you mean for backup? Oh. What? Why was it pressing the B button? Oh, I know what it's doing. It's because I have the auto fire B on the same button I have A. Okay. I was I thought it was doing something because of the thing. Let me fix that. Let me turn off the uh I I had the auto fire still on. Uh auto fire. Clear, clear. I thought it was broken too. Let me just make sure everything's works. So let me let me switch to the break screen for like ten seconds, real quick. Okay, I think everything's working. Dr. Scam, thank you for the five bucks. I had no idea the game could do that. Like, what the fuck? Are you going to include this in the video? Yeah, because I think that was the coolest shit ever. What? What was that? Why does it do that? I, I actually have my mind blown right now. Because it's like... All I did was look at, like... I did two random things in a row that, you know, somebody could theoretically do in a playthrough. What if they did that? What did you say the music was from? This is a Mega Man 6 guitar playthrough by Met on YouTube. I'm going to be quiet about glitches now. Huh. You could modify your Pokemon to be shiny. That's so funny. Oh, the color palette thing, because it thinks it's running on a normal Game Boy and disables palettes for backwards compatibility. Oh. Huh. That's crazy. That's so neat. All right, back to, you know, normal gameplay. <laughs> Goho had too much blueberry titty milk, yeah. What the fuck was that? That was so crazy. Yeah, have a bit of a beverage first. <sighs> Yummy. Okay, uh, this one counts, but no, this is not it. That was so weird. So that needs to be a jump scare in the video. That that probably like that. What the fuck was that? That was so crazy. It does that because there was an issue with the translation, jumping in the text not being terminated and jumping to 0x E112, that that bite in the data, I guess. That's crazy. 
which holds the most recent Pokemon Cry, for example. I see. If you got time, look up the coin case glitch. I'm gonna have to, because that's like really interesting. That was so neat. Can I keep the keyboard at the right place for me to do the the, the space bar correctly? Thank you. This feels comfortable. I think. Keyboard is sliding around still. There we go. Say you found an ultra rare sh shine. Mm. Ugh. Throat. Say you found an ultra rare shiny in the video. Very true. It's not the correct color, which is shiny as I'm as far as I'm concerned. True. Pokemon nerds are kind of are, are, are so cool. They're kind of cool sometimes. Are you gonna evolve Graveler? I did with my first one, and it died. I never used Graveler in battle though, so I like I I pulled out my my spare Graveler or my spare shiny Geo dude, and I'm using Graveler. <laughs> 69, 69 incoming. Last I was here, we were at 800 encounters, so that was last night. Did we get a funny golem command? We did not. That's true, Tay Man. I'm going to put that in the video. Thank you. That's actually a perfect transition for it. Breaking news! Local child angers Firebird God, causes blue apocalypse over the Johto region. Everything is blue, help, experts say. In other news, <laughs> Mr. Krabs has opened the fourth Krusty Krab of the Bikini Bottom. More at 11. Well, that was indeed crazy. That was cool, though. I, I, I really dug that. Shiny on 6969, that would be really funny. I, I would have to agree. Are you able to make a program that cycles through inputs until it sees a specific color from the Pokemon to make the process less taxing on your mind? Uh, I have no programming knowledge whatsoever, so probably not. Krusty Krab 4 is where it's at, I agree. Ten-year-old child breaks the universe and changes the color palette of the world exactly. All right, there we go. I'm in a much more uh, convenient position for the, uh, the space bar. Nope. Favorite Hoenn Pokemon. It's like a tie between Swampert and Gardevoir. Are we going to get it? Are we going to get Shiny on 69, 69? Are we going to get it? Are we going to get it? Are we going to get it? No, no, Shiny on 69, 69. I'm back again from my nap. I want to take a nap at 4K. Oof. Yeah, we are... Uh... We're not having so much luck yet. Nay, the double funny failed. Ten-year-old child captures God and gets ice cream with it. Exactly, that's what I'm looking forward to doing. Swampert, Thick Boy, Gardevoir, we see you. Fair. Salamence is definitely up there, the reef. Yeah. Okay, Cha, but if you had food yet, I had a couple bites of salad earlier today. I'm planning on finishing it once I'm done streaming, which, my lord, they are, <laughs> I, I was going to take, like, I, I wanted to finish gold today, but they're not going to let me. Like, the game is just not going to let me. The game doesn't want to die. <laughs> exactly. Favorite Power Ranger series? Um, probably in space. 
You have to do the glitch again once you get the shiny. Maybe. That was really weird, though. Drink water, not gamer subs. Water. Nah. I had plenty of water this morning. I think we get it before 8,000. I think we get it before 8,000. If you do the glitch once you get the shiny, please make a backup before I will. Don't worry. The, uh, the, the, the machine does make a backup every time I save in game anyway, so it's not like that big of a deal. I could always copy the backup into uh, a, a different place just in case. Can Gamer Subs help me with my crippling soda addiction? Honestly, that's kind of what I used it for, so yeah. It's keto friendly, it helps you cut out the sugary sodas. It also has caffeine. There's both a caffeinated and non caffeinated version. So you can also cut out energy drinks with it. And if you want a variety that's not, you know, uh, that you want to be able to drink regularly but not like overstimulate yourself with caffeine, the non caffeinated version is there as well. Uh, you can find that using exclamation point gamer subs. Uh, use code chaotic meat at checkout. You get 10% off, and for every dollar that you spend on any of those uh, flavor tubs, you can uh, get an additional minute on the timer, and it really does help out. Speaking of which, uh, let me double check. I haven't checked the uh, the gamer subs thing today. We have not moved anything today for in terms of gamer subs, folks. What's going on? You guys not liking it today? We had we had a crap ton of movement yesterday on it. To be fair. We're getting it before 7,500. I hope so, that one, friend. Try flavored seltzer water. I don't know. I don't like I don't like flavored seltzer water. It tastes like shit. Like, if you like the carbonation of soda, maybe. But, like, I'm not a big fan. God damn it, it happened again in the War Th Thunder forms. I would love to know. Should put that in my Discord server and then and then we'll delete it after I read it. Leaked a Russian plane, that's so funny. Man, they just are really like, this isn't realistic. This is what it's supposed to be like. They're like Pokemon fans, but with access to government shit. Oops, one can technically drown by drinking too much water. Just regular day by day. So, yes. Uh, what is that in reference to? I don't know. Oxygen is slowly killing us. Ever had Zevia soda? No. No. Again, honestly, all I've been doing is usually uh, with the gamer subs and water. Like, ever since I started keto, I haven't had very much soda at all. Like, I might have, like, a Coke Zero Sugar here and there, but, like, that's it. Well, Wallum, that's, that's mostly the caffeine part. If you do the non-caffeinated, you'll be fine. I'm going to call it that you get it at 7777. That'd be funny. Making the GTA 6 leaker go to prison is the stupidest thing. Uh, well. At the very least, Meatball, you ain't buying tons of water bottles. No, my tap's good at least. So, I just have to use, I have to get ice for it. And uh, I don't like making my own ice. I, I just get bags of ice because it's cheap enough. It's like $2 a bag for like a seven pound bag. So I can't complain. Because every time it's like, oh, I have to wash the things. Oh, I got to refill them. Oh, I got to wait for them to freeze. No, I just have a bag of ice. And they're like $2. Oh, you're doing the holo hunt that you said you'd do it yesterday. Awesome. I, uh, I started it yesterday, Sly Romano, um, and we didn't get it, so I, uh, I'm still doing it, and we've been doing it for eight hours. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, one reset. 400. No, it was like 800. We did 800 resets yesterday. What happens if I mix ga Gamer Sub's Grandpa's Ashes with my act? Will the world glitch out and turn blue? No, Dante, but it, it, don't don't consume that. Had no idea you started yesterday. Must have missed that part. Just joined back in. Gotcha, Romano. Can I get the damn shiny hello? It would make my life easier. It would make, well, it wouldn't make my life easier. Uh, it would just you know accelerate things. Please. If you check Bellsprout cry, cry and check your coin case, it does. That's true. BRB. Okay. Wait, wait. Are you... Don't do it. You should start shiny hunting on the side to distract you from your shiny hunting. That's true. I should. God, I love Flame Man's theme from uh, from Mega Man Six. Very, very uh, dope one, especially the chorus part. It's uh, it's got a cool lead part. But after you get the Ho, can you play the entire game on blue? Nah, I don't want to do that. I think I just wanted to use that uh, as like a holy shit moment in the video. I think it's funny, and it's a good uh, gamer subs uh, cutaway. I'm leaving for now, so I'm transferring my luck to you. Thank you, Avita. Uh, wait, it's Ida, Ida Boy, Ida Boy 24. I thought that was a V at first. Thank you, I appreciate it. Some days I just can't read. Those days are all of them. Meatball, uh, okay. Let me, let me, Meatball, image this as a, a headline. Kid spends several days. Uh, trying to make Shining Turkey appear at Ancient Temple. We're trying our best to make it appear. You ever had those kids in elementary school who would call it Ho-Ho? Like the hostess desserts? Yes. Even in high school, they still did that shit. Like, o only the nerds. But the nerds also were stupid and not really like that good at being nerds. If you do coin case gl glitch on a real copy of gold, can you revert it? I'm assuming by turning off the console and turning it back on, yes. Shaw's live reaction to the coin case glitch is a reaction that could never be replicated. That shit was cool. I can't believe I never knew about it before today. Dante, <laughs> guys, I'm not feeling so well. He t well, shit, he turned blue. Folks. Oh, yeah, coin case is also... Uh, I don't know what word. Uh, is also ace that we have talked about in some streams. That's so weird. Cha, I cannot take any of these shakers into public. Like, damn, I look like a neck neckbeard. They also have normal cups like this one. It's just like pink and white and different different colors, you know. No, uh, no, no waifus there. It's uh, I think it's the there's a if you ate hate anime uh, section. But they do have um, non waifu cups. You can make all wild Pokemon turn shiny with it. How do I do it with Ho-Oh so I can stop? At least I feel closer with my grandpa now. It really fucks with the game. Uh, but then how would people know you're drinking gamer sups if you're not wanting to do the whole promotion spiel? Oh, I'm not. I mean, I'm not against doing it. You know, 
You can drink your gamer subs in a non-waifu cup. I just don't want to go to hell. I've got an internet comment etiquette Illuminati hoodie, blue plaid cargo shorts, a Pokemon lanyard, the waifu cup would be... It, it, you're already fucked. Just get the waifu cup. It is really specific, but it also shows that Gen 2 is built slightly better than Gen 1. It is built quite a bit better on the front end uh, than Gen 1, but... On the back end, it's definitely still pretty fucking rough, apparently. At that, at this point, I do not give it. I, I do not care what people think about me. Give me that waifu cup with the titty milk, exactly. And you can pick one up for yourself with exclamation point gamer subs using my uh, my link and my code chaotic meat in all capitals. You know meat. And uh, if you do that, you get ten percent off and. For every dollar that you spend over there, you're going to get an additional minute on the timer, which I would appreciate because uh, I really do want to at least hit 66 hours by the end of the stream today. We're streaming for another four hours or until the end of gold, which uh, I'm thinking the four hours is going to come first. So, folks, uh, definitely help increase that timer. I would very much appreciate it. I literally have an Ahigao face hoodie. Uh, I don't think my situation could get worse. Uh, even though everything I see is just blue. I've been me, I've been nine. Very funny. Oh, yes, and if you can't, of course, if you can't help add to the total on the timer, you could always like the video, and that helps just as much. I really do appreciate if you do. Really hoping to hit a thousand likes today, so uh, scroll down, just make sure you have. If you're on mobile, close out of the chat for a second and uh you know throw that like on the video tab over if you're just listening in and double check just to make sure you did sometimes you might have thought you did but you didn't i want your timer to get higher i agree i hope you get shiny ho today i want your timer to get higher i want you to win thank you julian yo swervel thank you for the for that gifty boom Another five minutes on the timer. Oh my god, I'm free. Welcome back, Dante. Welcome back to the land of the living. We're just under 700 likes. Folks, come on. We can get the 700 at least, right? Come on. We can do it. For those of y'all uh, who are curious, the newest War Thunder leak is the 15th time this has happened. That's so funny. I wanted to see the video of people chronicling like the War Th uh, like every time War Thunder keeps having shit leak in their their forums. It's so funny. Damn, I didn't dodge. No, you were the only hit. Maybe Ho-Oh is scared of the dark. If it's scared of the dark, then maybe it'll illuminate itself by becoming gold. How many people have put in have been put in jail for it, though? Uh, who knows? You know, I hope eventually the normies uh, outdo the, uh, you know, the 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 people up top who are not normal. You know, people who are willing to leak government documents to prove a game fake. I want those people around more. Whenever whenever a uh, a membership is gifted, not only should everyone go dodged, but the person that got it should go. Ah, fuck! I'm hit, medic. That'd be funny. It's always someone trying to prove someone else wrong, and that's that's why it's fun, Nick. It's funny and it's fun. Uh, can you believe I asked uh, I asked people to like the stream, but I hadn't truly said I, I but I have liked now. Tuio, I can't believe you forgot. Boop. 
The golden chicken eludes us today. Yes, it does. Ho-Ho is scared of the blue. Ho-Ho is scared of the blue. Please give me a shiny Ho-Ho. Oh, sorry. Did you mean the 7,223rd normal Ho-Ho? Yeah, Jacob, it looks really good. That's why I put it on the thumbnail. We are less than a thousand encounters until we eventually go above odds. Exactly. That's why I don't want to go above odds. I already went above odds before. I don't want to do it again. Please, game. Come on. It's okay. I'm not going to, you know, use you for bad things. I'm going to use you for good things. Like beating the game. Try encountering it from the side. Nah. Doesn't do anything. We get it. You understand how fighter jets work, but you don't got to leak government documents. But it's funny. That's the thing. They should leak government documents. Why? Because the government shouldn't keep secrets from people. Because that's how they uh, they keep people down. You know. Ooh. I don't. I don't fucking know. Above odds, 16k on Groudon and Soul Silver. I quit shiny hunting. I can imagine. Creator of Lugia intended Lugia to be female. I believe that was correct, yes. Uh, ow. My tailbone hurts. Ow. Folks, it is now 8 o'clock. Exactly. It just hit 8 o'clock. If you have not liked the stream, I'd very much appreciate it. But we have 3 hours, 55 minutes left to stream. Uh, this is not shiny. Not shiny either. So, um, by the end of this, I think we would be, uh, at like 60, a little less than 61 hours if we don't have anything added to the timer. However, my goal today, of course, is to go positive on the timer. I wanted to hit over 66 hours today. But also, I think we could try to hit the funny number and hit to 69 hours. So, if you guys are capable of it, I would very much appreciate if you do. Through super chats, through memberships, through using exclamation point gamer subs, using my code chaotic meat and getting anything at checkout and just letting me know. For every dollar that you spend, you get an extra minute on the timer. Same thing with the mem uh, memberships. Every membership is five minutes because it's five dollars for the normal uh, level. And then super chats, you know, one dollar equals one minute and so on and so forth. Do you think we're going to end stream to raid uh, Ame? Oh, is she streaming again? Is that what that alert was for? No, that was, uh, that was, uh, that was Del. Is she streaming today? I don't think she's streaming today. Can we raid Worcester? Oh, is he live? If he's live when we're done, sure, absolutely. I would love to. I've been watching your content for well over a year, and I only just realized I wasn't subscribed. That's so funny. Thank you, Sabuski. I appreciate it. I wonder how many other people like you are out there. Because I'm sure there are a lot of people that are like, I've been watching this guy, but I haven't subscribed for that long. You know, some people just forget that those are aspects of YouTube. And, you know, once you remember, you're like, oh, shit. How did I let that happen? But I do appreciate you. Uh, finally subscribing, and I'm glad that you've been around for over a year. That's crazy. He ended the stream. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Nice timing. Lol, I'm in the same boat. Are you kidding me? How many... Folks, check if you are subscribed to this channel right now. How many of you guys are not subscribed? And if you're not, raise your hand and then press the subscribe button. And by raise your hand, I mean like 
Put like an emote in the chat that is like a hand. I subscribed yesterday. Thank you, Lord Cooler. I appreciate that. Imagine not being subscribed. True. I'm a lifer. Yeah. Meat lifer. What's the encounter goal for the day? Well, the encounter goal... Well, the goal was to finish the goddamn game today. But, you know, if I can't finish the game today, I guess get to 10k uh, encounters. 11k, somewhere around there. I feel like grown out of my subscriptions, though, so it takes me a while to make the commitment. I've been subbed for a while now, though. Well, thank you, Finn. I appreciate that. All of the people who raised the, their actual hands. That's true. Been subbed since the start of the first season of the challenge? Well, thank you, Arctic Bomb. I've been subscribed so long, I don't remember how long. Sheesh. The reason I didn't subscribe when I watched the NES bootleg video is because I didn't have a channel until a few days ago. Oh, that makes sense. Some some people just watch YouTube without an account. Those people, I figured, are lunatics. I could not imagine not watching YouTube with an account or without an account. Same. I had no idea when I subbed to you, but it's been a hot minute. Hell yeah. Off to bed with me, but a first. Uh, but first, a like for you. Thank you. Uh, Daniel, Danielle, I don't know how to pronounce that with the little dots over the E. But I appreciate it. I hope you have a good night. Can I please beat the game? Can you please let me beat the game? I just want to beat the game. Why won't you let me beat the game? Just let me get the darn shiny so I can beat the game. Let me beat the game. Let me beat the goddamn game. I want to beat... The fucking game. I can see not using an account for if you don't want the algorithm changing your feed, but that's fair, but I don't know. It's just like Daniel. Oh, okay. It's been a while since I subbed, but I just remember it's been a long, long time. I think the start of the Professor Oak Challenge is oh, so like almost five years ago. That's crazy. Will we get Lugia and Silver? Debating on whether or not I want to put it in soul, uh, Silver or Soul Silver. We'll see. About a 59.4% chance to get it by now. Come on, ho -ho. Why are you fighting me so much? ho -ho has an alliance with Rattata. Bet no shiny till 20k again. If I have to spend another 12 hours on this game, I'm going to poop. I didn't create, I just didn't create one because I didn't plan to make videos. That's fair. I, I mean, even then, I created one just so that I could comment on stuff and like videos and have like playlists and stuff. Like there are aspects of YouTube that you can use an account for that aren't just uploading. How will, how angry will your poop be? Very. It's 20k, will we send da Dante back to the blue realm? I hope so. Imagine if it was supposed to be shiny when you turned it blue. Uh, it would have it would have had the sparkle animation. I would have seen it. I was paying attention because I saw it was blue. Why did you decide to use legendary in the second season, not the first? I wanted to make the first more challenging, but I feel like the shiny hunting is more of the uh, allure of this one. So I was like, ooh, how about I shiny hunt the legendary because that would be difficult. Yeah, I'm shy, but you lot seem okay. I think so. I think we're all right. If it's above odds, send ho -Oh to the blue dimension. We will send ho -Oh to the blue dimension. My account is from either 2007 or 2008. It's very old. Sheesh. Sheesh. Some of us are. We've got no people fighting over math today, so we're good. That's true. Wait, how do we go... Uh, how do we... Wait, how do we call banning someone, making them go to the blue dimension? Just on make new chatters confused? Uh, I don't know. I 
I recently found out that you can check the dates when you first subscribe to YouTube channels, and that was a cool find. I don't remember how to do that. I know that's a thing you can do, but I don't remember. Uh, Jacob, yeah, you just you, uh, you just put the save file in your 3DS. It's pretty easy. Good night, everyone. It's 2 a.m. for me. Got finally going to sleep. Hope you uh, hope you wake me. Uh, what what? I don't know what the end of the message was supposed to be, Ursia. But I hope you have a good night. When you get hello, we'll see. Uh, when you get this thing, are you going to pour some PP-Ups into Sacred Fire? Probably. My subscription list is a graveyard of small YouTubers that never made it. Mm. It's always sad when that happens. I have a lot of small YouTubers in my, uh, in my subscription feed. Not, uh, I, I don't think any of them are necessarily graveyard yet, but we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully not. I hope people always get successful with their stuff. Just checked mine 2011 for me when I made the account, but I've been watching you since... Huh? Since earlier than that. Do you mean 2021? So I was about to say, if you've been watching me since 2011, I'd be scared to fucking death. Anyone else have a Twitch account since the Justin.TV days? Uh, no. I was too young for that. I knew Justin.TV existed, but I never had one. FBI, open up. Yes? Holy shit, Angelo. That's crazy. No, I mean, I, I knew, like, Justin.TV existed. I have never seen what the website looks like. I've only ever known Twitch, so. I bet a lot of people's unsubbed viewers in analytics are just people without accounts. Probably. What the fuck? Zuger? Uh. Oh. Even though it wasn't a real link, it did that. This is Lamau. Uh, nope. I went to Justin a few times before Twitch took off. That's fair. Everyone else, my account was made in 2000X that I've been watching since 20XX. This random ass guy. I'm standing at your front door. There's no escape. And he never even he never even corrected himself. I asked and they never corrected themselves. What the fuck? I've been watching YouTube since 2006, but I made my account in 2012. Uh, makes sense. I used to watch YouTube before school during the COD Black Ops 2 trolling days back when Maryland, uh, back with Maryland every morning. Same. My favorite joke is when people post a picture of Scott the Waz and joke that he's trans. It always gets me transphobic and it's just funny to... What? what? Huh? Uh, oh, well, that's a distracted Nitty Night. It always gets transphobe. Oh, I, I, it got covered by the, the heart, which is why I was like, what? And it always gets transphobes, and it's just funny to me. Okay, there we go. Nitty Knight, thank you for the for the uh, the membership. I got flustered for a second because the stupid heart emote, I still forgot to get to take off. So I appreciate it. I did definitely read that wrong. I lost the game. Did you lose the game? What game? I've been watching YouTube since its creation in 2005. Uh, I was a small little four-year-old that was lost in RuneScape. Part of me misses old YouTube with old Smosh and no one made any money. If nobody made any money, nobody would make it, be making good content on here. I remember KidsTube. I remember my parents wouldn't let me do anything but KidsTube. Anybody remember that? It was like a Christian-owned... YouTube variant for kids. The first YouTube video I saw was when that Leroy Jenkins, I think that was his name, did that dungeon in uh, World of Warcraft. Apparently that was staged, and I was very disappointed to hear about that. 
I thought I, I thought that shit was funny. Man, nobody here knows about the the kids tube thing. That's crazy. Kids tube Lamau somehow I'm not surprised. Terrible, terrible content on there. Oh, it's 7777. I'm trying my best. And also, what did you say earlier? 713 likes. Folks, can we get to 750 likes? We're at 713. I very much appreciate that. Also, again, my goal today is to get to the timer to 66 hours by the end of the stream. If you are capable of being able to help pump up that timer, you can do so through super chats through memberships and through using my affiliate link at exclamation point gamer subs and using my code chaotic meat to get 10% off at checkout and for every dollar you spend you add a minute to the timer y'all remember google video i do not i remember kids too but my parents made my younger siblings use it there are still things like that for tiktok and youtube unsurprising but like geez ugh what sorts of tiers and formats do you play on Showdown? I do not touch Showdown. Not, uh, I don't, I don't play that. I don't play Pokemon f uh, on my, like, spare time. And you remember Google Plus? God, that shit was so annoying. I watched YouTube before you had the higher low video quality settings. That shit's crazy. Farming barbecue points for Pokemon Scarlet. Wish me luck. Barbecue points? There's barbecue points? Huh? Sub to you in 2021. First PokeTuber I subbed to was J-Rose. Oh yeah, J-Rose has been around for a while, hasn't he? I remember Jackie Chan used to follow me on Google Plus for some reason. Was it like the official account or was it just somebody that was named Jackie Chan? Because that shit's funny. Have you done ever, uh, done a living dex before? Nah. Yeah, it was the official account. That's fucking comedy. Blueberry quest points, Lamau. Oh, I I still haven't touched the DLC. I don't even know why it was like ten years ago. That's so funny. I think at 14, I had every right to be... At, what? What? Showdown version versus VGC chat. Oh. Hey, listen. I, I almost topped 2011 Nationals in VGC. I was... I was good as a child. And then Landorus Therian came out in 2012. And then I wanted to stop playing. And I thought it was shit. That and, of course, uh, you know, my parents would only bring me to events that were conveniently around wh whatever we were doing. We just so happened to be traveling near where the uh, the last chance qualifier and the nationals were at that time. And um, I shit you not, when I got top 16 at the at the uh, the last chance qualifiers, they were like, oh, we were hoping you would like win one, but we didn't expect you to top. We have to stay another day. And I'm like, yeah, there's another th 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 there's the nationals starting tomorrow. Which I can almost day, uh, which I can also day two and potentially win. And they were, they were like, they they looked physically scared that I was gonna, I was gonna like, uh, top. Like they, like they thought that I was gonna make it to day two, which they were like, we no, like we, it was, it was like, why, why do you hate my interest so much? So I don't know. If my if my if I ever have a kid, I will make sure that their you know their interests are nurtured because you know neutering their interest in shit just because you don't like it doesn't you don't have you don't have that right. I don't remember exactly when I subbed, but I do know I was there when you got started the POCs and also when you got hacked. Ah, uh, yes, I was like yeah. Uh, well, I started the POCs like five years ago. Yeah, aka being an actual good parent, exactly.
They were scared I was going to top, Jesus Christ. No, I ended up getting 52nd place. Uh, if I had gotten... Uh, I, I don't remember how high I needed to get to in that leaderboard to uh, make day two. I think I needed top 32 or something like that. I don't remember. I think I might have unsubbed to you when you got hacked because it says I subbed you in 2021. Yeah, I got hacked in, in January 2021. Apparently, I subbed to you in October 2022. Mm. That was when I started the franchise Nuzlocke Season 1, so that's not surprising. I'm happy I showed my little sis Pokemon as a kid. Rest of fam didn't like my gaming uh, thing, and they still don't like it. Yeah. You do not realize how much effort there was to try to prevent me from doing exactly content creation during like my entire childhood into my uh, teen years, and then the amount of... like discouragement even though i was you know making enough to be able to live on my own like you, you need to move back in, or they, they didn't even say move back in you need to go to you need to go to college you need to get a real job and i'm like listen i don't want to go into debt i enjoy what i'm doing i'd rather you know um explode in minecraft if i if i had to do that stuff because i just don't have the bs tolerance for it anymore i worked at a restaurant for three years i got essayed as a minor there I had so many, like, I got, KO, like, I, I fainted because somebody put a bug in my face. You want to know, the person who put a bug in my face was the goddamn boss. I'm lucky I didn't get injured when that happened. There were so many fucking things that happened at that restaurant that I just, like, you do not realize how much shit I went through. I, <laughs> if people piss me off nowadays, if I was at a real job now, now I would, I would probably be uh, behind bars. Because I can't stand it anymore. So I'm very happy to be in the position that I am. Uh, it was just some... I, I think it was like a palmetto bug or something. I mentioned that I'm like... I'm not... in Like, I'm, I'm deathly afraid of bugs. Like, I've... Uh, I was on a missions trip one time with my youth group back when I was in early high school. We went up to New Orleans and... Like, there was some June bug uh, on me. And, like... I, I fucking passed out because of it. I'm I'm a wussy with it with, with that shit. I, I don't know I don't know why. I like I'm I try not to be, but I, my my body automatically moves like it twitches when I like get scared by a bug and I'll like just move and it just frustrates the fuck out of me. Yeah, he he found one in the restaurant exactly. So you know, that's that's good optics already. It doesn't help that I grew up in a house that constantly kept having wolf spiders in it, you know? I was constantly scared to fucking sleep. I'm going to be working as a paleontology educator this summer. Uh, sadly, it doesn't pay enough to let go of my fast food job. Jesus Christ. Could be a phobia. Probably. It's... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't like, like, I don't like, I don't know which ones, you know, carry venom. I don't know which ones carry diseases that I could get, you know. That's why I always stay away from bugs, but that's why if they get near me, I'm always, like, freaked out and trying to get away from them as much as physically possible. Which is why I don't go outside much. What's a wolf spider? It's a spider about the size of, your, of, of my palm. I don't know, it's, it's hard to, you know... I put it next to like my forehead like it's it's pretty big and they were fast as fuck wolf spiders are harmless they're just large yeah and jump at you and shit and scare the fuck out of you ah just thinking about it gets me mm, ah. mm. god damn just gives me shivers thinking about it. And then I start getting, like, sensations all over me, thinking that there's something on me. It's just... Mm. Yo, don't stream on Twitch anymore. I've just been streaming on YouTube for this. I, figure, I figured it would make more sense. Wolves ain't nothing... Uh, wolf, uh, wolfies ain't nothing compared to huntsman spiders. Oh, trust me. I will never go to Australia. You will never, never see me uh, you know, 
uh, walking into Australia ever. Who are you taking? 10 CM Punks or 1 Brock Lesnar? I would rather take 1 Brock Lesnar. I'm sorry. The, the number of opponents does matter. Uh... <laughs> It's easier for them to, you know, beat the shit out of you. Also, Huntsman, uh, Huntsman run really funny. Uh, if I'm, oh, just, just thinking about what those things are. Get, get, ah. All right, no more, no more bug, bug shit in my chat, okay? No more. Isn't multi-streaming across Twitch and YouTube a thing now? Yeah. Yeah, I'll figure it out sooner or later. I subscribed in 2019. Honestly, didn't know it's been that long since I found your channel. Yeah, it's been a while. I, I did start doing this before the COVID pandemic. The only spider ever is Galvantula. Thank you. Uh, and Spinarak and Ariados. Yeah, you'll get overwhelmed by 10 people compared to one. Exactly. When's the last time you used Uber Eats? I've never used Uber Eats, but I used DoorDash. Uh, I, I DoorDashed yesterday. So I wanted, uh, I wanted a different food than what was in my fridge. Do you like frogs? Frogs are fine. I just thought my music was screwing up. Um. Can anyone else here say they were watching PewDiePie's Amnesia playthrough when each episode was brand new? I think I'm having a midlife crisis at the ripe age of 23. Well, I'm also 23, but I, I didn't watch uh, PewDiePie. Uh, come on, hello, please stop fighting me on this. I just would like to be done. Please let me finish the game. You have the Master Ball? I do. At least I don't feel too old now that I know you're 23. Fair. Which is better, red, blue, or yellow? I like red. I thought you were 19. I was 19 when I started this channel. Actually, I was 18. I was still in high school. My my first Professor Oaks challenge I released on this on this channel, I was still in high school. Uh, what do you consider the hardest game to Nuzlocke? Probably Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. That shit's hard. I'm more for blue. I get it. I thought you were like 20, 21. Well, hey, at least I still look a little bit younger than I am. That's cool. Emerald's not that hard, to be fair. I mean, if you're going, you know, past the Elite Four to Steven, and if you're crazy enough, the Battle Frontier, yes, it is. Knowing that you're 23 does make me feel old. I'm sorry, Otter. I'll be 35 in June. I feel ancient. I'm sorry, JTR. It's funny, like, um, in a lot of my creator, like, friend groups, I'll make people, I'll make people feel old because I'm, like, because I'm 23, and most of them are, like, in their late 20s, if not already 30, and they're, they always look at me and they're like, God, you're a baby. Uh, it, I, and I don't know why, I've just always had that thing when I, while I was growing up. Like even when I was in like second grade, I hung up, I hung out with fifth graders because apparently they liked me more than the second graders. When I was in middle school in a private school, uh, there was also a, a high school mixed into it. I hung out with the high schoolers at lunch, and they liked me more than the middle schoolers did. Um, and then when I was a, in a freshman year in high school, I hung out with the seniors because the seniors liked me more than the freshmen for some reason. Um, I don't know if it was because I had uh, more of a maturity about myself. Uh, and they were like, oh, this this guy ain't, isn't cringe. Like, we're fine with him. But I don't know. 
I always found that to be a thing, and that was the same thing with, uh, once I got into content creation, and hell, even beforehand, even when I was still in high school doing, uh, like, video game metal covers, I was still, you know, talking with, uh, you know, other creators that were doing the same stuff, like the video game covers, and they were already in their mid-twenties, almost thirty. Hell, I think, um, I don't know how old James is, uh, little, if you guys are familiar with Little V-Mills, he was, like, the first guy that I, I took a guitar lessons from, uh, fun fact. Uh, so, it's, it's kind of funny to be able to claim, yeah, I took, uh, my first guitar teacher was Little V Mills on YouTube. <laughs> and then they go look him up, it's like, holy shit! <laughs> so, uh, you know, shoutouts to him. The guy that, all, he also made, uh, Kenny Omega's entrance theme for AEW. Uh, I remember being at MAGFest in 2020, and I, because I asked him, I'm like, I remember when he made his entrance at Double or Nothing 2019. I listened to that instrumental when he was coming out, and I was like, that sounds like the tone of James. And then when the vocal version came out, when he entered, uh, like, a couple days later after the pay-per-view, I'm like, I, I fucking knew it. I knew it was him. And I messaged him. I'm like, how the hell did that happen? And he just told me. And then when we hung out in a... Magfest right before the COVID pandemic hit, uh, he he showed me the messages of like Omega just leaning in there and being like, "Hey, from one Canadian to another, would you uh be willing to do a theme song for me to AEW?" And he's like, "Yeah, sure. What the? F I don't fucking care. Sure, awesome." So <laughs> that's the origin of how that theme came to be. It was just a Twitter DM away. I was in New York for 9-11 in elementary. Crazy-ass day. I could imagine. I could fucking imagine. Jesus Christ. It's kind of sad that you aren't doing any more video game covers. Nah, I wasn't as good as at them as I am with the Pokemon stuff. I could have gotten better over time, but uh, I, I'm happy where I am. I remember Bill's Secret Garden in Pika Blue. Jesus. Folks, we got three hours and 25 minutes left of the stream. I'm hoping to end the stream with the timer above 66 hours, and I need your help for that. So, of course, if you are able to contribute to that through Super Chats, every dollar through a Super Chat is going to add a minute for each dollar. Memberships are going to add five minutes each, whether you get one for yourself or whether you gift them to other viewers. And, of course, using exclamation point gamer subs, using my affiliate link and code chaoticmeat, and get 10% off any of the items on the store, but if you specifically get any of the tubs of the drink mix, any of the cups, or any of the assorted snacks, like the instant noodles and the uh, sus snacks, yes, they are called sus snacks, they are very much shit posters, but they're great, I love them. Um, you can get 10% off, and for every dollar that you spend over there, I'll add a minute to the timer. And of course, if you can't do any of that, I, un I completely understand some, uh, you know, if you're just looking for some free entertainment, YouTube's great for that. But if you would at least take a few seconds to make sure that you are liked to this stream, that you have subscribed to the channel, all of that stuff, you know, just being able to do the as much as you can, uh, it really does help out. Have you try tried just catching shiny ho -Oh? That's what I'm trying. This is taking forever. No, my, no, I, I, I get it, Tubio. Again, it's fine. Like I said, if you can't, if you can't, like, don't. It's fine. Just make sure you are liked to the stream. Make sure you're subscribed. That's all I ask for. It's just if you would like to go above and beyond and help support this series, because I am sacrificing all of the other videos that I'm making. And all of the other, uh, like, uh, sponsorships that I'd be getting. Just, it basically just helps put me, uh, put food on my table and helps, uh, you know, keep this thing going. Because I am definitely, uh, making this more at a loss. Because it takes as long as it does. But if you guys enjoy it enough, then I, I want to keep doing it. But yeah, Meatball, I've been subbed to you since November 18th, 2018. And it's been a huge journey of high school and my parents' divorce. Wait, November 18th, 2018. That was the day I formed my channel. How have you been su subscribed since then? I didn't upload a video until April.
Congrats on the YouTube success. I remember the biggest shit post on the channel was the HGSS Professor Oaks Challenge. Yes. Yes, it was. I've been subscribed to your channel since 1987, baby. Honk shoe, honk shoe. Oh, that's what I'm feeling. Oh my, my, blah, 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 blah. Joseph Lindsay with the, what is that, 160 Australian dollars? You will get the next shi the shiny in the next 200, mate. Well, the mate gave it away, but you know. <laughs> Thank you so much. Holy guacamole, that's 104 minutes adding to the timer. Thank you so much. An hour and uh what is that an hour and 44 minutes that's amazing let me let me do the math on this 43 plus 44 is gonna minus 60 it's gonna make it 27 13 27 and then the extra hour is gonna make it 14 27 so we're almost folks we're almost at 66 hours also joseph Lindsay, i can't believe that was your first super chat on a live stream what a hella expensive Super chat virginity. Thank you so much, though. I very, very much appreciate your generosity. Holy guacamole. Well, now you'll get, uh, you'll for sure get that shiny. I hope so. How are you doing, Megas? I thought you missed it again. No, I've been, I've been, uh, how much does that go in dollars? It is 104 U.S. buckaroonies. Thank you, though. I really do appreciate that. Doing good. About to head to locals. Hell yeah. Hope you tear it up there. That's an expensive red light district virginity loss. Damn. I'm going to go negative to make it go to 69. No, don't don't hurt yourself, seriously. Also, holy crap, I didn't realize how many folks in chat uh, were were already members. Like, I, it's crazy to see the chat be full of green names and less, like, gray names. Folks, again, if you do have $5 to spare, you can get yourself a membership. Give yourself that green name, a nice badge, which I will be updating the badges so that they're a little bit more exclusive. Uh, and you add five minutes to the timer. So it does help out immensely. Also, I am thinking of eventually doing uh, like a monthly members only video kind of going uh, in depth in the aspects of the behind the scenes stuff for, for Pokemon challenge creation. So if you are interested in maybe trying your own uh, either just by yourself or uh, like maybe even making videos yourself, I do, uh, I do want to start that sooner or later. Probably after, you know, this whole nonsense is over with the with the shiny only uh, franchise Nuzlocke, but that is definitely a goal of mine is that I want to make like a, a monthly video for that and just go into stuff a little bit less rigid, a little bit less edited so that um, it's a little bit quicker to make, but can get that nice information out to people. Uh, 160 Australian dollars becomes 104 USD. Damn, bro. Didn't realize our daughter, dollar was that shit right now. That's what I've been saying. I'm like, why Why is it so bad right now? But I still do appreciate it. I mean, sheesh. I hope you're not, like, hurting after 160 bucks. That's that's quite a bit. Bro, I left at 3,000 resets. This ho, -ho is being a bitch. I agree, Tom Tom. It sucks. I wish the economy was good enough for me to... Uh, to get a membership uh i but uh the best i can do is watch all the ads youtube keeps throwing at me just click on all the ads on your way out you'll be okay <laughs> i do appreciate that though to be fair the u.s economy is real good right now is it really even here shit's rising in price like my god uh, you know record-breaking profits Sounds like a deal. Lord Cooler, that was a super chat, not a membership. 
I'm sorry. That was the wrong thing. Thank you for the five, though, for adding to the timer. Folks, we are so close to 66 hours on the timer. We can do it. I believe in you. You're asking the same question over and over again, Rubino. We're evading ninjas. Please let me evade the ninjas in peace. Thank you. Are you getting close to odds? Yes. Odds are 1 in 8,192. I'm trying to find how to get a membership. I don't think you can do it on mobile. At least I didn't realize. Uh, how do you do membership on mobile? I think you have to, uh, like, I, I don't remember. You might have to, like, uh, you know, open up your internet browser of choice and look it up. I don't know. But uh, if you are on desktop, it's just the join button, yeah. Yo, Drunk Uncle, thank you for the membership. I appreciate that. Let me add that over once I get to 7750. It might let a few more that a few more people that might be interested in grabbing one for themselves to throw it over. And uh, I can add it all of the time at the same time. I see, I see I can't do it on mobile. I, I don't know. I don't know how you do it on mobile. I mean, uh, again, I would just look at, look it up on your... Uh, I don't think you can because, uh, like, the fees or some shit from the uh, Apple App Store or uh, Google Play Store. So, wabudoo! Or wadadoo! Do 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 do! Do 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 do! Do, 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 do. That's going to get me hit with copyright because it's so on point. But thank you again, Drunk Uncle, for the fiver. Folks, we are like... Oh, we're, we're almost at 50 members today. We're at, we hit 41. Isn't that crazy? Uh, one of the streams, we actually did hit triple digits. I, I, you know, I don't think we, would ever, we were ever going to get there again unless it's crazy in here, but... I do appreciate all of you guys uh, doing that. So, ooh, oh, I forgot to. Uh, there we go. I do appreciate y'all. So thank you for helping to contribute to the timer. We were so close to getting it to 66 hours. But I do want to get it to 69. I really want to see the funny number. Out of lurk, I know I did 4 hours, 20 minutes doing the POC and RNG uh, abusing. But fuck me. How do you do 12 hours a day? <laughs> like this. Uh, so anyway, we're just uh, shiny hunting this uh, ho -oh, and uh, yeah, like that. That's ba that's basically how, but a lot more entertaining, you know. <laughs> I'm not making people like fall asleep, like you know, immediately. The sand triangle. I don't remember. That's good. Need that gamer subs to come quicker. True, Demo, true. Is that me, or can I hear Chaotic Meatballs audio coming through Demo Vlogs Live, or was I hearing things? Demo, are you streaming while I'm streaming and backfeeding the audio? If so, that's very fucking funny. Yo, Gonka with the... Quite frankly, I actually am not sure what the R, um, the R is. Oh, it's Brazilian, uh, Brazilian Rees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DRL to USD. Thank you for the five, though. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't realize this. The Brazilian currency is also down. Why is everybody's currency down? Why is that only one US dollar? What the fuck? Also, Arctic Bomb. Thank you for the 
membership. Jeez, really? What the hell? Craziness. Sorry about that. Just had to respond to a message. All right. Back to Ho-O's. Folks, we are so close to 66. We are, we have yet to be able to hit that 66. We have just been like, in, we were just like within grasp, but we keep failing. We, we are, we're so close. I believe, I believe in you, chat. We can do it. It didn't happen, Toast. Sorry. I forgot that we just passed 7777. I'm trying to do you uh, 50, but it won't let me on this app. It wants me to go on iTunes. Does anybody have an answer? Uh, do it on desktop so that you don't get charged fees. That's my advice. Or a laptop or something that can access, you know, YouTube through uh, not something that's not the through Apple or Google Play. One of those two. Well, in China, the lucky number is eight. So eight, 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 eight is it is. Let's see. It is definitely 8,193. If it did that just to piss me off, that would I would laugh my ass off, exact, uh, honestly. Like, I feel like that would just be, like, the, 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 t uh, the, uh, the, the cherry on top, because of course it would be. I'm calling 9696. That would be funny as well. You've done an impressive amount of resets today. Thank you. I'm trying my best. We are almost at 7,000 resets today in eight in eight hours and 45 minutes. Did I hit it twice? I think I hit it twice by accident. Ah, uh, so I have to wait till tomorrow then, because my my laptop is at work. But I'll see if I can use my use the wife's. Yeah, it's just uh, if it works, yeah, definitely definitely use that instead. But I would very much appreciate it. It would help the timer a bunch. No, absolutely not, Toast. I'm not I'm not stopping. It's it, it is meant to be. It will eventually be meant to be. Um it's about fifteen resets per minute, uh cool blue kid. It's about one per four seconds. Also, do you strictly drink decaf subs? No, I I do have uh, I do have like a uh, a serving or two servings of the uh, the caffeinated version in the, in the morning, just to get me awake. Which fruits would be in your very fruity meat sup? I don't know. I would definitely want to do like a berry blend, like almost like a creamy type smoothie. Just to be, I, I don't know. I, I, I just want to call it Meat Madness. I would have to try to come up with a good flavor profile for it. Is it possible to beat this game with the Graveler, Sloking, and Fortress? Worst case scenario? No, I want the Ho-O. -Oh. I'm not giving up, folks. Don't try. Don't try to get me to give up. It's not going to happen. Will you be putting the streams into a video at the end? Of course. This is just the part that you guys don't usually see because I usually do you know, the actual full gameplay offline. And then I, I uh, script it. I um, I cut out the parts that, like, the big chunks that I uh, my editor doesn't need so that I can set it to him at a smaller file size. Uh, he'll edit it down, and he'll add in all of the little effects and little cutaway gags and shit, and he'll update the, the main layout. And then that's the finished product. And then I upload that, and that is what happens. But you guys are getting to see the part where I actually record the gameplay. So th this is just the part that I would normally do here. What's your job outside of YouTube? I don't have another job. This is this is my full-time gig, Purple Penguin. 
Fingers crossed you get it, and I finally see you catch one. Hopefully. Awesome. Love the videos. Appreciate your hard, way, your hard work. Well, thank you, Matthew. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I think passion fruit, guava, and a few, and some sort of green tea. Oh, that would be great. Holy crap, that would be, mm, that would be muy, muy bien. Was here for Slowpoke. We'll be here for Ho Ho at ninety six ninety six. We'll see. Just tried to get membership on web, but can't find it. Uh, after work, I'll join. Uh, it's just the join button. If you're if you're on desktop. I get paid a lot for those tips. I could imagine. Out of the seven shinies you've gotten, I've seen two. Well, damn, that's still that's still quite a quite a hefty amount to be here for. I appreciate you being around that much. Using Master Ball, absolutely. This is the last shiny I'm trying to get for the run. Feels like Ho-Oh decided you were too productive game uh, gameplay wise yesterday and decided to slam on the brakes. Yeah, Lin, I, I'm. I'm kind of feeling that today. Have you ever done a script slash voiceover slash editing stream meatball? If you uh, if you haven't, could that be a member only video? Um, definitely the process, but I definitely maybe like a members only live stream. That'd be kind of cool. I don't edit my videos though; my editor does. Uh, so usually, I mean, I could explain my script making process. I throw all the footage into my editor and into like a, a video editing software. Uh, I throw it anywhere between like four and eight times speed and I watch it back and I just write the script. And then uh, once it's done, I'll just make sure that everything makes sense. I'll add a couple jokes in uh, when it, wherever it uh, fits. You know, I'll let it I'll let it sit for like a day. And then the next day I'll like record the voiceover and send it over to my editor. You said what you will use six at the start, but now it's four if you don't count unknown. Uh, yeah, one of them died. <laughs> Ooh, Ice Brain. That's my favorite track from Zero Two. Be right back. All right, Tuyo. 8K or 9696, I'm calling it. We will see. Piss Rat, Geodude, Slowpoke, and now Ho have all taken forever, while Chikorita and Pineco were fast as shit. Well, Pineco was only fast as shit because it was, uh, bred, and then... Uh, Ch Chikorita was only fast as shit because it was destined for fucking annihilation. <laughs> Can't do that, Toast. That's That'll get copyright. <laughs> that'll get me ad sharing, and I don't want to do that. I'd like to keep, you know, the $50 of ad revenue this stream might make. I don't know. I'd be lucky if it's 50 <laughs> Just a friendly reminder not to get comfortable resetting. Oh, for sure, Brim. Don't worry. I'm, I'm actually looking at the, the ho -Oh, making sure it's not the shiny color and, like, resetting. You, that's why there's that tiny pause there. We should have a funeral at the end of the run. Maybe. That would be comedy. Keep liking the vids, bros. Absolutely. If you haven't liked the stream yet, I very much would appreciate that. We're at 737 likes. Can we push to 750 real quick? If not higher, I'm, I am aiming for uh, ten or not ten thousand. We're aiming for one thousand by the end of the stream. So if you have not liked the stream so far, I very much would appreciate it. Make sure to scroll down. Make sure to uh, tab over if you're just listening in. And make sure to double check, even triple check. As you might have thought, you pressed on it, but you didn't. Will you use Meganium for HTSS? Probably. Could Damo be our pass-through who just talks about the dead Pokemon in a funny voice? I could get Damo. I could also get R9. I can get R9 beats. It'd be funny. Could you? Can you breed another Chikorita? No, I, th I feel like no. I can't like breed the Pokemon that died. That would uh, specific like the Geodude is different because I caught two separate shiny Geodudes. I didn't breed for the second one. Lamau just killed Suicune. Oof. That, that's not old Necrophilia. Oh, we already... I mean, you know, Fortress is technically the spawn of Necrophilia, yes. Uh, because the uh, the dead Bayleaf bred with a female Paris to create a uh, a female Paris with the shiny gene, 
which we then used to get a male Paris with the shiny gene. And then that male Paris bred with the normal uh, female Pineco to make a female Pineco with the shiny gene. And then from there, just bred with a regular male Pinecone or with a male Pineco to uh, to make for it, or to make our shiny one. So basically, um, lots of lots of necrophilia, lots of uh, incest. That's uh, that's how breeding works in Pokemon, ladies and gentlemen. This game is rated E for everyone. But all Paris and Parasex are dead, though. It is lore. That is true. What shiny in this franchise lock are you least looking forward to? I don't know. The ones that, are, you know, take fucking a month. Luckily, I haven't had any of those yet. I'm cracking up right now. <laughs> Lamau. Uh, yeah, it, you know, it, it's true. It is true. That is the true story of how my fortress was born. Do we even need ho when we have unknown? Uh, probably not, but you know, it would be funny. And you know, funny makes the video better. Gen 6 and 7 starters are slow hunts. Yeah, we'll get there when we get there, I guess. Why would you say that now? ho will take you a month. ho not going to take us a month. If we're getting 10,000 encounters in a day, it'll take us, you know, if it really decides to be a dick, like four days max, which would be hilarious, by the way. But, you know, hopefully not. If ho get also gets HP grass, I will laugh. I, I'm hoping it gets HP dragon. That'd be really nice. What do you, if you don't use ho -Oh after getting it, why would I not use it? I, I feel like I'd be wasting people's time here. Man, these funny yolks are ex, uh, eggs, eggs, that doesn't work to you. You screwed it up. 40,000 is 9.99.99% chance of encountering, by the way. Sheesh. We should get it by then, then. Dragon cheese bird. We do want the dragon cheese bird. Up to about a 62.7% chance if uh, to, to have seen it by now. <sighs> We're just uh, kind of getting cu getting cooked today. Have you preferred streaming to uh, your background work over not streaming? Uh, well, with this, it's definitely been better for sure. I'm not sure if I would stream all of my uh, video creations, but for now, I'm definitely enjoying it. Damn, I stepped out for a call and we're nearly at 8k. Yeah. Getting close to slowpoke odds. Oh, we still have uh, about 1100 before we get to that point. Will you stream the next POC? I would love to stream the next Professor Oaks Challenge. If you're speeding the game up 100%, you might as well use cheat. No, it's... Oh, my God. How many of these people are we going to get in that's like, Ooh, you, you may as well use cheat codes. You may as well go fuck yourself. Uh, 3465, uh, Josu. I don't know how to pronounce that. For the 20, thank you. Have you heard of the Poke Park spinoffs? Of course. I had a Wii. I had both of them. Do you think you might do a POC of them? It would be funny. I definitely could consider it. Thank you as well for the... Uh, 20 buckaroonies to add to the timer. I very much do appreciate the, your generosity. And folks, we're back over... We're, we're finally over 66 hours. I think a section of uh, Legends Arceus break is worth it. That would be fun. That would be cool. Lamau, is that not a valid statement? Please help me to understand why I should go myself for making a valid point because it's not a valid point. It's because I'm using speed up doesn't make it any less uh, it doesn't make it cheating if you think speed up is cheating then it's not so fuck off i i'm here to make a video I, i'm uh, i'm here to be entertaining i'm not here to like you know bore the shit out of people with you know normal speed resets so
What about the Gen 2 change box gloating glitch? Is that legal? If it uh, if it's you can have six hoos. I don't uh, no. I can only use one of each species throughout the entire franchise. Not each one of each species line, mind you, of course, because I did use Geodude and I used Graveler, but or I used Golem, but I didn't use Graveler, hence why Graveler is on my team. The uh, only thing I would use a cheat code for is maybe if there was a code to bypass Mons being shiny locked. Well, even then, I I want to be I want to do it within the parameters of the game, but like speed up helps, and it's still you know. It's still the game. It's just increasing the speed of which I can do things. We'd be stuck here for like... No, we would be stuck here for 10 times the time because we're playing it at 10 times speed. Would you want me to stream for 120 hours, 140 hours to get just a slowpoke? No, you wouldn't. You'd be bored. Uh, if we, uh, No, we would probably already have Chikorita by now. Shalom. We did get it in 1100 resets, but that would be lucky. 8001 calling it? Let's see. You would still be farming Rattata, exactly. Like, if you don't like it, you don't have to watch. Feel free to go away at any time. Xavier uh, wondering if you own your own house. Also, he says hi. No, I'm just renting this place. Also, hello, Mr. Xavier. How are you? I hope you're uh, doing well. Long time no see. I hope you're doing as uh, well as well, Julian. He is. We're doing college right now. It's fun sometimes. Oh, you got you guys are rooming together. I'm assuming that would make sense. Where's Zubat? We never got it. We didn't need it. Good night, everyone. Enjoy the rest of the stream. Praying for a shiny soon for you. Thank you so much, Cool Blue Kid. It's definitely gonna be over nine thousand. I hope not. Might be asking too far ahead, but do you plan on using shiny hunting the static Braviary Mandibuzz in Gen Five? Oh, probably. It'd probably be more efficient to use those at level 25 than wait for, like, level 54 for them evol to evolve, you know. Try one reset at normal speed to show how dumb it would be. Alright, folks, you want to understand why we don't do these at normal speed. Let's show you. Alright. Do you like this? Do you think this is more entertaining? Uh, answer, gener uh, 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 like, answer, you know, honestly. Do you think that this is more entertaining? Would you rather me do this and not upload other videos? I'll keep doing it. If <laughs> you think this is more entertaining. It would have been funny if we got it in like three. If we got it, it during the the uh, the normal speed, I would have I would have been kind of mad because the guy would have been like rectified a little bit. Nope, exactly, Derek. Thank you. I wish I could be a mailman in 1975 buying a four-bedroom house instead of a software engineer in 2024 looking at studio apartments I can't afford. 
Welcome to America. I was kind of hoping it would be shiny like this. 10 out of 10 clip. I was kind of clip farming, admittedly. I was kind of clip farming. What's the countdown for? That's a, how long I have to play through the entire series. Uh, for every, you know, dollar super chat or, like, membership and stuff uh, that are people are sending it, it increases by uh, one minute per dollar through anything, through the gamer subs, through the memberships, through the uh, super chats. So it is... Uh, it is helping keep my food on my table while I do this and sacrifice other videos being made. Like, I'm doing as much as I can in the days off that I have, but, like, I need some time to myself, so... I blame the boomers. I do, too. How much do you think you make hourly streaming? Mm, I don't know. I mean, if I do, uh, if I keep the timer neutral by the end, I mean, it, it is $60 an hour, but uh, I am all, like, that's also including gamer subs, which uh, the gamer subs does not, I, I only get like a little bit of a cut from that. But I'm also trying to incentivize you guys to pick it up and you guys get something and you add to the timer because I really do want to work with them as much as possible. So I am kind of sacrificing a little bit on that. But, you know, it's no big deal. Time to himself sounds dirty. Time to myself means like I need to do, you know, I need to do like normal human things like laundry, dishes, you know, uh, paying my bills. Uh, growing grocery shopping, getting, uh, you know, going to the doctor, like doing all that stuff. I have, <laughs> it's crazy. Supporting sponsor goes further in the long run, exactly. It shows that you have a dedicated following, I would agree. Bill, he made the PC system, he did. Folks, we are... Getting dangerously close to odds. This is not good. We're like 123 encounters away from hitting uh, odds. What's better sub, Publix or Wawa? I've never had a Wawa sub. Uh, we have, we actually do have one close by, actually, which is odd, because uh, usually we don't have shit around here. But um, honestly, I don't even remember the last time I had a Publix. Sub. Usually it's just Subway. Think of it this way. We're making around 720 per stream. Since we've been doing uh, mid-neutral for every stream, but then you also lose a cut of everything. I lose 30% from YouTube. So take off 30% of that. And then include, like, also slice off 10% or 20% further uh, based on, like, how many of those... Uh, Hours were gamer subs, and yeah, I think it's a little bit more reasonable. It might sound like, oh man, that's a lot. I, I feel like we're doing uh, that. That's like way too much. But like after after all the fees and stuff, and after like the gamer subs, uh, you know, bit, I think that's uh, it, it comes out pretty reasonable. Uh, Pine Crow's month long subathon in 2022 seems like literal torture. Well, wasn't he like sleeping on stream and streaming the whole time? I don't think I could physically do that. I don't have that many, you know, articles of clothing. I also don't have, like, a mod cast. Did someone say titty milk? Yeah, you can get yourself some titty milk at exclamation point gamer subs. That is one of their signature flavors, and I've heard it's pretty good. And uh, I haven't gotten my container in yet, but I can't wait to try some titty milk in front of all of you guys. Every one of you, you're going to see me try titty milk. You're also paying taxes, so it cuts from your gains. Yeah, I basically have to also cut a quarter off the top of what I make as well. If not more, like 33%. I usually do 33%, which is a lot. I'm going to regret the asking this, but what does your shirt say? If you can read this, I was forced to re-enter society. But if you're reading this... And the, the, this is my society, so it's okay. It's just a shirt that I've had since, like, middle school. 
Uh, yes, I, I, I stopped growing in middle school. That's why I'm still 5'4". Hot tub meatball stream that when? What the fuck? No. Watching this and I just got a shiny Tepig and go. Sorry for stealing the luck. It's it's fine, Mad X. Oh, no. Oh, we're already in the 8100s. This is not a good sign. You're joking on the 5. No, I am legitimately 5'4". Try being 33 and only 4'11". Ouch. I'm out of the loop. Why did you decide decide to hunt Ho-Oh? Uh, don't you usually ban legendaries except for when you feel like you need them? Uh, I, I decided to hunt Ho-Oh Ho -Oh because I said, you know what? If I have the balls to hunt for something like this and I want to put in the time, I'm going to let myself use it because fuck it, it's funny. I stopped growing in like elementary uh, I'm also 5'4", but I'm also a girl, but it's not as bad. That's fair. Five four is average for a girl. Yeah, most I, most girls I've talked to are like exactly my height, which is kind of cool. Also, it's easy to hunt. Yeah, this honestly, it is kind of easy to hunt with the soft resetting. Yo, welcome back, Blake. Folks, also, we are one like away from 750 likes. If you have not liked the stream, make sure to scroll down. Even double check, triple check. Just to make sure you have and tab over if you're just listening in. I'm trying to hit 1,000 likes today. So even if we could like try pushing it to 800 right now that'd be great we have the most people that we've ever had in one of these streams three 370 that's crazy thank you guys for being here i hope you're enjoying the uh the ho -Oh hunt the ho -Oh hunt my dad is six four please my latina queen is five five i'm gonna wake her up to tell her she is tall she will murder me my god also, two hours and change from 69 hours, a nice amount. Folks, actually, we're three hours away from 69. Can we get the timer up to 69 hours? I believe in you. I think it'd be great. I think it'd be funny. I just want to make jokes about funny number. <laughs> I'm as tall as Slow King. I, I don't know how tall Slow King is. Being shorter has its perks, like being able to sit on a plane mo seat more comfortably. That's true, but I also need to lose more weight so I could, you know, fit in the, the thing, uh, you know, width-wise a little easier. My friend is 6'2", and his girlfriend of three years is like five foot. Oh, what a dichotomy. That's crazy. Where do you want the timer at? 69 hours, folks. And, you know, you can increase that timer if you're curious as to how to increase that timer. Um, I'm doing a donothon, which basically means every dollar that's thrown to me through a super chat uh, will add one minute to the timer. Memberships add five minutes. And if you get anything using exclamation point gamer subs, you get both 10% off your, uh, your purchase there. So you get stuff. And for every dollar that you spend, I'll add a minute to the timer if you get any of the, specifically the drink, uh, like the drink, you know, tubs, uh, the tubs of drink mix, uh, the cups, and any of the snacks over there, so. I'm 6'2", and I've always dated girls like 5'4 to 5'0". I mean, hey, sometimes people are just tall kings, and it works. It would really help learning choreography for shows. I tend to hide around the back because I suck at dancing, which leads to me not being able to see around my taller peers. Oof. I don't know how much about um, much about Gen 2 shiny RNG, but reset resetting like this doesn't hit the same frames. No, it does not. It is advancing the RNG. But this kind of reset avoids that problem. Correct, it's soft resetting.
Lord Cooler, is that the reference to the, um, to the f fucking, uh, what, what, what it's called? The War Thunder thing that just happened today? That's because girls are 5 0 to 5 4, uh, like 80% of, of the time, unless you're in Scandinavia. I don't know. I've met a lot of, you know, very tall women in my life. Almost full odds. We're 12 encounters away from full odds, folks. Are we really going to get there? No. Please. <laughs> you know what would be funny? 8,193. Let's do it. Come on, ho, ho Give me 8,193 just so that I could laugh my ass off. Please. It would be really funny. It would be really funny. Eighty-one ninety-one, eighty-one ninety-two. That is full odds, and we haven't gotten it. But it's gonna be right here, isn't it? Right here. Oh no, it's not. Damn it. Okay. Well, I I guess I'm gonna keep going. Uh, will a video of the whole run be on this channel after? Of course, folks. If you guys think that uh, I'm not gonna be making a video out of this, you're sorely mistaken. See, this is just the process of making the video that you don't usually see, is recording the run, like. This is just me recording the run, but instead of, you know, doing it on my own without being in front of viewers, I'm doing it in front of viewers. And because of that, you guys get to see this part, but I am also, you know, you know, making it a video, so you just get to see a little bit more of the process. It's going to be over 9,000, sadly. I'll do the voice if it is. You've inspired me to restart LGPE and shiny hunt a team. Still stuck in Viridian Forest, hunting Caterpie for six hours. I feel that. I got really lucky. A $200 microphone compressor on 40 for $40 on Target. Ooh. Shiny at $82.69. Everybody wants $69 to be at the end. Can you put unknown first? It will give luck. Uh, I, put, I, uh, I put Graveler up first because... Uh, specifically, I wanted to. It, it's fine. It doesn't. It doesn't change anything. Not nah, lead with slow king. It doesn't change anything. It's fine. Pug, if it took that many encounters, we would be here for a year. Also, if uh, I was told that the chances of us getting the ho -Oh in 40,000 encounters, what is 99.99% according to, like, some statistics math that somebody who actually took that class uh, ended up doing. So, if we, if we ever, if we even went that far, I would, like, lose, I would lose my, my whole, my, my, my soul would leave my body. <laughs> Didn't you have a golem? Yes. And you want to know how that happened? You have to watch the final video to find out. 99.92852672422 at 40k. Jeez. So I should basically be guaranteed at that point. Right. Good night, everyone. I hope you get the ho-ho tonight in my sleep. I will try my best, Elisa. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a good night sleep. Crystal or silver next? Silver. I'm doing these in chronological order. Will you play Poke Rogue? I gave a shot at Poke Rogue, and I, I I talked about it on Twitter a bit. I just think it's a little un, a little uh, poopy. Why am I always like? Why am I five levels under leveled by like the twenty fifth floor? Like, how am I supposed to recover? I just keep losing all my money because things keep getting hit, hit because I keep getting outsped. So, like, what the fuck? Why do I have to basically hope to God that I eventually get a shiny to win the game? Or not a shiny, a uh, legendary Pokemon. It's just kind of poopy. I've been doing this project for a year now. I've only... Uh, 
I only banned the Hall of Fame team and it's still kicking my ass? Really? Damn. At Pokemon Sun now, attempt... Huh? How are you? What? I'm so confused. Why is there so many numbers? What do you mean attempt? If someone gifts a, a membership, that is a membership that you were thinking Twitch, uh, and I'm, uh, I am already a member, I dodge or I'm immune? You are immune because you already have one. Would you ever place an upper limit on a shiny hunt? No. If it took 100k resets, I would just have terrible freaking luck. Again, like, um, who is it that said it earlier? Um, like Arctic Bomb said, we have a 99.928% chance of getting the shiny by 40k according to, like, statistical, you know, uh, statistics math. So... If it takes more than 40k for anything, like that's that's when it's become a problem. There's no macro configuration you could do to automate this. I'm sure there is, but I'm I'm I want to do this myself, you know. That's that's the the part of it, you know. There's the human aspect. I want to do this challenge myself. If we get over 100,000, you should just cheat one in. Mmm. No. If it gets that bad, then I feel like I'll be like, I will be news across uh, the Pokemon space. Unluckiest motherfucker has to reset over 100,000 times for a Pokemon that's not shiny locked. He's even doing it at 10 times speed. What a pussy. A macro would cheapen the challenge, yeah. It needs to be called Warhammer if it hits 40k. True! Your words, not ours. I mean, that is true. I mean, I would, I would say that because I'm, I'm an asshole. For the regular full series, did you EB train and, tra or, and train everything manually? I did uh, EB train, yeah. Is ho -Oh the final team member? Yes. <laughs> Man resets 100,000 times for a shiny ho -Oh and is still yet to find it. God, what what a world we would live in if that's the fucking case. Yeah, if I had counted the all the encounters while trying to get Zubat, I went like 16k without getting a single shiny. Then shifted over to slow uh, Slowpoke, which then took another further 9k. So it took like 25k encounters to finally get a fucking shiny. The longest shiny hunt ever was 240k encounter. There's no fucking way. I need to I need to see a video on like the history of the world's longest Pokemon shiny hunt. Like somebody do, should do a video on that. Coming back hours later just to see the only difference in the stream is the encounter number going up like six thousand. I could never, but I respect your determination. Thank you, Blind Bandit. I appreciate it. I feel this so much though. I'm at 10k plus resets for the BDSP Arceus, and that's with the easier fourth at one in four thousand ninety six odds. Wait, that might be two mil. It's unclear. There's no way. So what you're saying is, we're going to beat the record. <laughs> yes. Folks, we are 27 likes away from 800. Make sure you've liked the stream. You know, it really helps. Double check, you know. What if you accidentally missed the like button? What if you clicked like right next to it and thought, oh, I clicked it and then scrolled back up. But you didn't. So you should double check. And it helps the stream out a lot. So thank you. Maybe we should do a ritual for the golden chicken. What, what is that? Like eat 40 rotisserie chickens? Real problem for us Australians. The upside down and not, uh, not counting like button. That's true. Not very good at rhythm games. Got problems with the muscles in my hands, so I would have to have too much trouble with them. My uh, my my wrists hurt because of you know 
everything I've done. And then again, I they started doing that in middle school, but I have fine. Uh, I, I am lucky enough to be able to do rhythm games and play guitar. Like, it doesn't hurt. It just makes that cracking noise, and I don't know why it does that. The dude phased 31 times before getting his Ralt, so it really was a 240k encounters for a single shiny. Still sucks, though. I mean, still, yeah, like, fuck. I don't want to do that. Arthritis? It doesn't hurt. But my family has a history of arthritis, so I wouldn't be surprised if I get hit with it, too. Well, and yet, here we are. But yeah, but at least it's not 240,000 fucking encounters. I defeated Through the Fire and Flames on Expert Guitar uh, on Guitar Hero 3 and Hits XD. I did too. I did it on Guitar Hero 3. I did it on Smash Hits. Uh, I think it was on Smash Hits. I don't remember what the other game it was on. But I know I did it. It was fun. I remember having fun with that song. You know R Wally can find a, R a shiny and he throws it away? I know. I've seen it. Not myself, but I I think that even freaking, um, you know, Worcester has run into it. Oh, it's Greatest Hits? Oh, I didn't know that it was called that, Wallum, in, in uh, EU slash Australia. That's crazy. Wally hates the color blue, of course. That's true. In case you're curious, Meatball, my hand is the size of my iPhone 13. My mouse and my controller, I'm 5'10 with a size 11 shoe. Okay, so you have a slightly bigger hand than I do. Again, 5'4, very small individual. Don't show Wally the coin case. He'll die. This is the story that never ends. That's true. It really isn't. <laughs> Please, ho ho. Why are you doing this to me? I thought we were going to finish the game today. I thought we were going to be, you know, nice and crisp. You know, finish yellow, or not finish yellow, finish gold today. We were going to go fight the Elite Four. We were going to get through Kanto. We were going to beat Red. It was going to be so fun. But no, you had to be a big old chickeny bitch. I need to adjust my leg. My leg is in pain. Ow. 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 Uh, that is not it. Nope. 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 Oh, please bless us with your Winged Dragon of Raw pl cosplay, or colors. Uh, it should be cosplay, true. Ho oh, could be killed by Lance's Aerodactyl, though. It could be. Or we can just use, like, Slow King to kill it with, like, a water move. At least you're not one of the the only unlucky one. I just bit down on one of those tiny tomatoes and it fucking squirted out uh, over my lips onto my keyboard. That's funny. I'm sorry, but very funny. Are you fighting red? Yes, a Johto Nuzlocke is not finished unless you fight red. If you don't, you are a pussy. <laughs> oh god, are we going to have to do this for Lugia too? Eventually. Just threw, uh, threw Fortress and made it explode like a hand grenade? What? I don't get it. What, what are you re uh, referring to? Since we are over 8,192, you can send a letter complaining to Game Freak and they will bail you out of Shiny Pikachu as apology. That uh, that would be warranted. You know, for a moment, I was like, fight me? For what? What Did I, did I say something? You're going to get banned? What do you mean I'm going to get banned? 
That's not something I can get banned for. Surely. When I'm referring to a scaredy cat, you know? That's what it refers to. Sorry, Meatball, I tried everything when it came to my phone and her laptop. Just can't figure it out. It won't let me change my card information. Um, do you still do the Patreon? No. You can get something off at Gamer Supps. <laughs> I'm, I feel like you might be able to do that. I can add from there. Come on, hello, please. Can, can you, like, be kind to me today? I would very much appreciate it. Get the Anime Girl stickers true. That I can... What is it called? That I can. What is it called? Exclamation point gamers ups. Use, uh, use code uh, meatball. Or not code meatball. Chaotic meat. To get 10% off. Uh, and if you buy any of the, the cups, the drink tubs, the drink mix tubs, or any of the snacks, you can get 10% off and uh, you add a minute to the timer for each dollar you spend. Oh no, not the internet doing this shit again. Really? Am I getting throttled again? Really? Again? Come on. I already dealt with this today twice. Don't do it again. If you do it again, I'm going to call you and send you a strongly worded email. Isn't there gamer soups now? Yes, it, there is. You can get, uh, you know, that's what they call their instant ramen. I just completed Pokemon Gold for the first time. Loved it. Hmm. Hey, if you enjoyed it, there we go. Guys, out, uh, outed on 144p so it helps. It doesn't do anything to you. Why do you keep saying that? No, it doesn't do anything. It is my connection to the fucking ISP who's throttling the shit out of me right now. Stop throttling me, assholes. I know you can hear me. I'll call you and complain because that's the only thing I can do. Why the fuck are you allowed to do this? All the waifu cups are sold out. Unsurprising, they usually are. What did I miss? Nothing. They need to bring back 2D sprites walking behind you. Everybody seems to like that. That's just, sure, it's a cute little, you know, detail, but I'd rather get the game be better. Yo, did we break 400 people in here right now? Wow, I very much appreciate you guys being here. Um, my ISP is currently throttling me just a little bit, so don't be surprised if there's a couple hiccups. It's happening again. You motherfuckers, bring back my internet! Uh, thank you for throttling when we were at uh, we were at record uh, record people in here. ISP, you suck. You know because uh, people were like, "Oh, he's lagging. We should leave. This doesn't seem entertaining." You know, what great timing. Uh, I'm trying my best, folks. I'm just a little bit down. What gen does it go down to? Four thousand ninety-six. Gen six. But folks, also, if you have not liked the stream yet, I would very much appreciate if you gave the stream a like. We are seven likes away from 800. I'm trying to hit 1,000 today. <laughs> we lost like 100 people because of that throttling, by the way. It went from 400 down to 312. <laughs> down to 304. Folks, uh, maybe people are, are leaving because I'm saying the viewer number. I don't know, but I have a feeling it's because of the throttling. They are literally cock-blocking me. Do the hoodies count? No, because I do not get, like, any cut whatsoever from those. We had this problem happen once before, and they spent, like, 50 on the, the hoodie, and I got, like, $2. 
And I'm like, mm, I don't, can't add 50, 50 uh, minutes for $2. That's not good. Well, it seems like we've stabilized, but either way, unfortunate that that happened when, like, you know. I don't know what happened. Like, why did we raise up so much? It didn't say that anybody raided us. It didn't say anything, but every, like, uh, it just had a lot of people come in and then immediately get throttled and then leave. So that sucks. I was hoping, you know, maybe some more people would enjoy my misery of trying to find this shiny ho -Oh. Also, folks, my goal for today is to try to get the timer above 66 hours by the end of the day. I'm going to be streaming for another 2 hours and 22 minutes. 2 hours and 22 minutes. So, if we can get it above uh what we if we add like three more hours to the timer we will be uh be there uh you can do so through super chats you know every dollar adds a, a minute to the timer through super chats every memberships adds five minutes to the timer you can get one for yourself you can get one for other people that may not be able to you know contribute which is fine you know some people are just not in a good financial position but they need some free entertainment and i'm happy to be able to provide that uh, and it would be generous of you if you did that for them and for me, because I really do want to make sure this timer's up. And the last thing you can do, of course, is using exclamation point gamer subs. You can pick up any of those delicious flavors. I very much recommend the pineapple cocktail. I tried that, and that shit was good. Uh, if you want to get any of the drinks on there, any of the cups or any of the snacks, you can use code chaotic meat by using my affiliate link at exclamation point gamer subs. And by doing that, uh, of course, you get the 10% off. And then for every dollar that you spend, you'll add a minute to the timer. Mr. Meatball, sir, do you still want me to yell at your internet company? It would be funny if I could get you to do that. One day. Yo, Master Blee and Refall. Thank you both for the $3 and the membership, respectively. That adds eight minutes to the timer. Very nice. Let me just check gamer subs to make sure. Did anything move today? Nothing has moved on the side of gamer subs today. But do they count for the clothes? Uh, no, no, James. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's why I've been specifically specifying the drink tubs, the cups, and the, the snacks because there's like no cut on the clothes. <laughs> Ah. There we go. Oh, right. I forgot to unpause the game. Another cool thing that Ace does lets you trade missing node to Gen 2. Oh, that is kind of cool. Not long until the 69420. Well, that's the thing. We're re we're soft resetting, so we're uh, we're not adding any time to the to the uh, in-game timer. Does fairy type exist in Blaze Black? I do not know. The franchise lock was a genius idea. I appreciate that, Derek. I didn't come up with it. Fun fact. The franchise lock was an idea of somebody in my Discord server at like 2 a.m. And I said, fuck it. Let me try that. That seems like really cool. And I did. And then somehow the first video of that became my third most popular video on my channel with over a million views. So if you want to know where good ideas that pop off in YouTube come from, they come from someone else's asshole sometimes. <laughs> How long until 69-420 because we could time it so that we beat the game then? Nah, we don't have to. I made a Starbucks Karen cry yesterday because she didn't understand. I just wanted an extra large black coffee and she cried. It was hilarious and she got fu- What the fuck? That's, that's also mean, Chad. What? Was it their fault or was it somebody else's fault? They could have just been stressed out. They're in the service industry. They deserve as much leniency as they can get because they sure as hell aren't getting paid enough to deal with all of the other people and their bosses. I wish people were more patient with people in, in the service industry. Like, I, d don't treat people like shit just because they are, they are at their job. 
Remember, these people are humans as well, but they are also working for a company that has way too much money, and they are not getting paid enough to be there. So... Would be cool if someone bribed you to name ho -Oh ra I already got bribed to name ho -Oh lugia <laughs> California just went up to $20 an hour for fast food employees. That's the thing. It doesn't help. You know why? Because they're just going to raise all the prices there. They're going to maintain their same profit margins. People are going to complain that they're not making enough for a living wage. They're going to increase it again, and then the companies are just going to increase their prices again. It's a cycle that just keeps happening that nobody seems to understand how to break. It does not do anything. The thing that needs to happen is, unfortunately, uh, you know, I don't know if I really want to go, like, super, like, you know, social, political, and, like, economic here. But at the, I mean, uh, capitalism at its heart is going to be fueled by greed. And the greed is going to make sure that they have as high a profit margin as possible. They're going to make sure they pay people as little as possible. And they're going to make sure to keep uh, buy as low quality of products as possible to increase that profit while making sure people still like it. So... What do you do? Unfortunately, this is where, you know, government sometimes needs to get involved. And I think they need to be involved in the service industry, in the food service industry, and in the, um, you know, the uh, retail industry. I think there just needs to be, you know, a max profit margin placed on those companies. Like, you can hit that max profit margin, but that's all you can do. You cannot go over that. That is what probably needs to do needs to happen. But you know what? They would be fucking terrified if people realized that was what needed to happen and not the increasing of minimum wage. Because the increasing of minimum wage will continue to not uh, not affect them. It will only affect the people. It will not affect the people that are high up on the food chain. Exactly, exactly, JoJo. I didn't come here for politics. I came here for Pokemon. I know. And you know what, what's crazy is I grew up in a conservative family and I used to believe all of those other things where like uh, like all of the other stuff was good. But like, no, once you get down to it, like, no, no, it's not. I don't understand why somebody that's far down on the totem pole would ever think that, um, you know, capitalism is good for them. Trickle down economics never worked. Like it's, I don't know. I hope to see it change within my lifetime. I don't know if I ever do. But I will leave it at that so we don't get all super political in here. I don't want to bog anybody down. Went shopping at Walmart and came back to No Shiny yet? Yeah. Before Costco, I worked at Domino's a few years ago. Uh, prices at that time were about $12 per medium pizza without a coupon. Now it's $20 per pizza? Exactly. And now the coupon, uh, and the coupon are now pricey. Yeah, it's like you're... They're just going to keep increasing the price if they have to keep, you know, paying people more. That's how it works. I think most people on the internet are liking capitalism less, which is cool. And, like, look, capitalism is the reason I, we get to do this. And it's kind of hard to, like, also be against capitalism because it's like, okay, I enjoy being able to make enough to where I, I kind of get to play, you know, I get to play video games for people to entertain people. That's, that's an amazing job. But at the same time, I want pe I want things to change for other people. I want to still be able to do this, but, you know, I still want the, the conditions to improve for other people. Young people hate capitalism. Hey, once all the old farts are gone, I think the world changes for the better. We'll see. Unfettered, yeah. Because that's what leads to, like, the late-stage capitalism issues that we're having right now. Domino's medium pizza is, like, $7 with the coupon. Uh, used to be 6 I will survive. They just said it was, like, 20 Maybe you just live in a really cheap area. I don't know.
Eighty-two forty-nine spent on this website. Let me go take a look. Oh, please tell me you used my code. Did you type in code chaotic meat when you went to check out, by the way? If not, it's not going to show up. And I do not see the order in here. I'll give it a few minutes to let it uh, come back in, in case it takes a few minutes to pop up. Y'all have a good night. Take care, Jack Skis. Hope you have a wonderful night. Only is that 10k rerolls the speedrunning community. Or the, no, it would be the shiny hunting community has entered the chat, exactly. Do you have a Phoebus waifu cup? That would be great. Phoebus waifu cup would be so funny. Probably leaving now. Bye. Also, good luck. Thank you, Tuio. I have you. I hope you have a good night. Well, remember when we were gonna beat the game today? I was gonna take a day off today, and I didn't. And then, whoops! Look what happened. I streamed for almost twelve hours again. I can never tell from from the angle. Do you have long hair? Does this help? Uh, that do it I don't know if it's too dark for the camera but hair is longer than mine yeah mine is uh is pretty good I didn't know I had to do that, but I tagged you in it? What do you mean you tagged me in it? If I have to get a hold of the the partner people. Can you, like, DM me the, uh, oh, on X? On Twitter. Just take a look here. Um, I don't see a mention of the, uh, of the discount code. Did you get 10% off? I didn't know. Yeah, that's why I said you have to use the referral link and use my code chaotic meat. Well, now I'm sa I'm sorry. Let me, uh, let me message my, my folks to see. If I can do do something for you about this. Uh, I'm messaging the guys that I'm usually doing this whole, uh, I tagged you in the screenshot of the order on it. I know, I know you tagged me that I'm just trying to, um, trying to get, uh, see if I can get them to retroactively, um, add the code. Do you have the, uh, the order number? You can like DM me the uh, the order number on Discord because I can't see it from your uh, from your screenshots. That'd be appreciated. 
Sorry, folks. Uh, just, you know, the guy almost spent $100. I don't want him to lose out on his uh, on the time on the timer here. I'd, I'd be mad if, uh, if it, it wasn't working. So I, I've messaged them. Uh, I don't know if I, uh, when I'm going to get a response, but I'm going to keep this open over here. And then uh, I will let you know when I do. Yeah, this is the first time I've unironically seen somebody call Twitter X as well. Yeah. Coupon code, so I didn't know how to do it. Uh, I don't... I, I thought it would autofill uh, the coupon code if you used my affiliate link. Did you not click from using exclamation point gamer subs? I do have the order number. Yeah. you uh, Send it to me on Discord. Use exclamation point Discord. Don't send it... I, by the way, you didn't even black out your address well enough on Twitter, so like... You should probably delete that. It, send that to me on Discord. The chicken is a lie. The chicken is a lie. The chicken is a lie. <laughs> Ow. I choked because I said the chicken was a lie. The chicken will now awaken. Why are the cups such just degenerate fuel? They have a lot of VTubers on their whole thing. A lot of them are, uh, you know... They, they enjoy a little bit of NSFW art from time to time. Everybody needs to let off steam somehow, I guess. Me, the way I, I let off steam is by having a nice ice-cold glass of gamers. <laughs> that was a terrible segment. It, it does taste good, though. So if you're, like, worried about it not being a quality product, it is a quality product. It's keto-friendly. There's both caffeinated and non-caffeinated versions. I, um, I've been using it as a soda and energy drink replacement since I started keto. It's been great. Will do. Have to make one. Gotcha. Sorry, I... I Wish I had made sure that you had entered the code right or everything. Or, or everything. Are they fast at replying? Uh, usually... Um, it might just be because it's late at night that they aren't, uh, that they haven't replied yet, but, you know, it has only been, like, five minutes since I sent it to them. In the meantime, folks, if you, uh, if you would like to help increase the timer beyond 66 hours, uh, that would be very much appreciated. My goal is to get it above 66 by the end of the stream. We're going to be streaming for another two hours tonight. Um, so we need, like... What do we need? We need, like... I don't know how much time on the timer. I can't... I can't do math. I gotta admit, the Swagger Souls one is peak. What, the cup? We need three hours, 42 minutes le uh, added on to the timer. To, uh, to get us there. We would need 3 hours 45 minutes because it's technically uh, 2 hours 3 minutes remaining on the, uh, on the stream. I'm from the future. Uh, you'll get a shiny at 93.12. Oh, thank God. I got a worn past meatball. <laughs> One of the... Uh, you know, I just like stealing Scott the Waz bits. It's good. They're good bits. They're funny.
<laughs> Lamar. Scott the Waz is always funny. He's been funny since he started. The motherfucker's been funny for seven years. It's been great. Are we really going to have our first one go to 10,000 today? That would be crazy. Scott the Waz is my favorite trans guy ever. I don't think he is. I think he is cis, uh, he's cis male, but, uh, I don't know. At least he's never talked about it. He seems like he, uh, he presents himself as if he is cis male, but if he is anything different, I, d I don't know, because he's never spoken about it. So, Mr. Meats, are you going to take a break tomorrow? If I'm not finished with this game today, no. So I made the account. What do I do now? Exclamation point Discord. Join my server. Message me with your uh, with your order number. And uh, I'll send them the order number. He is cis. It's a Twitter joke. Oh, okay. And also, folks, uh, you you all can also join my Discord server. Uh, we just put the exclamation point Discord in the chat. I've had a few hundred people join in over the course of the past week and a half or so. It's been great seeing the amount of livelihood that's been in that server. And all the fan... I I've seen a lot of fan art recently, too, of this series, which has been, like, so incredible. Like, I've only gotten one piece of fan art in, like, five years. But this, like, week and a half has provided, like, half a dozen pieces plus, which is crazy. So, you guys are great. I really do appreciate it. And so, I would highly recommend you join it. I think there's a lot of fun people in there. Including myself. You know? The meat boy. Good lord, I left at 1,000, came back at 4,000, came back at over 8,000. There is Piss Rat fan art. There's a really good one. One of my favorites was with, with during our uh, Piss Rat adventures. Oh my god. It was so good. Is this song from Golden Sun? No, this is a guitar playthrough of Mega Man Zero 02 for the Game Boy Advance. I am a super meat boy? No, that would be copyright. I can't be a super meat boy. I'm a chaotic meat boy. No. Reset. No. <sighs> did you see my drawing of Deadpool? I did. It looked great. Oh, I think I got the message from James. I just refreshed again on my gamer sub dashboard and it didn't uh it still isn't there so yeah they'll have to probably step in anyway sorry about that folks and sorry about that especially to you james jeez oh did i get a response oh no that was you okay hello kevin's how are you doing Eighty seven hundred. Eighty seven hundred. I have grinded my single player sorceress on Diablo two from sixty to seventy four during the last couple of streams. That's crazy. Hi, I'm back, still no cover verb. Welcome back. Alolan Richu, how are you doing?
Okay. I did not get a response from who we were expecting, but I do uh, I do need to add those two minutes. Folks, again, we are just trying to get the timer over 66 hours by the end of the stream. I'm streaming for another hour and 57 minutes. Are the shiny odds over 8,000? Uh, no, there's still one in 8,192. It's just uh, we went over odds. Uh, it's happened a couple times. Dude, this one slaps as background music for the 40k game I'm playing. Hell yeah, brew him. It's, uh, again, from the Mega Man Zero um, 2 guitar playthrough for the Game Boy Advance. It's by Met on uh, YouTube. I'm doing okay just at work for the next eight hours. Jeez. Well, thank you for uh, listening in if uh, if it does get you through work then. Hopefully we get this shiny soon. Uh, agreed. Jesus Christ. You are now on my TV. Hell yeah, Zuger. What are the shiny odds in Gen 1? It's, uh, it's still 1 in 8,192. But they just don't appear physically because they weren't implemented in the original Game Boy hardware. So, but you can still get the IVs that are or the DVs that are necessary if you transfer it over to Gen Two. But they are still the same chance. What type of controller are you rocking with? I am using an 8-bit Do SN30 Pro. I'm using a wired version. Very uh, one of my favorite controllers I've ever used. It is an SNES-shaped controller with dual analog sticks on the bottom, similarly to the DualShock uh, for the PlayStation. And uh, it has two sets of shoulder buttons. So it plays pretty much every 3D game. I used it for Legends Arceus. It's fantastic. And it's just a generic USB. It works fan... Uh, I just fucking love it. It's great. And the buttons are in the same position as they would be on any other Nintendo controller. I've seen a yellow to crystal Mewtwo hunt. Mad Lad uh, had to Master Ball each Mewtwo catch and check the stats. Yeah, if you're not using Nora's patch, you're going to need to do that, which is, you know, frustrating. Nope. Nope. Uh, was that a response or was that the other thing? Okay. That's a nice sounding Game Boy. I agree. Yeah, I'm starting to see why the shiny odds got decreased later on. How are you not going insane by this? I'm just kind of really... I'm really fucking stubborn is what I am. If I can bash my head into the wall and eventually I'll succeed, I'll fucking do it until I'm bloodied and battered. That's basically... That's basically what's happening here. Compound odd 65% to, to have seen it by now with 8735 encounters. That's crazy. Well, I mean, that's still, you know, missing a blizzard plus 5%, so I, I'm not surprised. My goal today is to at least either get it or get to 10,000. And then, uh, you know, I guess we will have one more stream to finish off the game. That's a nice Game Boy to play your Minecraft on, I would have to agree. Then on to Silver? Um, yeah, probably. I'll probably take a day off to uh, to work on the making sure that the script and voiceover are for this video are done. But I'm going to do each game separately. So, that helps. 
Almost 1K likes. Are we at almost 1K? Are we over 800? Yes, we are. Holy shit, we're at 826. Folks, 827. My goal today is 1,000 likes. We haven't broken that so far in this series. We need 173 more likes until uh, until we hit it. Can we hit it by the end of the stream? We have another hour and 50 minutes to go. I'd very much appreciate it. We could finally break the four-digit barrier. I also have the goal today of keeping the timer over 66 hours by the end, getting a nice net positive of plus two hours by the end. S specifically 66 hours and 10 minutes, but um, that would be a plus two hours flat across the, um, the timer. And you can do that through, you know, Super Chats. Every dollar that you Super Chat will add a minute to the timer. Every membership that you either get for yourself or you gift to the chat will add five minutes each. And, of course, using exclamation point gamer subs, as Tayman has put in the chat, you can uh, get anything on there, get 10% off. But if you specifically get any of the tubs of drink mix, any of the cups, or any of the snacks, you can you still get the 10% off, but if you get any of those products, I will also bump in uh, for every dollar that you buy anything off of there. I'll add a minute to the timer for each dollar. Uh, assuming you beat the game tomorrow, when do you plan to uh, start streaming silver? So I'm going to take the day off Friday, and then I'll start streaming silver Saturday. Math Bros, when is it 69% that the shiny should have happened? That would be funny. Probably buy 10,000. Dang, the sleep aids are both sold out. Are they really? I did not know that. I'm lucky to be getting one of those uh, one of those tubs then. We've hit 8,800. 200 away from 9,000, and then I can make the joke. Yeah, make sure you use that link, and make sure that you have applied the code chaoticmeat at checkout. Otherwise, it will not, uh, you know, count on my dashboard, and therefore I can't, like, add time for it. It is hard to endorse capitalism when 450 people made $4 trillion right before everything became more expensive. Real figures from Forbes. Jesus Christ. Matthew, that is, uh, that is a lot. Boy, I could use, like, hey, can I borrow, like, or could I have, like, a million of that? Thanks. I can, you know... It's Honestly, I think I could retire on 10 million. That'd be crazy. You know, invest half of it, or probably invest like 9 million of it, keep a million of it to, you know, pay for expenses. Because I think my expenditures uh, outside of my job are like 3,000 a month, about there. If I can, like, estimate maybe. I could do that. But damn. Does GamerSups ship internationally? Yes, they do. I think it's a little bit more expensive on the shipping because of that, but still. You, know, you kind of have to expect that out of a U.S. company. So is Purple Chompy Boy next for silver? Absolutely, Chase. And folks, we are 162 likes away from hitting a thousand my goal is to hit a thousand likes on this stream it'd be the first time we hit a thousand likes on any of the streams so double check make sure you have liked the stream scroll down tab over if you're just listening in and we can hit that together at 537 soft resets still no shiny mud kip hey <laughs> i'm at 8088 uh or 8829 soft resets and i haven't gotten it so Sorry, you're not allowed to retire until you finish the Pokemon Mainline series with only Shinies. That's true. Chat demands it. Thank you, Alolan Richu, for the five. Oh, we did just get also a GamerSupps order this minute. We just got it this minute for $35.99, so I'm adding 36 minutes to the timer. Boom. We're close to getting back over to 66 hours, folks. Awesome. Oh, hey, that's me. 
Thank you, Gallon. I appreciate it. I re refreshed it at the right time. It's by 95 95 encounters. Gotcha. I wanted lean, so I got lean. Hell yeah, Gallon. I hope you enjoy it. We'll get others another day, like Gamer Fart and Titty Milk. Understandable. I actually really enjoyed the pineapple cocktail. I got one of the samples of that one. I would highly suggest you check that one out if you like uh, if you like tropical flavors. That one was oh, that was like my favorite. I need to get a tub of that ASAP. I'm playing Omega Ruby. Gotcha. Uh, also, that response was very late, Roger. You might want to put the stream on like 1.75 or two times speed to catch up to live because the ultra low latency late ultra low latency should have you only a maximum of about 10 seconds behind what I'm saying in real time. Whoa, 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 whoa! Holy shit, Joe! Thank you for the 80 Australian dollars. Hey, mate, I'll make sure that, uh, that you're over 66 hours and 10 minutes before the end of stream. I very much appreciate that. Let me, uh, AUD to USD, 7999. Thank you. That is adding 52 minutes to the timer. So that's minus 8 minutes, which would bring it to 46, so 1646. I have to do this, like, with the clock, which is a little frustrating. But there we go. 6635. I put it in late. Oh, gotcha. But thank you so much, Joe, for the generous donation of that much. Thank you for contributing to the timer. Oh, okay. All right. Um, let's get it. This ho is fucking stubborn. I agree. I agree. Agree. Uh, your average folio. There's still a 35% chance of seeing zero. You've basically just hit fissure. Basically, I've just hit like it's like a one in one in three. Uh, I can reset this one. This one's not shiny. And that did count, so we can do our soft resetting again. We may not know Joe's mama, but we do know his money. True! Can I get any truers in chat? Do we have any truers here tonight? I am going to be going for another hour and 40 four minutes today so we need what one more hour and 11 minutes to add to the timer and we will be over 66 it'd be an hour and 21 minutes if i want to go exactly two hours positive today hour and 21 minutes hey it's daytime again it is hanging in there man i'm doing my best blue blaze how about yourself how are you doing good night meatball i just hopped in in what mons did you lose uh, you'll have to see in the final video, you know? You don't want to spoil yourself for that, right? This is, of course, getting edited down just like any other of my videos. You just get to see the whole gameplay, which, uh, you know, you don't always get to see every day. I wish I had the time and patience patience to try a shiny hunt, so watching will do for now. Uh, believe me, I, I, wouldn't have the ti I wouldn't have the time and patience if it weren't for you guys, uh, especially if I was doing it on normal speed. <laughs> Ever consider doing a pacifist run of a Pokemon game? I don't know what that would look like. Sounds like it would be kind of interesting, but I don't know how I would, like, work something like that. As somebody who's never played Undertale, I would also, like, kind of be... It wouldn't it wouldn't fit with my, my own, like, whole gimmick. Because I just, I've never played it, so I w it wouldn't make sense for me to do it. With Fire Flying, may want to make the mental note of which mons no rock throw. That's true. Don't worry, we have Slowking. We have uh we have Fortress, we have Graveler. We can do it. Basically, you cannot deal direct damage, you have to use status moves and abilities. Gotcha. I have a shiny memory of uh where BDSP uh, BD and SP came out and I got my shiny chimchar at about ten hours of resetting. That's pretty fast, Brim. Damn. 
Congratulations. Also, we are 152 likes away from hitting 1,000 likes. That is my goal for today, chat. So if you guys, again, I'm going to hammer the point home. Double check your likes. Make sure you have liked the stream. Uh, scroll down. Tab over if you're just listening. It really does help. We have gone 700 over odds, and we have still yet to get a shiny. Could it be done with a bulky mon using status and rocky helmet? Because technically you're not hitting them. I mean, against physical mons, probably. Talk of Undertale, my ex got mad at me because my first playthrough of Undertale, I just went full genocide mode. I mean, how are you supposed to know from the start? Like, are you just treated as a normal RPG, I'm sure, right? But my goal today is to either get the shiny uh, ho or get to 10,000 resets. One of the two. Hopefully the first one. But if I have to get to 10,000, we'll get to 10,000. And we'll just pick it up tomorrow. But again, I am going for another hour and 40 minutes. Have you ever played Hollow Knight? I, I spent a couple hours on it. I never finished it, though. I should do that, though, because I, I have it on my Switch. One day. One day. I, I got to get it fixed, too. I think one of the ribbon cables, uh, like the display ribbon cable, um, disconnected on the inside of it. So I got to get a tri-head screwdriver or tri-wing screwdriver to uh, to get in there and put it back in. I don't know how it, uh, it might have slipped out, but... Uh, the way that it's working right now, uh, it's just, it's not turning, uh, the screen isn't turning on, but, you know, that's basically usually the only, uh, the only culprit is the, uh, is that ribbon cable. Uh, for context, I used to do system repairs when I was in high school. I did a lot of, uh, Nintendo systems, DS, 3DS, I even worked on a few Switches, uh, when, early in their lives, uh, basically I just did it as a side hustle while I was in high school. And it made me a couple hundred bucks on the side. It was pretty good. I loved replacing screens. I loved doing the uh, the soldering for, like, uh, you know, d uh, different little things that had to, uh, what do you call them? The, um, the connection points on the board whenever, you know, they're not um, conducting electricity, just having to, like, reseat them, reflux them and everything. Sometimes I forget the terms. Uh, replacing different, uh, you know, ports, such as the... Uh, you know, the game port where you insert and take out the game. Sometimes they break after a lot of use. Same thing with the GBA port. Uh, you know, SD card ports on 3DSs and DSIs. That shit was fun. I really I really do enjoy fixing uh, old consoles. Some of the stuff I also just didn't want to work on. Like, um, I remember I wanted to work on the original Xbox, but like the capacitors... Dear God, I do not want to mess with capacitors. I do not want to accidentally fry my brain. I think for memory, it hints towards you being better off if you non-combatively uh, exit combat. Huh. I did not know that. Again, I haven't played it before, so... Imagine if YouTube and Twitch stream had discords like X user is typing. Oh, that would be so funny. I would love to see, like, 23 people are typing. That would be so funny. Where is Golem? Um, uh, uh, he, he was a victim of cancel culture. Uh, he, had to be, he had to devolve into Graveler. Uh, he went to Brazil. Uh, his brother took the controller. No trading? What do you... <laughs> no trading? What do you mean, no trading? I don't have a no trading rule. Fifty resets away from 9,000. We sent Golem to the Shadow Realm, true. 
Come on. Surely we can get it in less than 9,000, right? Surely. Yeah, Golem got peeled back down into a Graveler. Exactly. Golem was untraded. Give me back my Graveler. That's right, it's a Graveler again. Uh, speaking of which, uh, not speaking of which, I don't know what kind of segue that was. Uh, we are 140 likes away from 1,000, folks. You know what to do. Make sure to like the, vi uh, make, like the stream. Just do it. It's going to help. If you're here watching me, then you're helping. So why not also like the stream? If you're here hate-watching me, and you're not doing it specifically because, you know, oh, I don't want to help them, then why are you here? Giving me the extra view helps me. Go do something more productive with you uh, with your life, you fucking loser. That's it, untrades your graveler. <laughs> Looks like you're going to the Shadow Realm, Jimbo. I can't I can't do the um I can't do Jimmy's dad. I, I wish I could. I'm calling it 9001. We got 9043 on Slowpoke. I feel like 9001 would be a little too close. You mentioned not liking capacitors. One of the jobs I had was doing maintenance on generators that had capacitor banks that had about 270 VDC pushed through them for clean power signals. Fuck that, dude. Holy shit. I hope you were well, 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 well protected for that. Oh my fucking god. What starter for the next game? Probably Totodile. A Golem tried using Ash Blossom but got called by to rage quit exactly. Either that or Golem got max seed. You mean a thousand and six? What about a thousand and six? What use of un uh, does unknown have in this run? None. It's just there. It's funny. That's its use. It's to be funny. It's being funny for content, as it were. I. It is I. Death fodder. I mean, it. Listen, if Golem and da Bayleaf died before fucking unknown, it's clearly not death fodder. Sorry, it's a, it's a, um, oh, it's a DPCA reference. Oh, I didn't catch that. That's funny. Folks, are you ready for the joke? Are you ready for the meme? Are you ready for the 15-year-old meme? It's over 9,000! I can't do the voice. Oh, excuse me. Let me try to do it again. <clears throat> me, 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 me. It's over 9,000! There we go. There's your voice. It might have been a little higher pitched at the end, but that's that's kind of how I remember it being. But... What? 9,000? There's no way that could be right! I can't do that. I can't do, uh... <laughs> I can't do that one. Yeah, Unknown basically swept Price's team, but got an unlucky freeze. By the way, in that Price fight, Icy Wind hit and didn't lower speed. You guys want to, unknow you want to know what the chance of Icy Wind not lowering speed is in Gen 2? A 0.4% chance to not lower your speed. It is a 99.6% chance to lower speed. It's a 1 in 256 glitch, basically. And of all the times for it to happen, it happened on exactly... Um, it happened on exactly where we could have noticed it. And we still can't get the fucking chicken. I agree. And the Rattata, the Rattata is safely in the box and not being used. That's where all the luck went. That's true. Except it's not a glitch, because that's, that's just the way it's programmed. I feel like they programmed it thinking that it would work fine 
but didn't account for like the one in two fifty six because the programmers at Game Freak are very intelligent. He just passed sixty six point six percent compound odds. Shocking. Folks, we are going for another hour and a half. My goal, again, is to try to keep this timer above 66 hours and 10 minutes for a net total of plus two hours to the timer by the end of the stream. If you are able to help, definitely make sure to leave a super chat. Every dollar through a super chat is going to add a minute to the timer for each dollar. Of course, memberships are going to add five for each membership. And then through Gamersups, using exclamation point Gamersups, using my link and my code chaoticmeat at checkout, Make sure to follow those directions. Uh, you'll get 10% off, and if you get any of the drink mix tubs, any of the cups, or any of the snacks, you'll get those 10% off, and you will get a, a minute added to the timer for every dollar you spend. And if you can't do any of that, that's completely fine. I completely understand. I appreciate you being here. Just make sure you've left a like on the stream, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That's all I can ask. The Zubat story repeats itself exactly. Everybody keeps thinking there's going to be an exclamation point golem command. I even took away exclamation point bayleaf because I want you guys to watch the final video to figure out what happened. I know. I'm petty. I'm sorry. Plus, I, don't, I just don't want you guys to get spoiled if you actually do care. I've been here all day. I was really hoping we could beat the game today, but I'd be really satisfied if we could at least get this shiny bird. I agree, The Reef. Thank you so much for the tenor. Let's celebrate their first super on a live stream. Folks, we have retrieved another super chat virginity of the day. You know, we love those. Thank you so much for the 10 buckaroonies. It really does help. Okay. Well, the Costco rotisserie chicken has to show up at some point. I think it's more like a Publix rotisserie chicken. You know, those are high quality. Again, I think we're trying to get to 10,000 or get the shiny ho by today. So we still have another like 947 attempts today. And we're going for another hour and a half, so we should be able to... I mean, hopefully we get it. I mean, theoretically, what what are the odds at 10,000? What are, the, like, the, the statistical odds, or compound odds, excuse me? Surely they should be around 70%, right? Like, surely we should be able to hit a fucking blizzard? I just... Uh, I did just eat Popeyes, so I stole some chicken. Hell yeah. Seventy point four, seventy point nine. I wonder what the uh, the difference is in the math there. So it is basically just hitting a uh, hitting a blizzard. You can rare candy it into meganium. I could, or I could just exp share it into meganium. But again, I don't think that would be fair. Um, no. And folks, we are 130 likes away from hitting 1,000 likes today. I am driving the point home because we are getting close to the end of the stream. We only have an hour and a half left. My goal, again, is to hit 1,000 likes by the end. We are 130 away. And uh, just just double check to make sure you have, you have liked the video. Li liked the stream, rather. Especially if, uh, if you, don't want, uh, you don't have the ability to... Uh, Help out with the timer. Again, helping in any way possible is very much appreciated, and that does do that. 
I'm using 64-bit float uh, floats in Numpy. I should be pretty accurate. Gotcha. I'm using a good amount of decimal places for the math. That might change it a bit. Gotcha. Okay, so Noah's is probably closer. Are you taking a break tomorrow? Uh, I was going to if I was going to beat the game today, but no, tomorrow. Like, even though normally I'm doing three days on, one day off, I want to fucking finish gold. So I, I'm going to finish it tomorrow. Or we're going to have another 12 hours of this shit. Picking it up right now. <laughs> Do you want a lettuce wrap burger, burger from In-N-Out? That would be great. I wish I had In-N-Out over here. That would be great. Holy shit. Oh no, he went over odds. Yeah. Yeah, we did. You going to red? Yes. If you do not go re to red in a Johto run, it may as well just be invalid. Nah, I'm not. I, but also, yes. <laughs> like, any other rules? Any other things you want to change about it? That's perfectly fine. But at least, at least go to red. At least beat the full game. There's 16 badges. You're leaving out half the game. Don't do that. If it wasn't for EFAP, you'd you'd have had my super chat virginity. Well, thank you for the uh, the fiver. I appreciate that just as much. I know nothing of Super Chat Virginity. Is it across the entirety of YouTube or that particular channel? It is across the entirety of YouTube. That is their first Super Chat in a live stream on YouTube, which is why we call it the Super Chat Virginity. It's one of the cheapest places in Cal, um, in Cali, uh, which makes it good in my books. Which one? Oh, what a burger! What a what a burger! Excuse me, I can't talk. I'm having a stroke again. PM seven got mine based. You also beat. Uh, you have to beat the Kanto part of this run to count. Correct. Glad to have given it to the Pokey Bro. Was that? I don't know who Pokey Bro is, or if that's somebody else. I don't. I don't know. Too many Pokey people. Small ant got mine. Fair. You, my man. Hey, I'm the pokey bro. I'm the pokey bro. Folks, we are 123 likes away from hitting 1,000 likes on the stream. Can we push for at least 900 real quick? There are over 300 of you guys here. I wouldn't be surprised if a, a good number of stragglers here have not liked the stream. Just double check triple check make sure that you have liked the stream it helps out a lot especially if you can't contribute to the timer at the very least you are still helping the stream be able to reach other people and that's that's what we are trying to do we want to uh, we want people to see this series because like i want to be the first person to nuzlocke every single pokemon game under the sun with only shiny pokemon triple checked thank you I don't know how to read that name. I know it has Sigma in it, so I'm just going to call you Sigma. I've lived both in Cali and Oklahoma, so I've had both. I've lived in the same county of Citra... Of, of, uh, what is it? The uh, I've lived in the same county of... What is this fucking state called? The Sunshine State. Florida. I can't even remember what the fuck this, my state called. My, bra my brain is that fucking fried. Oh my god. I, I, oh my god. My brain, it was my brain that fried that I forgot the name of fucking Florida? I, I basically lived in the same county in this state for 
my entire life. I could not imagine moving from like Oklahoma to like California or the other way around. That just seems like uh, seems like hell. My frame is that bride. <laughs> yeah. How do you not even know your own state? Do you even even uh, uh, <laughs> You even have the elusive Florida man. I know we have the Florida man. My brain is just fried of shinies. Bird. Give me shiny bird. I've been in Cali most of uh, my life. Besides, I lived in Florida for a few years. That's fair. And Florida lawyer, Le Mr. Legal Mindset. Wait, is oh, Legal Mindset lives here in Florida? I did not know that. I, w I was uh, Cali the first 31 years of my life. Eight years Oklahoma now. Jeez, wow. I can't, Gerard. We are we are busy. I can't go to the PC right now. I lived in Utah all of my life, so that's fair. Usually, LM travels to Asia a lot, so his streams uh, have been on varying Singapore slash JP times. Who's LM? I live in three different states in the USA, and it does indeed suck moving state to state. Do not recommend. I couldn't even imagine, like, trying to move two hours away. Like, this just seems difficult. I own too much shit. And, like, even though I don't own too much shit, I just own a lot of furniture. That just seems really, you know, inconvenient. <laughs> In the same county I've lived as well? That's crazy. Okla is crappier, is it? Oh. Well, I guess it is at least cheaper, though, I'm sure. How are we going to explain the Graveler? We don't need to. We'll explain it in the video. Furthest I've moved was two miles from an apartment to a house. Absolutely sucked, I could imagine. For the or, uh, easiest way to move two hours away, get a wife who organizes everything strategically. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, I think we're going to get to 9,200. I got to use the restroom again. I won't be too long because I still do want to get to uh, 10,000 tonight. Folks, we are 112 likes away from hitting 1,000. Can we push to 900 real quick? Can we do it, please? Before we hit 9,200, I want to hit. I want to see 900 likes here. Race me. I want to. I want. I want to see who the ultimate winners are. Is it Chat or is it the Meatball? We're at 889. Come on, can you beat me in 20 encounters to 11 likes? I bet you can. Eight nine. 891 to 9183. 91, uh, 84. 85. We're seven likes away. Come on, chat. I'm gonna beat you if you don't catch up. Or if you don't uh you don't move. 896. My wife destroyed my life. Oh. Oh no. Four away! I'm nine away. I'm eight away. Come on. Three away. I'm I'm seven away. Come on. Come on, chat. Oh, we're almost tied. Am I going to beat you, chat? That's going to look so miserable on you. 898 to, to 97. Come on. Two more. I know you can do it. And it went down to 896. People wanted you guys to lose. People threw for me. That's funny. You know what? I'll use the restroom at 92.50. Thank you for making that a little bit of a game for me, chat. 
Good news, boys. I found my D&D socks. Oof. Hence ex-wife now, I can imagine. You need to move Slow King under your fortress so that the first letter spells gifts. Lol, I know that is uh, that it's unknown, but it's the Pokemon letter I. Oh, uh, I get it. Nah, I don't feel like it, though. Meatball, do you like Piss Rat? No. I like, I, I love Dungeons and Dragons. It has become my life. Well, if you enjoy it, then that's good. I'm glad to hear it. One of my best friends is talking to his ex-wife again. They think they can make it work. Oh, no. Well, if they can, congrats. But if they can't, unsurprising. Just work on communication, you know. If you are as, like, open of a book and as blunt as you can be, and you are like, this is what I need you to fix, please. Don't get, like, just don't get mad at each other. It's not, it's not hard. It's just, you know, looking at it from a more logical perspective. How can we better each other and make each other, like, enjoy each other's company? That's how, uh, at least, listen, that's coming from somebody who doesn't have a lick of uh, relationship experience, but does look at, you know, uh, human relations from a way too logical point of view. Mostly because, for, I, I, maybe you can consider me emotionally stunted, I don't know. But at least in the platonic relationships I've had, you know, communication is still key. Are you sure you're 23? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask that? <laughs> Reject humanity, embrace, embrace waifu, waifu cups, true. I have a half goblin, half koibold, no, necromantic bard, and his name is Mr. Wibbles. Mr. Wibbles. You guys like Mr. Wibbles? Imagine being a wizened old man at 23. I'm not. I'm not a wizened old man. I just know. I just like to think that I know how people work. Now, now we see why the seniors liked you as a freshman. Well, you know, I guess. I guess so. I don't know. I try my best. Yeah, bro, huh? That is a very basic logical take that someone should have. Exactly. It's hard to put into practice, but like... Uh, for me, I always see a situation from another person or multiple people as things trapped in a box. If you are able to pull your consciousness from outside of the box and look at it as unbiased as you can without considering even your own perspective and you're looking at it from a neutral perspective, if you can, uh, if you can do that, then you can solve any problem that is presented in front of you when it comes to other people. And that is how I've treated my entire life and honestly, it's worked. I know it, so it might sound dumb, but like, it works. <laughs> the box works. I will admit, the box is fucking broken. People are like machines once you know how they work. You can figure out what how they are. Exactly. Some people don't realize they have those thought processes and they don't take themselves out of their box. If you take yourself out of your box, it makes yourself, yourself unpredictable. It makes yourself crazy. It makes yourself wild. And this, again, this is coming from somebody who doesn't have a lick of relationship advice. So I don't know if you should listen to me or if I'm making any sense or if I just don't know what I'm talking about because I don't have that experience. But, you know, that's just, that's just how I've treated platonic relationships. Pissbird? Silverwind? Don't put things in caps of the shiny that I'm looking for. It's not even Pissbird. It's a fucking gold bird. Meatball pulls, I've never pulled. In fact, I've, I've mostly been stood up every time I, I get on a... Uh, uh, like, while I was in high school, um, I was stood up multiple times for, like, homecoming, prom. And then immediately after high school, I got monetized on YouTube. And then I started doing this as a career, and I no longer have a social life that isn't with online creators. So, uh-oh. 
Communication has to go both ways to work, so in practice, it doesn't always work. It doesn't always. Uh, if somebody's being, you know, yeah, um, just, like, unable to be, well, what's the word? Unable to be reasoned with. That's basically it. As someone that's had multiple girlfriends, that's rough, buddy. Eh, you know. Is that a W or an L based on the out-of-the-box theory? It works in platonic relationships, at least from what I've, uh, you know, looked at. I also, uh, I also have, like, I, I, I he hesitate to say that it's, like, a high-functioning Asperger's, but I do, I, I used to be extremely blind in, like, um, you know, how to maintain relationships with other people. And I've had to, like, teach myself methods to make sure that I, you know, act normal. <laughs> so, you know. It works, kind of. I think that by the age of 23, I've kind of figured out how to interact with other human beings. Forget GF, digital monsters are forever. Exactly. You never needed them and they didn't deserve you. I, you know, I agree, but I think the uh, the experience of it would have been uh, uh, healthy for my age at the time. Dating is a game and I'm losing. Uh, dating is a game and I haven't ever played before. Can someone teach me the rules? <laughs> Rip meat? I've never had a proper long-term relationship either, so I don't know. Shit's whack and life is unpredictable. I would have to agree. The issue in relationships is that no matter how rational you can be, you have to rely on the other person being rational too. Uh, yeah, that's true. But, you know, I, th I think I have found methods that calm people down very well. And that's, you know, it it's hard, like, but I, I think it's, uh, it helps. But that's usually the only thing that ever gets me upset is, like, if I try multiple times to try to get somebody who's being irrational to, like, calm down. Let's try to, you know, let's sell this like people. Let's be nice to each other. Like, uh, usually, I mean, if somebody's being irrational... Then that's when I'll, I'll get mad. Or if somebody, like, hits me. Whenever somebody hits me, I, you know. <laughs> that's when the, that's when the sirens go off and I'm like, KILL! <laughs> Not kill, but you, you get, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> you were supposed to take a bathroom break? Oh yeah! That subsided. I didn't go. It just went away. You ever have that where you're like driving and you have to use the restroom, but you hold it for long enough to where it goes away? And it's like, yeah, body, I'm not pulling over for you. Get over it. That kind of thing. Dating is like grammar. Everyone says there are rules and acts like they know what they are. But no one can actually agree on what those rules are and when you can ask people. Just expect you to know. Uh, all my relationships have uh, ever have been multiple years. The shortest I was still close to a year on and off, and I learned a lot, especially about how much I respect I, how much respect I deserve as a partner. Hmm. Alucha, you'll just have to watch the final video and find out. Kinda? Usually it keeps nagging. Great for keeping awake. What? What is usually? Uh, do I, am I, is my uh, short term memory loss kicking in again? She cheated on me with my drill instructor. Jeez, even that shit happens in the military? Big rip. The need to pee versus driving? Usually it keeps, oh, it's great for keeping awake. I see. I mean,. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, like, really good at keeping myself awake if I need to. Because I, I drove from Florida to Connecticut one time. Uh, and it took me, like, 18 hours. And I only took, like, I think three stops total for all gas. How many miles is that for us not geogra uh, geogra geographically wise? I don't remember, like 1,600 maybe? I think? 
No, it was. It, it would have been like. It would have been like 1,200. Somewhere around there. I don't remember. All I know is I stopped three times. So I needed four. T uh, four. Um, four tanks of gas. And my car usually does about 350. And it was almost empty when I got there. It was like a quarter of a tank. But yeah, I did it in about 18 hours. And I did it with three stops. But I was at a full tank when I started. 1270 miles. Somewhere around there. It was probably about 1300. Because I went to Hartford for the... Uh, for the YCS there. Y uh, YCS Hartford was a uh, Hartford Convention Center or some shit. I just finished my divorce and now I'm planning on marrying this new girl that lets me game and sometimes joins me and plays Pokemon. Oh my god. If you ever find somebody like that and they are like sane human beings that are well functioning, la I mean, <laughs> you've, you've found somebody great. I always enjoy trying to find somebody that shares the same hobbies with me. Uh, because, I, I don't know, it seems very hard for me to connect to people if I don't have something that I, I enjoy that I share with them. Like, I can make small talk, but other than that, I don't know, I don't know how to physically, like, not physically, but like, uh, you know, mentally connect with somebody if I don't share an interest. I'm now dating a girl that is cheating on her boyfriend with me. Oof. Yeah, be careful with that, Zuger. That doesn't sound good. Sounds like, you know, shit. Unless you're not taking it seriously and you're just like, oh, this, this works for a little bit. This is fun. In which case, you know what? If, ne if either of you are, like, not, you know... Uh, if you either both of you are okay with it and if both parties are consenting fuck it although it is kind of fucked up that they're cheating on somebody else If I ever find a girl that shares a good majority of my notable hobbies, which are music, collecting Hot Wheels, and collecting guns, I'd be flabbergasted. That's probably fair. Any tips on starting up a YouTube? Uh, just start making videos. Just, you know, look shit up. Look on how to make a video. On how do you make a YouTube video. Find out what niche you want to make videos in, and just start making shit. Even if it's bad at first, you'll just steadily improve. You'll find ideas. You'll you'll just, just, just do it. Really, it is just a get out there and fucking do it type thing. Folks, we are 95 likes away from 1,000. I'm trying to hit 1,000 today. Please help. Please scroll down and make sure you have hit the like button. Make sure you uh, tab over. Double check, triple check that you have made sure that you have hit that like button. It helps a ton. Thank you. Also, I'm trying to keep this timer above 66 hours by the end of the stream. I'm streaming for another hour and two minutes. Meaning we need like one more hour on the timer and we will uh, be there. We will, we will be effectively there. Preferably an hour and four minutes because we would go exactly um, plus two hours from yesterday. But that relies on you guys. And I, uh, if you can, I would very much appreciate the help. Meatball thoughts on Femboys? They're great. Uh, I accidentally double tapped there. Whoopsie. Okay. Nope. When all this is said and done, this will be a legendary feat. Love how you're doing full odds, too, instead of those vids that are, like, 1 in 100. Yeah, I agree. I think it's a, a lot more interesting this way. Uh, 
Uh, meatball, thoughts on thoughts? As in having thoughts? Damn, that's crazy. That's usually how I think about it. Man, I can think words in my head and make it feel like I'm hearing them? That's crazy. Wow, I can imagine images in my head and they be fully detailed if I put my eyes closed? That's crazy. Thoughts are cool. If I wasn't thinking, I'd be a vegetable. I don't want to be a vegetable. Nobody wants to grow up to be broccoli. I'm back after being stuck in a 20 minute long draw four purgatory of an Uno game. Welcome back, Limu. Folks, we are 80. Eight likes away from a thousand. I know we can hit a thousand today. We have le we have an hour left on stream. It'll be the first time we hit four digits. Come on, chat. We have eighty eight more likes to go. Eighty seven. I know we can do it. I feel bad for people with aphantasia. I couldn't imagine having that. Like. I don't know how your brain isn't able to do that. Like, I couldn't fathom that. I can't put myself in those shoes because I don't know how it feels to not be able to, like, imagine, you know, pictures in your head. It just feels weird to think about. Bro, I thought imagination was a figure of speech until, like, 16. Oh, my God. I have aphantasia and it sucks. Jeez, I'm surprised how common it is. I never met anybody in real life that's have it, that has it, but I guess on the internet it's a lot easier to find people that, that don't, or that do have aphantasia. Wait, you're supposed to see pictures in your head? Yeah, if you can't, that's aphantasia. Uh, if you accidentally reset on the shiny, is it all over? It's never gonna happen. I would never do that. Tony, and people have asked me if I do that on every single shiny I've ever hunted in this game. Or any, I mean, well, of course, this is the only game I've, I've streamed so far. But, like, it's not going to happen. Why has nobody told me? Probably because nobody knew. What a waste of time the all-in footage was. Oh. Tell me the details. Uh, the Bucks L yet again. Imagine keeping around Jack Perry of all people over CM motherfucking punk. What fools, what rubes, what idiots. Of course they wanted to keep it all friends wrestling because all they want to do is do all their stupid shit and all they want to do is, you know, I, I don't know, suck this billionaire, you know, mark for all he's worth. Mm, yes, sports ball. I'm not sure if I have aphantasia. Like, I can imagine things that I've seen before. Like, I can see a picture of my mom in my head. But if someone asked me to imagine a purple llama, I can't do it. Oh. I think, I don't know if it's like partial aphantasia, if that exists, but it could be. It had no audio and it showed literally what Punk said he did. Really? So they actually showed what he said he did. That's crazy. That's funny. So he was being honest, and they owned to themselves by showing it. That's fucking comedy. I'm starting to think this cheese bird is more stubborn than Mr. Meats. But that's the thing. The meat and cheese combo is going to go out down so nicely. And all it does is need to finally meet the meat. You will meet the meat. I can think about an apple, but I can't see one when I close my eyes. Then, yeah, that's definitely uh, aphantasia. Meat and cheese is a great combo. I would have to agree. The best part of Dynamite was Katsuyori Shibata using Siri to translate Bet and tells Renee that he liked her necklace. Shabbat is great. I am so happy that he's still able to wrestle. I was terrified after that subdural hematoma. Considering the fact that Akira Toriyama died one of, of one of those, 
You know, it's, it's a miracle Shabbat is still alive. Folks, again, like I said earlier, we are trying to hit 1,000 likes on the stream. We are 83 likes away, and we have less than an hour to go. Let's do it. I know we can do it. It is up to you. There's got to still be a couple stragglers in chat that have not liked the stream. Just do it. Here's a like. Thank you, Philip. I appreciate it. 74 likes away, folks. We are we are really we might get there today. I I'm actually kind of uh kind of excited. I think today it's a reality. Is it just me or Ho-Oh's neck feathers making its body look like a tomato? It does. Oh my god, it does look like a tomato. It looks like it's a tomato with a stem going into a head. And of course, my, uh, as well as the goal being uh, a thousand... <clears throat> A thousand likes today. My goal is also to keep the timer above 66 hours by the end of the stream. Folks, I am, uh, because of that, we have 55 more minutes of stream. So if we can add like one more hour to the timer by the end, we will be plus two hours by the end of the stream, which is always the goal. I always want to try to go at least plus two, if not more. And that requires your help. Of course, you can do so through Super Chats. Every dollar that you Super Chat will add a minute to the timer. Every membership that you either get for yourself or if you gift other people will add five minutes. Or if you use exclamation point gamer subs, use that link and use my code chaoticmeat at checkout. You'll get both 10% off. And if you get any of the cups, drink flavors like the tubs or any of the snacks, you can get that 10% off and then get a do uh, every dollar that you spend will add a minute to the timer. And we're, again, we're 70 likes away from hitting 1,000. Folks, I think we can do both. I believe in you guys. I appreciate all the support already, but I know we can do it. Wait, is this the end of the, the Zero Two guitar playthrough? Holy shit, it is. All right, uh, I didn't realize that would happen. Let's go to Zero Three. Shiny ho -Oh is a shiny no-go. That's, that's, what, that's what it's feeling like today. Oh, we're not getting to Cannonball. This one's like two and a half hours long. Have you watched any Stickman animations? I have not. You can look it up your, yourself, you suit. It's just Mega Man Zero Three guitar playthrough. What is Cannonball? It's the uh, the la It's the final boss theme of Mega Man Zero Three. Very good song, by the way. Your mom? You are mom? You are mom? Why am I mom? Lol. I love making fun of uh I love making fun of people that screw up their yours. It is very funny. I definitely didn't use the wrong your. You did. You did indeed. Is there any sh frame rate manipulation that can increase odds similar to nature's in Gen 3 speedruns? Yeah, it's called the coin case, but I'm not sure I'm too confident in that right now. <laughs> You're.
I gotta make sure I actually, like, I'm paying attention as much as I can. I am not missing it this deep in. Where's the gold and red boy at? Hopefully soon. I wonder if the glitch works if you were in battle with the Bellsprout. I don't think so. I think you have to check the Pokedex. At least that's what I was told. So close. 80 more until 69% compound odds. I can't believe we missed Blizzard, folks. Also, we are 69 likes away from hitting 1,000 likes. Again, if you guys have not liked the stream, double check, triple check scroll down tab over if you're just listening my goal today was a thousand and i think this is the first time we're going to be having a stream that finally hits quadruple digits and i believe in you chat thank you very much for it being so supportive today and over all of these streams not to mention my other goal of today was getting the timer to stay over 66 hours by the end of the stream we are going for another 50 minutes so if we can add like another hour to the, to the timer we will be absolutely perfect. Again, you can do that through Super Chats. You can do that through memberships. You can do that through ex using exclamation point gamer subs, following my affiliate link, and using the code chaotic meat to get 10% off. And for every dollar that you spend on any of the drink mix, cups, or snacks, I will add a minute to the timer for every dollar you spend. 95, 94 shiny ho -Oh at 69% compound odds. That's crazy. Meatball and Crystal, will you use all three Mythical Beasts? No. Probably Suicune, though. Yo, Knight's Oath, thank you for the tenor. Have some shekels making me laugh a few days ago when my milk made your brain reboot? Oh, oh yeah, you were that guy, weren't you? Sorry, though, uh, sorry, though, I sent this the, uh... Sorry, I, though, I sent this in the other day. Did you mean to say something else? My, my brain is broken again. Let me add that once we hit 95.50. I thought I sent this in the other day. Oh, I see. Thank you, Wallum. I, again, if you're, like, one letter off, I still can't, like, make the connection in my head of, oh, what did they mean to say in that sentence? I don't know. My brain won't connect the dots. <laughs> I'm being, like, uber fucking careful right now because we are so deep in that I am not, like, I'm not doing this hunt again. Alright, let me add those ten minutes. Thank you again. I appreciate your generosity, Knight's Oath. Folks, we only need to add 50 more minutes to the timer, and we will officially... Fi uh, is it 50 more minutes? Yeah, 50 more minutes to the timer. So, ten more gifted memberships or, you know, uh, a purple... Super chat, I think a purple or like a magenta or something like that. We'll do it. Uh, I do 69 if you get it before 9696. Uh, can you do it if I don't get it by 9696? <laughs> you know, it would be funny, Vague, if, if the game actually is like, you know what? Show up or show out. Let's see what happens. Uh, I would appreciate the game to do that, but, you know, I feel like you'd be like, ah, shit, <laughs> I've been had. What's the timer for? For the entire series. If that shit hits zero, I'm not continuing. Uh, I'm sacrificing basically every other video that I'm making to make this series, and because of that, I'm sacrificing a lot of, like, ad revenue. I'm sacrificing the, uh, you know, being able to do integrations for, like, ads and stuff so that I can make stuff up with sponsors um so the the uh, basically this is being subsidized by chat rather than ad uh ad re revenue and uh sponsorships ah oh, well good luck i appreciate it pika pro and Haley rue i think that's how you pronounce that thank you so much for the 10 canadian the pokey boy ah oh, wait it where did my v card go Yo, thank you for your super chat virginity. Let's celebrate their first super on a live stream. Let me add that in a moment. Let me get up to 9570. Nice. 
Uh, what is that? CAD to USD? 10? Appreciate the additional seven minutes on the timer. God, I, I, why must Canadians suffer with Canadian dollars? But at least we have colored money, that's true. You do have colored money. Ours is all green. Because our money looks cooler. It looks like Monopoly money. That's probably why it's worth less. Sorry. At this point, I'm just being mean to Canadians. Which is bad. I like Canadians. Canadian people are fun. Long live the Toonie. I agree. I'm jealous of the healthcare. That much I am, yeah. Longest grind uh, so far? No, not longest grind. I think that uh, the grind for Slowpoke and the grind for Rattato were pretty goddamn long. We went like two and a half streams trying to get Slowpoke. Uh, but of course, we spent a whole stream before that trying to get Zubat, and we didn't get shit for 12 hours, but still, we didn't get a shiny until the Slowpoke. If only you knew how many Vietnamese dongs you can buy with U.S. dollars. What the fuck? Are they, are, is, is the Vietnamese currency really called dongs? That's quite frankly comical. Yes. All the... That's fucking hilarious. Sorry. It just It's just very funny in English. Steammate, thank you for the... 10 Canadian. Uh, I am going to round this one up because we did round down the last, like, two. So that one's going to be, what, uh, eight minutes? So this goes to 26. Enjoying the stream? Hope you find that darn bird. I hope so, too, but I also appreciate you providing me with some super chat virginity. Let's celebrate their first super on the live stream, as per usual. And folks, we are 63 likes away from hitting 1,000. We are so close. We have 45, 44 minutes left of stream. Can we hit... Can we do 63 likes in 44 minutes? Eleven, eleven, wishing, uh, wishing you catch this hoe. Yeah, I know, right? I want this hoe. -oh. Will we get it before we go up to five digits? I, I have a bad feeling about it. Ping me in the Discord if this hits before nine six nine six. I gotta hop in a call real quick. Uh, I will hold my rager. I would, I would appreciate it, big. Uh, hopefully, if the game decides to be nice. This is crazy. It is a little high, but you know. Unsurprising. Eighty more encounters. So we hit nine six nine six. 59 likes away from hitting 1,000. Folks, you are doing uh, doing a fantastic job. Thank you so much for helping the stream. But we are so close to quadruple digits. I believe we can get there. Can we make the push for 950 real quick? Before I hit 9696, can we hit 950 likes? Are we sure this is an issue with the RNG seed you're only getting for the same pool of possible encounters? It's advancing the seed. Uh, it is advancing the seed. It's not, uh, it's, we're not having, uh, it's just taking longer because we went over odds. It is completely fine though. 
Technically, you haven't missed Blizzard yet. We're getting close, Noah. We are one like away from 950, folks. And then only 50. A measly 50 before we hit quadruple digits. 40 or so minutes until YouTube will refuse to save the... Well, it will save the VOD up to 11 hours, 55 minutes, which is why our, our streams are limited to that long. Um, so that's why I'm only going for like another 40 minutes. Over odds, yeah, it's fine. How you doing, Insane Gamer? Thought it was 12 hours, same difference. Yeah, it's, it's 11.55. Mm, no. warm in my room I just cleared my uh, my thumb of some ew otherwise uh, gonna visit family on Monday well that sounds fun at least if you don't like the stream you're a furry hey it's not let's not shame people around here but we are only 47 likes away from hitting 1,000 likes on the stream folks this is gonna be my first stream of this series hitting over a thousand likes I would very much appreciate it. Just make sure you are like double check, triple check, tab over, scroll down, do whatever you need to do to make sure that you have liked the stream. And again, my all, my other goal today is to try to keep the timer over 66 hours by the end of the stream. We are ending in 39 minutes, so we need what? 40 uh, we need like um Yeah, like 40 more minutes of um of time on the timer to hit exactly plus two hours compared to yesterday. So eight gifted memberships would do it. Eight gifted memberships would nail it right on the head. Alolan reach you with the five, make it th make that only 35 more minutes needed to be added to the, to the timer. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that a lot. I have a friend who joined the Navy with uh, thalassopho uh, thalassophobia and claustrophobia. What? I don't know. Is this five times? No, it's ten. It's going... It, it's Actually, I think it's eight right now, if I recall correctly. I would have to look at the game again. I'm looking at it through OBS right now. Yo, Taylor G, thank you for the tenor. Cheers to a hunt that will hopefully be done soon. I'll make sure to add that once we hit 9,700 or get the shiny, whichever happens first. Uh, oh, uh, is 416 here in the UK. And here I am choosing watching this grind over sleep. Correct decision, I reckon. Oh, don't worry. We're, we're going to be ending here in about 38 minutes. So you're, you'll be blessed with sleep soon, Jack. Thanks for being here, though. Oh, I have a friend who joined the Navy with thalassophobia and claustrophobia. I get it now. It, it, I had to have other people, you know, tell me what the uh, what the context was in the in the chat. 
Well, thank you. Yeah, no, that I would... Oh, God. Also, damn it, we didn't get it by 96.96. So, big rip. All right, there we go. Let me add the 10 minutes to the timer. Thank you again, Taylor. I really do appreciate your contribution. We are 29 likes away from hitting 1,000, folks. 29 more. Can we do it before I hit 10,000 today? I believe in you. Please tell me they got put on a submarine. A submarine member with the fear of the deep sea and tight spaces would be funny. No, I don't I don't want that to happen to them. That would suck. I got a bit of thalassophobia. I also can't really swim and I'm not joining the Navy. No, that completely makes sense. Have you watched any of the Fallout series on Amazon yet? I did not know they were even making one and I haven't played a Fallout game before, so no. I want to eventually play them though. I've heard that there's great things about like 3 in New Vegas specifically. The only thing I was scared of was my ex-mother-in-law in the Marines. Jeez. G-Sup's order submitted. Does that add to the timer? It does add to the timer. Let me go ahead and refresh this page over here. That is another 36 minutes. I'll, uh, unfortunate, I'll still do another tenor. Thank you, Vague. I appreciate it. So this needs to be another... There we go. That's the tenor and the the gamer subs order that just passed through. I very much appreciate it. I think with that, we've gotten uh Yeah, we're over 67 hours. Folks, we could aim for the funny number. We could aim for the funny number. We could hit 69 hours. It would be so funny. Folks, it would be so funny. We hit 69 hours, you know. Haha. -ha. Nice. The sacred number. It would take like another hour. It would take another like hour and 55 minutes of time. But, you know, we could try. We already passed 42, Meatball. It's funny about 42. Ooh, is this Volcano? Volcano is one of my favorite songs from Mega Man Zero Three. Also, we were only 23 likes away. 24. Who took away their like? 24 likes away from hitting a thousand. Folks, we are so close. We are so, 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 so close. Please do double check, triple check to make sure you are liked to the stream. I would love to be able to say that we hit four digits today. It'll be the first time we've done it in this live stream series. And I, uh, it, again, it does help the stream. If you're unable to help with the timer, at least, uh, it helps kind of push the stream because the YouTube sees, oh, uh, Pokemon fans are liking this stream. Let's push it to other Pokemon fans that might be subscribed or only usually watch videos, but this is this is pretty well liked, so they might like this as well. Or even maybe some unsubscribed people. If I click it again, will the number go up? No, it will it will go it will go down one if you have already clicked it. So we would need another three hours and six minutes insane gamer to get to the funny number by the end of the stream if we ended over the funny number by the end of the stream oh to get to 6942 the meaning of life is 42 I remember hearing this but I don't I don't understand the joke It's weird, YouTube doesn't let you do a custom donate amount. Yes, they do. I've seen people do, like, 16 or 22. You just have to type it in manually. You can't do it on the slider, but you can do it manually. It's from a movie, I think. It's a reference to the book Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, I've heard of this book, but I've never read it before.
Folks, we are 19 likes away from hitting 1,000. Come on, we are so close. I've got another half hour of stream, 32 minutes. We need 18 more likes. I tapped a Caterpie and go, it's shiny. Uh, well, Go's rates aren't 1 in 8,192. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy reference. They ask a supercomputer what the meaning of life is. It says 42 and then can't explain why. That's... I'm guessing it's just supposed to be a point of comedy, but... It's just so strange. Because it equals 6 times 8. Is six times eight supposed to look like something, or is it supposed to, like, I don't get it. Yo, Julian Fleming, thank you for the 25. I very much appreciate that. Thank you for adding to the timer. Folks, we are on a train to be able to get to six, uh, the funny number tonight. 69 hours on the clock. I believe in it. It doesn't know the answer, but the question, or the question is 42. What do you mean the question is 42? I thought the answer to the meaning of life was 42, but they couldn't explain why it was 42. No, that's the joke. It's just a stupid thing. Thus, the answer to it is 42 because 6 times 8. Uh oh. I agree, us Brits have some, uh, do have some strange humor. You sure do. But again, Julian, thank you so much for the 25. I very much appreciate your uh, your generosity today. I can't believe you just fled from a hidden ability ho oh, oh, SMH. True. Hidden ability ho oh, oh, in a uh, in Gen 2. The funny thing is, 6 times 8 does equal 42 in base 13. The author commented on this. I may be a sad individual, but even I don't make jokes in base 13. What the fuck is base 13? It, and, and wait, 6 times 8 is 48. What the fuck? I just noticed that. Huh? Oh, so by saying the answer to life it was 42, then saying the answer to life was whatever, uh, there's, oh, I'm too stupid to realize that. Folks, we are 13 likes away from 1,000. There has to be a few stragglers left. Folks, double check your like button. Make sure you have pressed it. And make sure it is lit up. If it is lit up, you have pressed it. A clock is considered base 12. Oh. 992? Folks, we are so close. Eight more likes. Eight more likes. Eight more likes. Eight more likes. Maybe if we hit 1,000, ho will finally come out. Shiny ho that is. Six more. What the fuck? Who took away two of their likes? Did you guys click it thinking that it would add one, but it took one away because you already clicked on it? That's funny. Binary is base 2. Base 10 is what we use. Hexadecimal is base 13. Uh, I think base 13 is just weird. Gotcha. Three likes away. Three more to go. The Mayans were crazy. They had a base 60 system. Intriguing. Hexadecimal was base 16. Weird. And folks, with that, we have hit 1,001 likes. Thank you guys so much for your support today. Thank you for helping us hit quadruple digits today. I very much appreciate that a lot. That's the first time we've hit 1,000 likes on one of these streams.
your live is giving epilepsy vibes. I'm sorry, Yellow. It, it is definitely because I have the game on speed up. And folks, we are going for another 26 minutes. And uh, I'm trying to my best to get this timer to stay above... Uh, I want it to hit uh, 69 hours by the end, because I think the funny number. I originally said 66, but can we get it to 69? That would be funny. I don't understand, like, the difference between base 16, base 10. Like, I understand how base 10 works, because that's our current, like way of doing numbers, but I don't know. In base 16, A is 10. That doesn't help. Base 16 uses letters. Oh, that's why it's hex. It's hexadecimal because it's hex code. Right. That would make sense. This F is 16. Right. That's why it's like 0A, 0B, like when you're doing a sound test in Sonic 2. I love how the first thing I think of is the sound test in Sonic 2. As a guy who plays ROMs and uses Game Sharks on occasion, I am somewhat familiar with these letters. Yeah. yeah. Base 4 uses 0 to 3. Yeah. Hell yeah. Sonic 2 cheat codes. How have we not gotten that golden chicken yet? Uh, because we haven't gotten the timer to 69. The golden chicken wanted a quadruple, uh, quadruple like count for the stream and uh, our timer to hit the funny number. I don't know. I'm just fucking with you. So you're not going until you hit 10k? Oh, I'm hit, I'm probably going to hit 10k within the next 25 minutes. Unless I, you know, capture the thing because it appears shiny. Are you playing on full odds? I am. Just get the shiny one on the title screen. True Arctic Bomb. I got my GBA Flash Writer today. What does the GBA Flash Writer do? What is what is its purpose? Is it supposed to write save files to uh to your cartridges from your PC? How long will you go until you give up? I'm not giving up. The game will eventually give up. I will bash my head in until my brain is splattered on the floor in Minecraft. It lets me back up and write ROMs and saves. Okay, yeah, I had a feeling. The only time I gave up was when I was like, okay, there's clearly a better solution here. And uh, that solution required the sacrifice of Bayleaf. But we got there in the end. It's okay. In Minecraft, yeah, exactly. Have I missed Blizzard yet? So me and my friend got a new pair. It's her Wimpod and my Octillery. Oh, are you doing a Soul Link? That's very fun. Yes, I've missed Blizzard. God damn it. Of course I have. 70.4%. Nonsense. How do these hunts compare to the Gen 1 ones so far? A bit better? A lot better, honestly. At least better than, like, fucking blue. I can't. It only took me 70 soft resets to go get Ho-Oh. You're lucky. Alolan Richu, 
my taxes just went through and got $1,000. Now you have to get the shiny Dano and name it Alolan Richu. I will name it Alola Richu because I can only fit 10 characters in Gen 5, but for the chaos, the rock was 90%, 10%. I'm going to save this so that I, I remember to go after Shiny Dano in black and white or in any of the Gen 5 games. Thank you. I shall add two hours and 30 minutes to the timer. Folks, we did it. We hit the funny number. We hit the funny number. Watch, the next reset, it's going to be it. Aw, oh, damn. That would have been funny if it was. that was the prerequisite, was quadruple digits on the stream and funny number. But thank you so much, Alolan Richu. That's fucking crazy. Thank you for reminding me to do my taxes. You're welcome. Well, at least, you know, Alolan Richu, yeah, that, that's, that's the you're welcome for it. At least my stream reminded you, so I'll say you're welcome. Maximum funny number, Noah Crowley with the 12. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Who removed their like? Did somebody remove their like? Did some, are people trying to keep up? <laughs> Steve. No, we're going to 70. No, the funny number is gone. Thank you, but <laughs> we didn't get to savor that funny number for very long. Add it all or quick. No, we added too much loom. We fist the funny number. But holy shit, we broke 70 hours. I didn't get to savor it. No, boo, Steve. No, Steve, thank you. A thousand pennies for a thousand likes. Now, Copper Burb, get your butt out here. I must agree. Thank you for uh, for the super chat, Steve. Hope we get audited because I was the one that earned it. Oof, Zuger, I'm so sorry. I would I would hope not. I I would not want to be on under the IRS's bad bad side. Oh, 19 more minutes of stream. 108 encounters until 10,000. Folks, do you think we're going to get it below 10,000? I, I don't think so, but... I have a little bit of hope left. Just a little bit. One hundred more encounters. I got the receipts. Oh, well, then that should be all you need. Still, the money that you would have to spend to make sure you go to like a, a proper CPA or something like that. To I, I don't know if you have to do that to send the stuff off. I I never dealt with it, but seven ten oh nine is sixty nine sixty nine sixty nine. Is it? That's funny. Well, it's not because it's seven ten oh nine. It is if you're thinking of it in an abstract sense. But it is 71009. Audit defense from Cash App? Oof. All right. 89. 88. 87. 86, 85, 84, 83, 82, 81. Also, my friend just asked me to be be her uh, be her boyfriend, and now we are da dating. So we're using the soul link as a way to begin our relationship in a funny way. That's super cute, Clad. Congratulations. I hope the relationship all works out, and I hope you uh, you guys enjoy each other's company. 79. 78. 
I'm not calling it Pittsburgh. I keep, you know, shitting on the people that keep calling it Pittsburgh. 77. 76. 75. 74. 73. 72. 71. 70. 69. Can I get a nice in the chat from everybody? Can we get a nice? 68. 67. 66. 65. 64. 63. 62. 61. 60. 59. 58. This is stressful. I really don't want to go over 10,000. 57. 56. 55. 54. 53. 52. Hey, Meatball, thanks for the content. These streams and your vids in general uh, really help with distracting from real life. A well-needed break. Shiny burb soon, hopefully. I agree, Sack. Hopefully. 49. 48. 47. I flooded general with graphs. Sorry, Meat. It's fine, Noah. Thank you. 46. 45. 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39. Damn, d this means you have to stream tomorrow. You have to manually press over 10K time. No, I'm just going to put my computer in sleep mode and use my sleep mask to block out the light from my computer. Um... No. 38. 37. Started watching when stream started. Left for a whole ass eight hours to go to work and we're still hunting this damn bird. You ain't... Uh, you, you're fucking right. We're still searching for this goddamn bird. Jodo, Jodo Golden Chicken, JGC. True. Zuger... I'm not inclined to agree, but the game is trying to make me think that for sure. If the bird shows up at 9999, it will be a four times German bird. That's funny. Why not just turn your monitor off? No, I only have to manually press the button if I close out from the, the tab. If I close out from the website. I can keep, as long as I keep the computer on and, like, turn off the monitor, it's fine. Whenever a hunt takes forever, I get that sneaking suspicion it's somehow shiny locked despite logic dictating otherwise. Yeah, it's just you're getting unlucky. That's all it is. Me when bird has mohawk. Agreed. Okay. 22. 21. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, this isn't happening is it, 14, I have a little bit of faith left, I still have a few more chances, 13, 12, 11, 10. No, it stays on if I... The monitor getting turned off does nothing to the computer. It's just the display. Do you, you know how monitors work? You have to restart the counter on the site if I close out of the tab or if I turn off the PC. And if the tab closes, I have to redo the count. 
It has nothing to do with turning off my monitor. If anything, we're about to hit funny number again. Ooh, funny number. Funny number! Funny number achieved! Funny number achieved! Okay, I have two more. 9,999. It is not it. God, I don't ask you for much. Can you make the game stop being a goddamn asshole today? Thanks. Oh, fuck you! We got 10 more minutes. We can we can still go for a little while. My I'm 33 but my brain is a 12-year-old. That's basically how I am. Try Zeus now. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, he's mad that that Bayleaf died. Are you mad that Bayleaf died? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Me it's me too. I don't know why I double clicked it. Nope. I'm 25. My brain is, I don't know. Do I have a brain? Eh, probably not. I'll live. <laughs> 39, but act like 14. True. Uh, all right. Hey, a little late, but I hope you're all doing great today. Papa Swanson, look at the count on this screen and look at we're still, what we're still hunting. Do I look great today? Do I look happy? Do I look like I'm enjoying my time today? Do you look like do I look like that I'm satisfied with today's progress? Do I look like I am happy? But anyway, thanks for being here. I appreciate you popping in at the end. Kind of actually, well, you know. I'm having fun, poking fun at the, the game, riffing, you know. I might be over 10,000 encounters in, but I'm still riffing and I'm still making jokes. As long as I'm still doing that, I'm still a happy boy. Me and my best mate share a single brain cell between us both, and I'm pretty sure he lost it years ago. Oh, well. I feel that. This we got the funny number. True. Uh... No. No. Another great thing that happened today is I got a position in my anime club at my college. So now I'm inside the main council as anime officer. That's cool, Clad. Oh, that 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 is pretty neat. I uh, I tried joining my high school's anime club, but my parent my parents wouldn't let me stick around for it. Also because they thought that all anime was corn. Small Ant takes 11 minutes to name 100 Pokemon and takes an hour and 18 minutes to name 100 women. It even only took me, like, 15 minutes to name uh, 100 women, I think, like, when I tried it. I don't think I could do it again, but maybe. Hentai without the segs is just, just anime, or short anime, that's true. Next time, I suggest a different Pokemon, Blue ho -Oh. I can't see the shiny if it if I do that though. I just realized Ho -Oh is a face holding up two rock hand signs. What? If you get it in exactly 21 resets, name it sub to Tion. Okay, let's see. Alright, so this is one. Two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. I don't know if the space bar hit, but that's 12. 13. 14. 15. 16. 17. 18. You still have a chance. 19. 20. This is it. Ah, sorry, folks. I'm gonna get up to 10101, and then we're gonna we're gonna raid somebody, folks. If if there's anybody online, I don't know. I will check, and if not, we'll just go offline. Dang, I'm banned now. True. Shalom. I've never done any drugs or alcohol ever. I I mean I enjoy a little bit of social drinking myself, but I'm not a drug guy. I um I have had an edible or two in my lifetime uh, outside of Florida, because uh stupidity but you know i will never take uh listen i will just never take an edible from a random uber driver that offers me one ever again i'll remember to think about that next time dumbest anime you watched girls bravo by the way i was nine years old don't go looking that up without an incognito tab Okay, we're almost there. I, Dude, I 100% agree that anime is dumb. Also, a nine-year-old should not have fucking watched it. Why was that my first show? Because it was one of the ones that would show on Netflix while we were scrolling through it for, like, wrestling documentaries and shit while I was a kid. And I, <laughs> I was always curious about it for some reason. Because I was like, what is this cartoon? Because I was like, again, I was like nine. I didn't know what anime was at the time. We're going to hit in five soft resets. All right, let's do it. We got one. We got two. We got three. We got four. We got five. Nope. Uh, well, I mean, my first anime was like either Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh! Yes. But like, I mean, like Japanese dubbed anime. How old are you? Uh, chaotic. I am, uh, I am 23. All right. 99. A hundred. And let's do one more for good luck. All right. Well. Oh, well. We tried our best, folks. Let's see if there's anybody we can raid today. Thanks for being here. Oh, yay. Rima's live. Yo, st folks, stay around. Make sure to copy this. Copy Meatball Raid. And uh, we're going to go ahead and raid my good friend Rima Evenstar. She is live right now, it says. So let's see if we can uh, redirect over to, you, to her. We can. All right, folks. I'm ending. Take care. I will see you tomorrow. And we're going to hopefully finish this goddamn game. Anyway, take care.